Good morning, everyone. We are here at Epcot, and as you can tell from the thumbnail, today is the very first day of the 2023 Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. Very excited. I'm joined by Lauren today. There she is. And you got me, Pete Carney. So happy you're here. If you could do me a big favor right out of the gate, hit that like button. It really does help. Let's spread the word that we are here. We're going to be trying as many, if not all, of the new food and drink that we can. It's going to be an awesome day. I'm very pumped. I hope you are too. Let's go into Epcot. One big notice, one big notice, one big change that uh, a few of you regulars may have noticed. We parked out in the regular lot today. We're doing the full experience. A lot of you know sometimes we'll go over to the boardwalk or beach and yacht, hang out there for a little bit, then head in the International Gateway. Today we said, let's do the full experience. Parked in the main lot, we'll come in, we'll see the main entrance for food and wine, and then make our way into the food and wine festival area. It's not all in the world showcase, so we'll start a little by future world, maybe the brewing experience. I'm excited about that. I gotta put you on the ground for a second. Hold on one second. Yeah. Yeah. A bit of a gray sky today. We're hoping that some of the storms that are brewing just south east of us don't come up this way. But if they do, we'll have some fun singing and dancing in the rain. Shout out to all the Patreons. You guys are amazing. We're going to do another Zoom call next week. If anyone's in the parks today, come up, say hi. Love putting some faces to names, names to faces. It always blows my mind when the pass holder line is longer than the other lines. What are you thinking, Lauren? What are you thinking? Let's see. Uh, right here. Okay. Wait, wait. Good call, good call. Bust the move, excellent. Oh, low up. Found an opening, you gotta take it. Come on. There we go. Boom, thank you. Hey, it's from Long Island. Lauren, I don't know what I'm doing. I've never been here before. This is amazing. Here, you want to get these things? Yes, please. Ah, uh, food and wine. Here it is, the 2023, presented by Corsicle. Now, I will say, I kind of like... All right. I'll meet you by the, that thing. So, these are cute and all, but I kind of miss, like, the flowers or more fanfare than just some... What would those be? Metal wind socks? But hopefully all that budget that was saved for all the great food and wine we're about to try today. Something special about this area right here. It's good energy. Probably in the back. They'll have them at every booth. I thought you were getting like, I thought you were getting like a park map. I'm like, I know where things are. <laughs> the passports? Yeah, they'll be at every booth for sure. Unless maybe they got shipped late. Well, maybe not everyone's food and whining. Maybe people are just coming to go on rides, Lord. <laughs> yeah, see, it's we need people to go on rides. Another uh, Pete Carney fun fact. If you want to ride Spaceship Birth, the opening hours, anywhere between 9 and 12, this will always hold a pretty long line. 40 minutes. Yes. And if you come back... Hey! hey! Wait, let me help out everyone. I heard there's a game like Where in the World is Tom Corliss? Found him. 
What do I win? Is there like a thousand dollar grand prize or? Yeah. Like, a thousand core bucks. A thousand core bucks. Sweet, I can afford one food beverage, food or beverage today. Here I am, straight you came from in the airport. Yeah, where were you? Anaheim. Oh, nice. Oh, that's right. I saw your review over there. How was that? It's a work trip. <laughs> I had things to, things to do. I'm racing the blue like that. Oh, that's where we're going. going. I was gonna say, oh, come on. Yeah, you're from New York too, buddy. <laughs> Except we're cutting through buildings. <laughs> we'll see who gets there faster. I like the AC route. Love. Oh, that's cute. I love that. Let's see if we can beat Corlito. Tom Corleone. He actually is in a hurry. I've never seen him move that fast uh, ever. No. I know. Like, I knew it was him immediately when I heard his voice. I didn't. Also, I kind of sense it was a joke the minute. No, most people don't in a loud voice say, "Oh, look at all these live no, streamers." I thought he was like trying to whisper to like somebody standing next to him, and I was like, "Okay, rude." And then it was tough. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is totally a faster way. Um, it's definitely a more pleasurable way. And it's air conditioned. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> John Thorne says, so far the pickle shaker reviews have not been great. We're going to try one. Well, it doesn't sound like a great idea at all. While we're brewing, we will be chatting it up. I'll say hi to everybody here in the chat. Don't worry. As long as the picture quality is good. John Thorne put his foot down this morning in the Discord. By the way, go check out our Discord. It's amazing. Link's down below in the description. He said, Pete, you better be checking that chat. Oh, look, he did. He cut us off at the pass. What? Which way? Should we go this way, Lauren, or the other way? I don't know either. There's time. We'll have to go this way just to take a different route. Well, it is going to rain today. <laughs> yes, we will be checking the chat often to make sure we got the best picture quality. If you guys do see a fuzzy screen or something like that or something happens just hit refresh on your end and if it's not you let me know i'll give you guys a great picture if i can yeah test trucks 85 lauren you forget the first like between open and now whether it's eight or nine ah i think he might get us i think he might get us well that's why i also tell people if you're planning a trip, oh, he got us by like 10 steps. If uh, you're planning a trip, test track is the one ride you should do early because if it rains, you're not getting on it. Oh, he's like six yards ahead of us. Tag nabbit. I'm telling you, I've never seen him walk this fast in my life. I'm pumped for, uh, the brewing with the Muppet Labs. I don't know what that's gonna be. We're about to find out in 20 seconds. All I know is it's already warm. Mm -hmm. I put a picture on the Discord this morning that uh, the real feel, it felt like 117 with the humidity today so far. And that was at 10. Here we go, our first stop. Hello. Thank you. Whoa. Sure. I'll go check the other side. Yeah. So this year, welcome to the Brewing Lab at the Odyssey. The Muppets have taken over. And it looks good. They got, it looks like some screens and projections mixed in with hard props. So the main screen up here, where everyone's watching, is also projected on the back two walls, depending on which way you're sitting. Like right there. <laughs> I like it. it says heat advisor.
I like it. Oh, someone yelled my name. What's up, bud? I'll give you a knuckles. How are the wings? How's it going? Hey, everyone. How are the wings? Lauren's getting I'm going to get some. Just how are they? Okay, wow, not an over... Okay. Okay. A good burn. Like, you're not going to be... All right. Okay, that's good. All right, that's the one I was afraid of. Uh, I don't do super spicy, so I'm going to do it. Pickle shake we definitely have to try, but I heard it's not good. <laughs> this isn't supposed to happen. All right. I'm pumped. I mean, I feel like I have to try it. Like, at least once, yeah. Well, I'm pumped. Lauren's in line. I'm going to go help her out. But uh, thank you for the pre-reviews. Now I know what to expect. No, because I'm... I was nervous about a few... The scotch bottle I was worried about, and obviously the pickle shake. I'm just like, hey, let's just start the day with a stomach ache. So, um, yeah, why not? And then just... it's <laughs> Yeah, you just start real hot. All right, awesome. We'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, let's go help out Lauren in line. If you're just joining us, we are here at the Epcot Food and Wine Festival. Today is the first day. It just started at 11 o'clock. We walked in right at 11, so we are right on time. Here's the electric pickle. Did you know that pickles are excellent conductors of electricity? In fact, when connected to a power source, they even glow in the dark. This, is, this phenomenon is caused by pickles high salt and water content, which allows electrons to move through the briny beauties with ease. Whoa. Do not try this at home. This is only done by highly trained professionals. This is extremely dangerous. And also, it'll make your laboratory smell like burnt pickles. Dr. Bunsen Honeydew, PhD, SQ. We'll also probably try this. Fresh and root iced tea, plus orange and molecules, plus ice cream equals a frozen fusion palooza. And then this is the interesting item everyone's looking forward to. The pickle milkshake. Hello. All right. I was just getting some reviews. Yes. If it's new, no, yeah, I'm gonna eat wings. But let's see. So the orange cardamom, I feel like I'm gonna have to try. The impossible ones. Uh, we'll see. The Scotch bonnet, I might skip for now and do it later. I know. I just got the review. Apparently, it's like tolerable, but still got some heat. But I don't know if I want to jump in. Okay. Really hot. And we're not hot. Like All right, we'll no. do that another day. Uh, <laughs> thank you for that. Um, but then we'll do the flight of beer, that obviously. Yeah, we gotta do a beer flight and the pickle milkshake alcoholic version. Oh, it's non-alcoholic. All right, so we'll just do the non-alcoholic, but we gotta try it. Everyone wants to know what it's like. Okay. And then we'll do the beer flight of all the new stuff. I'm going to need you to help me carry them. Though. Yeah, that's why I came up here. Okay. I'm going to try and find a table and whatnot. Yeah. All right, so let's do the orange cardamom. And do you want the chicken tenders that aren't? I mean, you... I'm not going to eat them. I feel like it just, you know, like faux chicken tenders, which I don't know if that's that exciting. I don't know. Just do the cardamom. We're trying to try the new stuff for all of you. By the way, shout out to Stephen Noon who made this awesome list for us. Uh, he's amazing. If you ever need a travel agent, he is right in our Discord. Go check it out. We're not saying we're not going to try all this, but to start, we do want to be able to hit a certain amount of booths and not get full here. So I think we do the orange cardamom first, the beer flight and the pickle shake here, and then we can always come back here later on or another day. We've got a lot of food and whining to do. Um, I'm going to try and find a table, put my stuff down, and come back and help you with everything. Uh, here, you want? I have cash in my pocket. <clears throat> and the passports are up there. Oh, yeah. And if we see a fuel rod swap, we got to do a fuel rod swap. Heard. Thanks, Law. All right. Let's see if we can find a table and catch up with some chat and then go help Lauren with the carrying of the things. Here's a standing table. I don't mind a standing table. I kind of tend to enjoy it. And then we could also look at all these fun things on the wall. 
tabletops, nicely themed. Big fan, big fan. So it seems like the perimeters are where you have the standing tables on both sides and then the seated area in the middle. Let's put the bag up here to reserve the table. I'm gonna get a little bit of water out of the gate because I'm already having a day. All right. Let's do it. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Food and Wine Day. It's so exciting. <clears throat> All right, let's go to water. All right, let's say hi to some people here, here early and on time. I just want to say thanks for being here. There's a lot of live streamers here today. So thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. Even if you're switching back between channels, the fact that you're here means a lot. So thank you so much. And again, if you're a new subscriber, let us know. We'll show you some love in the chat. And uh, if you haven't hit that like button, it really does help. Let's try to hit 100 likes before we even head outside. We're already at 81. We can do it. So let's go back and just say hi to everybody in the chat and see what kind of questions you have and things that you want to see today. I'm going to put them in my mental checklist and we'll try to get them done. So going back to the beginning of the stream, Kenny Holland, good morning. Great to see you. Just mousing around. What's going on? Said I, the first thing I did was hit the like button. Haven't watched the stream yet that I didn't like from you. That means so much. Thanks, dude. Shelly, good morning. Dawn, good morning. Izzo, good morning. Steven Noon, again, big shout out to Steven uh, for helping us out with that list of every single booth. We have a checklist. We're going to check off the things we've had, and it'll show us all the new items that are new for this year. Doug, what's going on? Good morning. They do start food and wine earlier every single year. This used to start Labor Day weekend every year. Last year, they moved it up a little bit, but it's great for everyone who lives here now. I was talking about this on the stream the other day, is that I used to come out for my birthday, which is August 29th every year, and I'd always miss food and wine. It always would start like two or three days later. I'd see the booths coming up and all the fanfare. I'd get all excited, and I'd miss it. But I'm very happy now for everyone who gets to come during the summer months to see food and wine. Again, August used to be a real busy time of year. People came during the summers, and families were here all throughout July and August. But that kind of stopped. Now people are coming all throughout the year for different events. There's a lot of events here at Disney. The run weekends. Um, they want to see the seasons. It might be too hot. It's only getting hotter and hotter every summer. So people are pulling their kids out of school and coming at random times throughout the year. So I think August has slowed down a bit. And I think this is a great way of bringing people down or kind of uh, giving them a little bit of incentive to come down a little earlier during the summer months. Dave G, thank you so much for the super sticker, 20 bucks. says, thank you for being you. Thank you so much, Dave. That's awesome. Appreciate that. Also, big shout out to Izzo, who sent a uh, Venmo or a Cash App. Thank you so much. Really appreciate you. Really helps out. Today's going to be a fun day, but we're going to be buying everything. Uh, let's see what else we got going on. I want to say hi to as many people as I can. Another Venmo notification. John Thorne, thank you so much. That's all I saw the Venmo was Venmo John Thorne. Thanks, John. Uh, Andrew C. in the house. David Lung, Siva Co. Michelle War goes here. Hey, Michelle. Michelle, I got your text right before I went live. I will write back to you as soon as I'm done with this. Uh, yeah, Peaches. Good morning, Peaches. It looks like we got a Carney crew in the house. Uh, if we have any new people to the channel, please hit the like button. And help others find the channel. Yeah, exactly. Hitting that like button doesn't just help me. It spreads love and Disney magic everywhere. And who couldn't use a little food and wine in their life today? Uh, let's see who else we got hanging out. Everyone's excited that Michelle's here. Who isn't? Tomorrowland Traveler, my man Daniel. Yo ho, yo ho. Said, sorry, wrong park. Good morning, everyone. Oh, we're getting a transmission from the Muppets. Let's see what's going on. We'll come back to uh, the hellos in a second. See if I can get it in the screen here. Come on. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right. I haven't even started drinking yet. What's happening to the gimbal? There it is. I like 
while we watch this, just in, th just in case anything fun happens, uh, we'll continue our hellos here. All right, let's get back to it. In case I missed anyone, hi, Doug. Great to see you here. Lynette is in the house. Chris is here. <laughs> Tomorrowland Traveler said, Lurking and Working is named my high school band. What a great band. Shout out to all the lurkers who are just watching in the background. I know not everyone's a big chatter, but thanks for being here with me. <laughs> you're right, Izzo, you're right. He just says, has anyone seen the new Indiana Jones? I can't wait to see the Haunted Mansion. Me too. I tried to get tickets to last night. They're doing advanced showings at AMC here at Disney. It was full. And then I was like, Laura, we can go tomorrow. She's like, tomorrow's food and wine. I'm like, you're right. Shout out to Kenny, $20 Venmo. Thank you so much. You are awesome. We're going to be having a good day today. Uh, also announced the Pro Bowl is coming back to Orlando in 2024. That's exciting for any NFL fans out there. Maybe the future Super Bowl champs, the New York Jets. Let's go. In case you can't tell, I'm from New York. Lauren and I did see Barbie yesterday. It was very good. Lauren liked Barbie a lot. I liked Oppenheimer. But they were both really good movies. Good weekend at the movies. I got to see Oppenheimer on our road trip back to Florida from the wedding. Uh, we passed the world's tallest IMAX. I was like, Lauren, come on. We got to stop and see Oppenheimer. It was very good. Glenn Ritchie in the house. Mary Jo, great to see you. Daniel Rodriguez, thanks for being here. Phenomenal Brandy has entered the chat. Katie McGinnis, good morning. Said, I can't wait to enjoy food and wine just 12 days away. Amazing. Dawn with the Venmo. Thanks for the $20 Venmo. Dawn, look at all this beautiful positivity, generosity coming through. I'm pumped up. David Lung with an awesome pun. You know, I'm a big fan of puns. Are the storms brew wing? <laughs> I love it. Penny B is here. I can't wait. Penny B, yes, we are getting the pickle shade. Suzanne Ritchie is here. Says, oh, yay, Pete and Lauren. A bonus day. Hi, Lauren. Yes, Lauren is here. We're going to keep her here hostage all day. We did run into Tom this morning. Eliza, good morning. Said, are you willing to try the pickle shake? Yes, we're going to do it and just see what happens. <laughs> yes, I'm reading the chat a lot today, John. Shelly, thanks for posting the link to the Discord here in the chat. Appreciate that. If you're not on our Discord, it's awesome. It's free. You should check it out. <laughs> Kim, Kim Eaton says, uh, watching y'all run through Epcot in August is making me sweat. It is warm. Yes, Doug, this is for food and wine. Uh, the Cosmic Rewind queue is all boarding groups now, so. Everyone is here for food and wine. Bill is here. What's going on, Bill? Oh, here we go. Transmission coming through. I'm going to go help Lauren and be right back. If anyone steals you, take their picture.
Blue cheese, but I saw it ranch, yeah, so fine. I just grabbed that. What are you talking? Get with the program. <laughs> Get with the program, Lauren. I thought you were asking about this. Let me. Here at the Brewing Lab at the Odyssey, the Epcot International Wine Festival. So, fun tip out of the gate. If you're trying something new, you have to go up to the people in the lab coats. And there's a few of them right here, right behind us. They don't have them at the counter, if you ask. But you can become an official taste tester. 
this card entitles, entitles the bear to all rights and privileges of an official taste tester, including, but not limited to, brain freeze, spicy, spicy mouth burn, pickle puckering, and a feeling of immense pride for achieving taste testing excellence. Signed by Dr. Bunsen Honeydew and Beaker. All right, we went with the Beer Flight. Beer Flight uh, was the Sun King Brewing uh, Caprina Lager. I'm excited about that. The Brew Hub French Connection IPA over in Lakeland. And the Three Daughters Brewing Old Fashioned Porter out of St. Pete. So all pretty local. Sarasota, Lakeland, and St. Pete all nearby. This is the Pickle Milkshake. And these are the new uh, wings. This is the orange cardamom wings. I'd be curious what things cost. The beer flight was ten bucks. The wings were seven fifty, and the pickle shake was five seventy five. And you get a little side of buttermilk, buttermilk ranch. All right, let's get into it. Pickle. Um, are you suggesting beer before the milk? I'm doing the beer way before the pickle milkshake. I think the pickle milkshake might ruin us. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, there's a lot in there. There is a lot. I feel like that. We're going to, um, we'll do the beers, we'll do the wings, and then we'll walk with the pickle milkshake and slowly drink it. But we'll do the first taste test here because we are official taste testers. Okay, wait. I also have for you something. Did you actually thing. find lactate? I found. Yes. I didn't this think is, I, I thought I forgot it. This is all it. I have. This is all we're going to get through the day with, guys. Um, so I'm lactose intolerant, but it's food and wine. So whatever happens, happens. All right, beers first? Yes. All right, so this is the Sun King Brewing Caprina Lager out of Sarasota. We like Sarasota. We went there in our first year living here. Took a little trip down Ooh. to Sarasota. Like it? You remember, so you know what a Caprina is, right? No. Caprina is that frozen drink that we got uh, when there's the booth. Uh, they had Caprinas. The booth was located, like, by Morocco last year. All right. I don't know. It's a South American cocktail. This is very good. All like, right. Well, like I, a... I can't wait to tell people what I think. <laughs> there's like a cinnamon, like, but it's a lager, so it's light, but the flavor is so bold. Ooh, I do like that. Right? Like, yeah, I get what you're saying. It's almost like a, like a five spice cardamom. Uh, this yeah. is gonna go well with these wings. Yeah. That is a fully flavored lager. For a lager, that's fantastic. Yeah, I like. The reason I'm not the biggest lager guy, and again, I, I drink lagers, I drink Bud Lights, Miller Lights, whatever, but they're just like run of the mill, right? It's on a hot day, you slam a lager, but you don't That's get a lot nice. of, Flavor. you know, personality. Yeah. This has some personality. Oh, I would totally get a whole pint of that. All right. That's fantastic. Fantastic. Wow, and we never brag about lagers. IPA, are you gonna finish it? Okay. Good. Yeah. That's the Brew it's Hub French Connection IPA over in Lakeland. Brew Hub, kind of like halfway between here and Tampa. It's a nice facility. They brew their own beer, but also they contract brew a lot of beers for local breweries here in Florida. It's not a bad drive. I would say it's like less than an hour from Disney if you ever want to go to a cool spot that has a bunch of beer. I really like this one a lot too. Um, somebody, I, I think Dawn asked, what was the first one again? Somebody first one was the Sun King Caprina Lager. I'll show it. Sorry. If that's backwards, we'll show you again. Really good. So the Sun King Caprina Lager out of Sarasota was one. The second one is the Brew Hub French Connection IPA, which I'm going to try now. It's like orangey. It's really nice. If you're not an IPA drinker, you might like this because it almost reminds me of a, a lot of citrus. Um, blue Moon with a, with an orange. That's yeah, if you were to squeeze an orange into a Blue Moon, even though Blue Moon's more of a Belgian wheat. <clears throat> excuse me. And this is an IPA. I think some of the floral IPA hops work well with this, where you get a lot of that uh, burnt orange, orange yeah. peel, almost like a blood orange flavor. Really, really good. It's very good. Very I'm flavorful. impressed so far. I'm not going to lie. So that's it from the Food and Wine Festival. <laughs> yeah, seriously. This is three The daughters. last one, the Three Daughters Brewing over in St. Pete, uh, about two-ish hours from here. Uh, this is their old fashioned porter. So I'm curious if it's just like made in an old school way or does it taste like an old fashioned? To me, it just tastes like a porter, but I'm not a big porter drinker. So I can't really distinguish between like this porter and another porter, really. 
I don't really get like chocolatey notes. I don't get like. There is. There's definitely chocolate malt. Um, I get more coffee. Yeah, a little coffee, a little chocolate. Um, it's smooth. Yeah, it's good. I like it. I like it too. This was a successful Yeah, we don't play. drink a lot of porters because it's Florida and it's <laughs> a thousand degrees. I'm just all not the time. a porter person, but it's really not bad. And I would get this whole flight again. Fantastic. Yeah, I, honestly, I would just go for a large of the IPA and the lager and split oh, yeah. those half and half. Yeah. The porter's good, but I can't do too many of those in the hot sun, yeah, you know? No. No, but I'm saying all around this is a solid flight. Like, don't pass up on the flight. The flight is really good. Flight is great. Uh, again, the flight costs 10 bucks, so a nice way to try three beers here at the Food and Wine Festival. Yep. We tend to do that even if, like, on a lot of these stops we're going to see flights today. Even if there's only one or two we might like, we like to try new things. Yeah, we love flights. Because that's the point of coming to a Food and Wine Festival. Try new things. I check these in on my Expanding your horizons. Yes, yeah, so you check them in for me because I can't check them until later. Yeah. Do you guys want to follow me on Untapped? It's a beer social media app. It's been around. I've been on it since 2011. Um, when I used to work in the beer industry in New York, uh, I met the creator of Untap, and he's like, can you please sign up and tell your friends we're brand new? And it has grown. Untap is almost in every beer bar now. It's a great thing. It's U-N-T-A-P-P-D. There's no E. Uh, and go search. Uh, I think I'm Carney 84 Go check it out. All right, let's get into the wings. On the wings of love. All right, these are the orange cardamom. Yeah. Oh, they're sticky. They are gooey. They should have given you, like, wet naps. Mm. That was attractive. Oh, those are good. Those are good. All right, so there's a lot of sweetness up front. Then you get the cardamom. It might be new. Like the brewery is not coming up. Yeah, you it is right there. No, it's not Indianapolis. It's Sarasota. Let's go here. Type in that word. The I C did. Word. Just give it a shot. No, no, no. But you had it, baby. Oh, I did that before. It's okay. You eat the. I'll figure it out. Try a little bite of this. I know you're not a wing person, but like pretend it's a grilled piece of chicken with this dressing. If you want the other side of this wing, it has just a little bite on it. It's a good bite. It's right here, baby. Okay. Sarasota? Yeah. Well, if there's two Sun Kings and they're both making a Caprina Lager, that's crazy. Yeah, so Sun King says Indianapolis, but it says regional. There are probably multiple locations. Oh, okay. Flavor's good. I just am not a wing person. Yeah, but it's good though, right? Yeah. I, I think that's a, an interesting wing because, like, you get yeah. some sweetness, but it's not too like syrupy or orangey. It's nice. Cardamom balances it out really well. I'm a fan. I just don't go by my like. It's good, but Lauren that, doesn't eat wings. That that was enough for me, you know. Yeah, <laughs> I just like to force her to try things. Can you do me a favor? You don't have to. Uh, tag me in those check-ins because they'll keep popping up on my screen over and over again. Oh, okay. I was just doing it so you... I'll just find... I'm just going to oh, look okay. at yours later. Okay. But I appreciate the sentiment. When you're on Untapped, you can tag your friends in with drinks. But every time she's going to tag me on a drink, it'll pop up on my screen. And I want to see all your beautiful comments. <laughs> all right. Let's take this lactate. Hopefully, it'll last throughout the day. Before you're we get into that whole thing? You think? The pickle milkshake? Yeah. I'm going to try to as much as I can. I don't like to waste food. All right. Here we go. Pickle milkshake. And there's no alcohol in it. No, which just makes it even more oh, terrifying. Oh. I'm going to try it. I don't like pickles at all. Honestly, or let me just tell you something real quick, though. You might not hate it as much. We got a something. Sorry. Um, it was held for review, maybe? Maybe because of what it said, but I thought it was a super chat. 
We didn't get one earlier. No, I read it already. So thanks to Dave. No. no. Um, so you like dill, and you do get a little bit of dill, one on the nose, but also in the. I think they flavored the milkshake with dill. I get more dill than brine, almost. Because obviously, like, brining and pickling wouldn't work well with milk. But I feel like they use dill flavor. It's interesting. It's not as bad as I thought it was. Same here. So I think the, what we're saying is going with an awful mindset. No. <laughs> <laughs> I really was expecting to, like... No, me too. I was, like, waiting for a not, not something fantastic. Mm -hmm. Let's try to phrase that better. Though. All right. Please. It's still the morning. People are waking up but, in California. But the thing is, this there's a lot of milkshake for a hot day. You know what I'm saying? Like, like well, I Warren, didn't need that much. If you're going to charge six bucks for a non-alcoholic item, yeah, you got to give people enough. Also, some people might like this, and it is a hot day. This is a frozen drink. All right. I'm not, I'm not against it. The other thing is, and which is why we did bring a backpack today, is if you order this earlier in the day like we did, you have to carry this around a little bit. And this is like legit plastic. <laughs> I mean, you could throw it out, but this is a nice little souvenir. It's got the Muppet Labs on it, and it says the name of the place where you got it. So for uh, six bucks, you get a souvenir, a nice big frozen drink. Now, would I have a lot of that and then go ride Guardians? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> They might have done some of these for here because they are they're exclusive this, to here oh yeah because i'm the first one to check them in i'm just saying on the wings of I'm love law l-a-u-e-l-i-z on untapped if you want to join me what's on mine that. you tell people what i am i forgot i will tell people let's see you are p carney 84. boom Okay. So if you want to follow us on Untapped, and it's a cool app, and you can take a picture, and you can rate the beer, and Sexy Kenny is on it. Who else? Some other people. I think Quick Kenny's on it too. Quick Kenny's on it too? Yeah, I think a bunch of beer drinkers are out there. Yeah, I'm friends with Can you just tag me again, or I got a friend request? I don't know. It could be okay. a friend request. Um, I will say. I was going to say something, but I forgot with the untapped thing. Oh, sorry. Sorry. It's all right. Whatever. Kim it's a long Berlin's day together. KG. Uh, the wings are great. Honestly, the wings after the pickle shake, I don't even taste the pickle shake anymore. <laughs> so you have to get it with something. Why um, these wings are growing on me. They taste, I really like these wings. I don't want to get, I don't want to get too full before the rest of the day, but these are great. That's why I was like, maybe just get those because I wasn't going to eat the other stuff and I didn't want you to like eat everything, you know? I want to share with people. Is anyone joining us? Is Paris coming or anyone? I don't know. It's a, you know where to find me. Watch this. What did you want? Ranch? They're not spicy enough. I don't eat it. What's going on See one, I'm on it. Yeah. You want to chuck this in your way? Yeah. Anything else? Can I chuck this? No, I'm going to keep this in this. Put it in the backpack. They're souvenirs, one. Oh, <laughs> goodness gracious.
All right, as we wrap up our first stop here, the Brew Wing Experience, I do want to make sure I'm caught up with some chat because I want to say hi to everybody who is here on time and hanging out with us. Uh, also, Robert D is here, so wings got to be crispy. They're not bad. I wouldn't say these are like super well done, but they're cooked well through. I really like it. I mean, it's a sticky glaze, but not too sticky. I was a big fan of these wings. I would, I would order them again. Next time I come in here, I'm going to get that lager or that IPA and these wings on one of our random days here during Food & Wine, since this festival does last until the middle of November. So we are going to be here a lot. Also, it's another good reason to subscribe and get that bell on, hit all notifications, because we're going to, by the end of this festival, have tried everything multiple times, done everything, seen everything, so you want to make sure you don't miss it. Bernadette, what's going on? Good morning, great to see you. Mark Spencer, how are you? Nate D, what's going on? Yeah, so we got the new wing flavor for this year. This was the orange cardamom. They've had the garlic parm last year. They've had the peanut butter and jelly last year. Also, they serve the peanut butter and jelly wings here on property around. Not here, but here on property. Let me scroll up to where I left off. I believe it's around 11.25 is the last, was where I left off with the chat. Welcome back. We're just gonna go back to where we were in the chat so I can make sure everyone's here and having a good time. Gotta, sh gotta show love to all the people here who are hanging out. Uh, by the way, Gladys Wagner. Hello. It's a brand new person watching. So I'm new here. Thanks for being here, Gladys. Can we talk about... Um, Let's talk about it while I talk to the chef. A possible game plan. Because I feel like most people are going to go this way. Should we go the opposite way? So there's less crowds, do you think? Or what do you... <laughs> I feel like everybody's going to start Well, next let's look at the booths we want to do the most and see if we want to go right or left. Do you want me to grab a pass? Sure, let's do that. And I'll catch up here. All right, here we go. Back to where I was. So we did the pickle shake. It's right here. A lot of people have questions about it. Like it's not terrible. Good. Honestly, it tastes like a vanilla milkshake that has a lot of dill in it, but no, not too much of that brininess. So is it something that it's not... Stop your brining. It's, stop your brining and listen <laughs> up. It's not terrible. It's just weird. <laughs> like, it's just something like your body is not used to. Like, so, your mouth and your taste buds are like, what's happening? Like, uh, this is a milkshake, but it's weird. If you're a savory person, which I am, me too. You you might like it. I'm not really a pickle person, um, but I feel like it's more savory than sweet. Would you agree with that or no? Yeah, for sure. But I mean, I get vanilla right away, and then it yeah. kind of rounds out with the dill. Unfinished. Yeah. yeah. Um. All right. Let's see what's going on. Who else did I? We got to catch up. Some people. Oswald thirteen. What's going on? So I have no questions. I just want to say J E T S, and I love that you did. <laughs> Again, big shout out to Dave and John and Dawn and Izzo, who have all sent uh, awesome things, whether it's Super Chat, Venmo, Cash App. Thank you so much for uh, supporting the channel and being so awesome. Much appreciated today. Much appreciated. <laughs> um, Kimberly was a little concerned about how gross the pickle shake was going to be. Yeah. It's not that bad. I do say, I would say, if you're here, I do say, I do say <laughs> now, yeah, I do declare <laughs> that it is worth trying at least once if you want to try something new. <laughs> but if you uh, are like, hey, is it a must have? I wouldn't say it's a must have, but if you want to try something crazy, it's not terrible. You'll probably be able to get through the entire thing. Murphy, what's going on? This is Godfather Pete. Looking forward to seeing the beer selections this year. Yeah, well, it started off great. The first three beers we had were awesome. Allison B says, uh, just woke up. What a way to start my day. Mm. No doubt. Brazilian cheese bread. Lauren loves the Brazilian cheese bread. Oh, that's I guarantee where they have the Caprinha, too. Yeah, see? Frozen Caprinha with Cachaca. Oh, let's go to Brazil. What the heck are we doing? Well, we've had those before, Lauren. Yeah. I uh, going to see Honor Mansion at the 6 o'clock showing. Ooh. Well, we can't today. We'll be here. But maybe tomorrow we'll go see Honor Mansion. China? 
No, they always have the same. Looks like Mexico. <laughs> Uh, Dr. Feelgood, so you're from New York, uh, then why do you, <laughs> then why do you like a team from New Jersey? You're right, but it's my fault. I didn't learn geography before I learned football. And I think that shows what's wrong with the, the education system. I saw New York Jets on things, I became a fan of the New York Jets, and then eventually learned geography and said, what, what are we doing? Everything in Mexico is new. So we gotta do Mexico. There, yeah. Plus, I could use a little Marg to start the day. But um, Bills are in my division, so I can't really say I like them. But when the Jets and Giants are both eliminated, I still root for New York. So, like, I would root for the Bills. Oh, how's, the, how's the pickle they, milkshake? The pickle milkshake, I would say, no, we're live. It's cool. I would say it's not terrible. It's just different. Like, it's not like you're going to spit it out. You could drink it. You get vanilla up front. It's more like a flavor of dill than, like, brine, if that makes sense. Like, it's not, like, puckering. It's more like... A pickle sat in a milkshake for a while, and there's dill there. <laughs> but I feel like that's a lot of it. It is a big a cup, and but you get a souvenir, and yeah, I mean it's paper straw. Paper straw. <laughs> um, I would say I, I told everyone I, that was watching. I said if you want to try something new and weird, it's worth trying. But like, will you be like, oh my god, I need to have a second one? Probably not. Yeah. Like it's going to be a one and done for a lot of people. Yeah. But at least you can say you tried something new. Right. I mean, if you guys want, you can take my straw and have the rest because I'm not going to drink it. No, all right. All right. Yeah, I mean, it's probably the right reaction. But <laughs> <laughs> have a good day of food and wine. That's so funny. All right, Mexico. Uh, Nelson in the house. What's up, Armandito? <laughs> Probably the right reaction. <laughs> M. Smith, what's Very going on? Said, I haven't seen Muppet Labs in forever. Really hope they bring that back to Epcot. Me too. That would be fun. I also liked when they used to have, like, the free-roaming beaker and, and uh, Dr. Bunsen Honeydew. That was a lot of fun. Anyway, uh, Mark Spencer, I'm not sure if I said hi, but what's going on, Mark? So happy to have Gladys in here and Bernadette. What else? We got Mike Grady in the house. Says, woo -hoo, for the long national 14-minute break between Epcot festivals. Yep. That's going to be the longest break of the year that we just had. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we're going to Mexico. We're headed to Mexico. We'll decide from there. we got to go get our Mexico on. Yeah. All right. Time is literally flying on the wall behind me, right? Dennis Poe, what's going on? Great to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle's going to be here tomorrow. Maybe we'll come back tomorrow, Michelle. I'll text you later. I do have 163 texts I didn't read before I went live. Sorry, everyone, if you texted me uh, last night or today. Uh, I fell asleep early last night and woke up to a lot of texts. Nate D says, is it Christmas? An early Cardi stream? Hi, Pete and Lauren. Hello, <laughs> Chad. Hello, Mods. Weather in Low 78. Great to see you. Uh, Kim, big fan of the Three Daughters yeah. Brewing. Yep. Uh, I think Eric Morton knows one of the owners of Three Daughters. He knows one of the daughters? Or one of the people. I don't know. <laughs> today is the first day of the Food and Wine Festival. If you haven't heard, it is happening. A lot of streamers here today. A lot of people in here right now streaming. So thanks for being here with me. I appreciate it. It means a lot. If you're having fun, please hit the like button. It helps. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Just like Lynette just said in the chat. Yeah, Doug, a porter's probably not going to be your first choice for a beer on a hot day. But this was served cold. We're in air conditioning. So I think people who like those darker beers, this is a great option for them. We're inside. It's air conditioned. Uh, all right, let's see. Oswald said I love Untapped. Yeah, it's a fun app. Robert D is lurking and liking. All right, let's see if anything else that I miss before we get moving again. Once again, if we ever have a fuzzy picture or it's not the best quality, just hit refresh. If it's still bad, just let me know. I'll switch. I find this cell service works best here. When we did our last stream early in the morning, the Epcot stream last week or the week before, uh, it seemed to have gone really well. We had really good picture quality so we're gonna work off of the cell service most of today hi Susan great to see you love pugs what's going on thanks for being here uh, Michelle said what magic band are you wearing today so this is actually last year's food and wine I was gonna wear an older one but I don't know I just this caught my eyes so this is the 2022 food and wine magic band we'll see if we have to grab one this year as well but yeah this is the one they gave out last year 
I don't really like to find a throwback. I will be wearing different Food and Wine Magic Band throughout the festival. All right, let's go before we get out of here. Anything else I'm missing? We're pretty much caught up. Thanks, Doug. Says nice watch. Yeah, I'm rocking all the fun things today. Are the wings crispy? Are the wings crispy? Again, I don't think they're like crispy, crispy like as in well done, but they have body. They're not, they're not mushy. Like I know what they mean because sometimes like yeah. if wings are fried, taken out, sauced, and then sit, they get a little soggy or like chewy. These weren't that. These were good. Like you can still get in there with one bite and like get it all in there. One bite. Everybody knows the rules. Mm -hmm. Get it all in there. Um. Yes, they were the orange cardamom wings. I liked them. I would have them again. <laughs> Oswald said about the pickle milkshake. It's a solid review. It's not terrible. I'm sold. <laughs> it's not terrible. Would I order it again? No. Yeah, Kim says, uh, based on your description, it's going to be a hard pass for me. I don't like dill at all. Prefer a good oh. sweet pickle or bread yeah, and butter. Then, yeah. Yeah, then you could save your six bucks. I don't even know what you would add to this. I'm trying to think as like a bartender what I would add to this to like alcohol wise to make it weirder. Like to make it weirder or make it taste good? Like it tastes good, but also like to work with the dill and milk. Like when you have like Vodka. milk. What? Vodka. That's what you add to everything. It goes with everything. It's me, David C. It's Carney. Howdy. Good afternoon. Great to see you. Howdy to you. Steve Marmelstein. Great to see you. Elizabeth, thanks for being here. Elizabeth Belmonte in the house. Jason Meckis, good morning. Great to see you. Yeah, but I'm trying to think, like, what flavor. Oh, we got a Venmo notification. Christopher, thank you so much. Thank you, Christopher. Appreciate everyone's generosity today. You're all you the best. All right, let's do it. We're caught up. If I missed anything in the chat, put it in there again. Maybe whiskey, but it would have to be, like, a briny. It's, it's got to go with the dill is the thing, and I don't want it to overpower it. I want you to still be able to call it a pickle milkshake, but with alcohol. That's why I'm trying to think of like something like that. Maybe that's why they didn't add it. They're like, nah, we're good. <laughs> I'll think of something. Work. I'll think of something. Right. You guys can think of something too. All right. Shall we go? Yeah. All right. I'm leaving a few behind. It's okay. Should we? We got to keep this but clean it, right? There's a fancy cup, Laura. I'll yeah, but, clean it in the bathroom later. But I feel like next time I'll get the other one, which is better, and then we'll get the cup. We can't just throw out this plastic cup. What if it ends up in the ocean? in the recycling. Uh, Just throw it out. We don't need it. I'll get the, we'll get the next, there's a good one. That, there's a tea punch something. We'll get that next one. I can't just throw it out. Yeah, you can. You can. All right. We're headed out to Mexico. Let's go. It would be nice if they just had the pickle jar cleaning station somewhere. It's a hard finish. I mean, if you have like a family, it's a lot of milkshake and a lot of dill. Like that should be in the five ounce taster, if you ask me. Put the beer in the big cup. I agree. Would love, would love a little five ounce taster of the pickle milkshake, and give me the twelve ounce of the beer. <laughs> oh, a little bit of a sprinkle coming down. A little bit of a sprinkle. So let's let's hit as many things as we can and find refuge. If you're just joining us, we're here at Epcot. It is day one of the Epcot International. Food and Wine Festival. You can see some of the raindrops falling on the water. It's beautiful. Maybe the weather will keep it a little quiet. You never know. It does seem not too crowded yet. I love when they paint the walls here. Flavor experiments. Taste the test tomorrow. I love that. Test the taste of tomorrow today. And here's everything that's available there. But again, new for this year was the orange cardamom wings and the uh, Impossible Buffalo Chicken Tenders. We'll get those on the next stream. But all the other ones have been here, they've been around. Also the Scotch Bonnet we passed on right now, we might do it again later. It is very hot. 
I was told by a few people. And uh, I'm kind of a wimp when it comes to super spicy, but I'll do anything for the stream. We just didn't want to start the day with uh, two extreme items. We did the pickle milkshake. <laughs> we'll see where the stomach sits in a little bit. Here at Mexico, let's see, I'll show you some of the dishes while uh, Lauren hopped in line for us, which is awesome. All right, so here we have the tostada de carnitas braised pork on a fried corn tortilla with black beans, avocado mousse, queso fresco, and chives. The taco de castilla, slow braised beef short rib on a corn tortilla with salsa de chili morita, avocado mousse, and spring onions. And then they have a dessert. We're probably going to skip the dessert because that's just a lot of heaviness for me right now. And then the beverages without alcohol. Trouble in Paradise Margarita, which has the Alego Mezcal, the Combia Watermelon Liqueur, the rosé wine, the lime juice, the agave with a chili lime powder rim, and then the fly away margarita, which has the nocaluna sotal, pineapple ginger juice, chili ancho verde liqueur, the ambar blanco tequila with a sweet dried chili sold rim. Wow, both of those sound crazy. And then the Mexican craft beer. I think we're gonna have to try both margaritas and both uh, corn tortillas filled with all different kinds of fun stuff. <laughs> Thank goodness I have Lauren to help me. The Noodle Exchange not open yet, coming soon. So like other festivals in the past, they're opening certain booths in stages. So not all the food booths will be open yet. No, nah, I just did the same thing. And we don't need the beer now either. Yeah, so I was thinking this, the two uh, drinks and the two uh, tortillas. I am staying with you. I'm just walking around showing things. Okay, well. <laughs> so we showed you guys this the other day we were here, but they're still driving those pylons down in the middle of the lagoon. <coughs> we're thinking for the next uh, iteration of their new Nighttime Spectacular. Right now, the temporary show Epcot Forever is going on. Uh, however, they only work on this in the first half of the day because they have to get them out of there as they start setting up the pyro at night in the afternoon. And once the pyro set up, you can't work out on the lagoon. So they work typically mornings until a certain point. Yeah. <laughs> That's for sure. Did you see that crazy crane accident in New York City? I sent it to you. That was wild. Prayers to everybody there. Oh, yes. The Emile's Fromage Montage. If we get any of this all right, so mm, I'll get the smoked corned beef. Yeah, that we can do. That we can do. That we can do. I'll do all these things. Just remind me. Ah, the schnicken Oh, I love that too. The raclette cheese. You love that, Lauren. Ugh, smells like a foot. I know, but it tastes like heaven. And then, yeah. So September twenty second, we'll have to come back for the wine and wedge. Well, you only have to do five of them, which is good. Yeah, let's do it. That's nice. We'll do the fromage montage today. I'm putting you in charge. The surprise is that you're lactose intolerant. Ooh, the schnickenoodle and just carbs on carbs on cheese on carbs. It's just fun to say. You could say it while sneezing. You could say it. Yep, love that. Remember when there used to be stickers? Remember when there used to be stamps? There were stamps before stickers. Then the stickers went away. Now it's now it's just a CYO passport. You just got to write yourself. All right, so law. Yes. From here, are we going to continue the direction most people go towards Norway and China, or are we going to go backwards around the World Showcase? I don't know either. Wow. 
Also, let's think in case it starts to rain real bad, which locations have more places to go inside? I think they're still just showing the movie, but check. If it stays like in a drizzle, if it stays in a drizzle like this. Let me look at the map. Let me look at the map. Sure. You radar, I'll map. Oh, no map on this one. Uh, it's on the Mexico one. Like I said, today we're going to try to do as many food and wine things as we can. But we will be back many, many times over the next few weeks. So make sure you got that uh, bell on. Hit all notifications. You won't miss a thing. So here we go. So we started at the brewing experience, which is number five. If we head up this way, China is eight, nine is India, 10 is Kenya. I'm pretty sure this is a misprint on the map. I think that this number nine is India. And I think that this number nine is supposed to be a number 10 because there's no 10. Misprint on the map. That's a 10, and that's Kenya. Uh, by the way, these star locations are festival merchandise, so there's plenty of places to buy merch. We did kind of blow past one, two, three, four to get into the brewing experience, but we'll come back, maybe do these as our last four booths of the day, or we'll start our next stream whenever we're here next that day. So right now, we're at seven. Do we work our way this way, or do we work our way around is what we're debating right now. So do we want to do things like, the problem is a lot of these that are right here, all open later on. So Char and Shop open September 22nd. Wine and Wedge opens on the 22nd of September. Hawaii opens August 15th. Bubbles and Brine opens on September 22nd. Swirled Showcase opens on <laughs> September 22nd. So everything but the 28th is the only thing that's open. And then Australia, hmm. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe we just should go the way the good Lord intended. The way we always go. Also, the noodle exchange, which is right here, that opens uh, August 15th. So we get about two weeks and change on that. Yeah, because I think from here we could... We're going to be very full. We just had those wings. We're going to eat everything here and drink everything here. China, I don't know if they have too many new things. We could just peruse it real quick and then maybe jump hit these up in the outpost in Germany area. And if the rain's holding out, we should be good. Worst case, we can make it here faster going this way. And there's always places to hide in the rain at the American Adventure. I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna work the way the booths are numbered. So right now we are at seven Mexico, eight China, we'll check out, see if there's anything good. And then we'll look over at this nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 area, which is India, Kenya, the Alps, the refreshment outpost, and then we get into Germany, Spain, and Italy. And then the Flavors of America, which I don't know why they're calling this a new booth. There's a booth here every year in America, but they're saying it's new, maybe because they just gave it a new name. All right, that's the plan. Let's go get our weather update with Lauren. What's the weather update? No, and we, I have a good plan then. And stay positive. What do you need for me? Money. Oh, okay. Just give it to you at the next one. You already paid, right? Yeah, I'll just pay the next one. I don't know why you handed me back the change. I was just going to say keep it. <laughs> you should have just kept all the money. Sure, let me see. I'm staying optimistic, though, so you can show me lots of rain, and I'll say, nah. Science? 
We're gonna go towards China. We're gonna go towards China. We're gonna go. There you go. Oh, we got time. This is not gonna hit us for like another hour. I'm gonna carry this one. I'm right here, my love. You gotta just take a deep breath. Maybe have a margarita. You're very. Not in the food and wine relaxation mode. We gotta get some forks. We gotta get some knives. We gotta get some napkins. I'll take whatever you want. I got hands. Yeah, I can get both of these. Yep. Yep. All right, we're gonna head this way. Ooh, so this is a little festival hack that we've learned in our days here doing a lot of opening days of festivals is you want to grab food from one area and if you're if it's possible head to another one or park between two or three booths that you want so you don't have to keep finding a new table you can kind of have a good location and then bring the food from the three or four locations to one central spot if you're in a bigger group we've done this with larger groups a lot of the time and you send someone to one booth send someone to the other order a bunch of stuff everyone convenes at one central table and you get to try a bunch of different stuff. You break up the line waiting time by sending different friends to different booths. <laughs> and then you get to all get to try. Everyone gets a fork and a knife. Order. Yeah. And you don't get too full on certain items as well. So, like, if you get one to three items from each booth and you bring three together, you got, you know, seven to nine items. Everyone can have a little bite. Over here? I just figured it was covered. Just trust, Lauren. Trust. Maybe it's been a while since you've done one of these. Yeah. Just listen to the pros. Are they just starting? Or is it over? I don't know. Oh, no. I don't know. I don't know either. I'm confused. I feel like it's ending. Yeah, maybe. We're just talking about mariachi cobra. If that's the case, we're definitely eating over here. Oh, I heard of that was awesome. Dang, Aww, just missed our boys. We love Mariachi Cobra. We need to buy some tahini for the house because I don't like pork sure. on the rim, but tahini just hits different. Yeah, I saw it at the store the other day. Oh, that's for the fireworks. I just love the taste of it. You know? Careful you don't get that liquid on you. I gotcha. You just focus on the beautiful surroundings and the theming. Keep drinking the drinks. I just didn't want it to spill on you. I got it. This might surprise you, but I do this a lot. Yeah. All right, while we're passing this, we're gonna just look at the menu and see if there's anything we want from China. We're not gonna stop and buy it now, I know, because you're gonna ask me 40 questions. We're just gonna look and see if we want anything. Yeah. Pan fried chicken dumplings, the crispy duck bao bun sounds amazing with the hoisin sauce, and the don don noodles, which is a spicy pork with, uh, what, Szechuan sauce, peanut butter, and sesame. Then the fiery dream, Baja. All right, we'll look. We'll look at the menu when we put this down. I, when I looked at the uh, notes thing, it didn't look like anything was new here. All right. We'll take another look-see. I already... What? I thought you were, like, rubbing yourself. No, I had a... Somebody was calling. Oh. Can't answer the phone on a live stream. When your hands are full, the nose is the next best thing. Like 
All right, look at this lovely spot. So we're here between China, India, Kenya, and we have our Mexican food. What a spot. What do you say? How about that? Fantastic. Look at that. All right, so here we go. Do you have forks? Yes, you do. Yes. Do you have the booklet so I can describe what's what? Yes. The drinks are pretty pleasant. That's good. Can't wait to try them. Let's see. Mexico. Here we go. Tostadas. Like maybe that? So this is the, I can just tell you what's what. This looks like the slow braised beef short rib on a corn tortilla with salsa de chili morita, avocado mousse, and spring onions. Yep, right there. Oh, okay. This first one is the tostada de carnitas, the braised pork on a fried corn tortilla with black beans, avocado mousse, queso fresco, and chives. Then the drinks, this I'm guessing is the Trouble in Paradise. Yes. That's watermelon. the mezcal, watermelon, rosé wine, lime juice, agave with a chili lime powder rim. And then to the left is the Flyaway Margarita, which has that Noche Luna Sotol, pineapple ginger juice, ancho chili verde liqueur, ambar blanco tequila, and a sweet dried chili salt rim. Let's get into it. This is very watermelony, but very good. Uh, watermelon and mezcal, or tequila go very well together. Yeah. All right. Let's set up the camera while we eat. <sighs> what? Some kind of a pretty background. There we go. Okay. I got a pocket full oh. of utensils. I got some hand sanitizer. Excellent. I got a towel. I got tied to go. What else wow. you got? I got two tickets to Paris. <laughs> you don't need uh, this, right? Nope. This towel is just beautiful right now. Beautiful towel. Okay. All right. Where are we start? Wherever you want. Hop in. You're let's, in charge. Let's do the drink. You let me navigate so, this place. I'll let you navigate the food and drinks. Here we go. So this drink I sampled along the way just because I didn't want it to spill. Um, this is the flyaway one. This is actually really good. I taste the ginger in there, and I'm a ginger fan. She is with me. Obviously. Um, so it's really fantastic. I love it. I think it's a great size, because sometimes these drinks are a little too big, and I'm like, ooh, like I don't need that much of it. This is a perfect size for the flavor. Mm. This one has the watermelon in it. I think it's very refreshing, honestly. It's a little sweet, so if you are into like sweet drinks, this is for you. I'm not getting a lot of the mezcal, to be honest, and I love mezcal. I'm really not getting a lot of that at all, if any. I thought that was more mezcal -y because the ginger has that like spiciness to it. Yeah, for those who don't you know, know, mezcal has almost like a bit of a smokiness to it. Yeah, I don't, I don't really get that. I tried this. I thought I was gonna like that one better. Okay. I haven't had it yet. This one was surprisingly delicious. So it's got more of a crunchy tortilla, oh, okay. where that one's a soft. I would say get as much as you can to the bottom, because, no, yeah, all right. You just got, you didn't get anything over here. No, I did This bite was awesome, because there's no queso fresco on top. I'm saying you might want that. All right, I taste it. The creaminess I thought was great. I taste it. I thought the pork was awesome. Mm -hmm. I thought the avocado mousse was great. This the is gonna be is messy. I'm, I might fork and knife this. Yeah, but I, that's why. No, I feel like that's gonna be less messy than this with the hard shell. It kind of. How are you giving? How are you gonna pick that up? Yeah, yeah, I guess. <laughs> it's covered in juice. The au jus. God bless you. It's got a lot of beans in that one though. All right. Oh, that's really good too. Yeah. Big fan. Yeah, do this. I'll create you the perfect bite. No, you don't need to. I know. I don't even know why. How do you review foods? Because all you do is you take a tiny little bite of just the meat. You gotta try it all together, Lord, and see if it all works in harmony. Give an honest review. I know. Look, it's a tiny bite with everything in it. Yeah, real tiny. It is tiny. I've seen you eat that. Pretend it was popcorn. What do you think? Got a lot of onion in that bite, but it was good. 
the beef is really good. Yeah, the beef is, the short rim is yeah. so good. Beef is very good. Big fan of this braised. Both tacos, very good. I honestly like these better than uh, the flower and garden ones. Uh, yeah. I really, Mexico always hits it out of the park for me. I feel like Mexico is always great. I feel like Mexico is a hit or miss. No, I feel like I always can get something that I like in Mexico. I don't know. This year, I haven't had the drinks yet, but both the food items, very good. Yeah. They do have a dessert item. We're not big dessert people. Also, so it was a very, it was a... Flan, right? Yeah, very heavy dairy dessert. Yeah, we, had, we had a milkshake. I was going to say, we can't keep having that super heavy stuff. We're going to eat as many new food items as we can. All right, which one should I try first? I feel like I should have this one first. Yeah, it's really good. I like that one a lot. Ooh, that's good. Oh, I know. I don't know if you're going to be a, as big of a fan because this is very watermelony. I like that. It's good. Honestly, a little bit of sweetness in the finish. I kind of wanted more. So? Oh, then this is very, very sweet for you. I'm just saying in the finish, I got that. No. That's one that's like the pineapple ginger thing. I like that. No, I like it too, yeah. but I pick up that pineapple and ginger on the end. Which right. to me, like, but I liked it. Yeah. And it could, uh, to me, you could always use a little more tequila, but that was good. <laughs> Do you taste mezcal? I told you, yeah, like it doesn't, but it's very, very watermelon. A lot of watermelon, but, but it's, like, I don't like hate it. it. Like I'm not a yeah. big watermelon person. Yeah. I, I like watermelon with mezcal or tequila. Yeah. But this, is, this isn't this is bad. To me, this almost just tastes like an adult fruit punch. Yeah. It's I almost like a, yeah. like Kool-Aid or something. Yep, yes. But I want to try it with the tahini because I don't think Go nuts. Yeah, the tahini is the star. <laughs> Come for the drink, stay for the tahini. I love tahini. Do you want more of this? No, you can have it. Alright. Um, yeah, it's just very sweet and... Um, I don't taste the mezcal, and I love mezcal flavoring. I wish there was more of it. That's my review. So I didn't see them when they poured them. Did they come out of a machine, or they make them in front of you? I don't know, because they were already there. And Did just, you see the machines behind them or anything? I, I don't know. I was just, I was just when they, like, ooh, that looks pretty, and she like handed them to me, and then the food came out, so I wasn't even looking at them. For a line movement. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's right, there's birds. They almost landed on my head. Nah. Um for to keep the line moving, I get I get why they use the machines, but when they make them in front of you, they tend to be like really good. Yeah. Like when they come out of the machine, they always taste a little watered down. I feel like to me. they I feel like they always do that in Mexico though, the machine, no? I feel like no. they usually I've do. seen them top them off. Or the machine is like pre for the mix and then they add the ounce and a half of whatever. Oh, okay. I don't know. All right, I'm keeping a fork and knife in my pocket. Let's see what everyone's saying, and also make sure our picture quality is legit. See if there's any questions so far. It's really hot. But it is very, it is very warm. I have a towel down there. I'm just saying, like the sun isn't out, but it's very hot. Don't be fooled. It's the humidity. A lot of deleted comments. See, why I don't is know what's happening that, because though? there's deleted comments. So I guess somebody is yeah, but... getting a little out of control. Okay. No, but it looks like a super chat, though. Hey, Mike, great to see you. Wow, someone, a lot of messages being deleted by Izzo and Dawn. What is happening? Uh -huh. And Bernadette. Why is everyone's messages being deleted? Let me see. Never give up. <laughs> what does that even mean, quick stream? I don't know. I don't know what that means, but uh, bouncing around different streams on Epcot, yours with audio, thanks. And you're the only one that has a quick screen time on theirs. So I don't know what that means, quick screen time. I don't know what that means. I don't know either, but I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> Izzo says, Pete needs his own booth in Epcot. That would be fun. 
do design like a little food and beverage program. Everyone says you gotta always start Mexico, so we did the right thing, you see? Margaritas and their tequila guide the way. I agree, John, I, I totally agree. Mike, so great to see you again, welcome back. Um, <laughs> yes, please, I see a lot of deleted messages. I don't know if there's just spam or people, you know, writing silly things. Just so you know, here in this chat, we just try to say positive, awesome, uplifting things. It doesn't have to be about me, it could be about Disney, it could be about the food or wine. Um, kind of the old expression, if you have nothing nice to say, try not to say anything. We like to keep this, this stream just, you know, super happy, pleasant, yeah. um, family friendly. We just want this to be an awesome, fun day for everybody who's watching and we'll be watching in the future. Uh, and if you have questions and stuff like that, try to keep the questions to Disney or Food and Wine or Epcot or about me and Lauren. Uh, that's all we want. Uh, that's what we're looking for. So yeah. thanks. And if you thank are- you, Thank you for the moderators. And thanks to the moderators for helping me out with that. Hard to read the chat in the sunlight. Uh, that's why the glasses are up and eating and trying to describe the food and drink for all of you. We just want to have fun today. So thank yeah. you so much. Johnson, we just bought two large bottles of tahini, uh, tahini from Amazon. Brilliant, oh, nice move. I need it. Tomorrowland Traveler says, love that stuff. Thanks again to the moderators. I don't even know what's happening here, uh, but. Okay, no worries. Thanks guys. Thanks again to everyone who's, uh, you know, taking care of the chat. Appreciate you guys. And again, spammers, let's try to. Uh, just be kind. Or yeah, you can go check out another channel. Yeah, We're just here for. Just happiness positivity food and wine stuff that's it we love our people thank you guys yeah and even if you're new as long as you're a good person at your heart we love you too but yeah there was a lot of moderating going on here it's okay it's great it's food and wine we're having a good time i got you Don. thanks again to everybody all right so anyway <laughs> david long goes cool it cool it oh yeah <laughs> Well, you would say you like the other drink better, right, than this one? Yeah, the, the watermelon one was a little too sweet for me. You could finish mm -hmm. that. The other one I thought was very good. Again, I can always yeah. think you could use just a little bit more tequila, oh, but always. it was good. But I think, too, that was, like, an appropriate size because I feel like sometimes there's, like, too much of this and it's too much sweetness. I feel like that was a good size for, like, a... Yeah, I mean, I would always... Think? I think all cups should be around this size. I feel like. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm the serious because you're paying like five or six bucks. No, these were, like, 13, 14. Now, the little one was $13? Uh, yeah. Sweet sassy molasses. I know. Well, we should be letting everyone know in the stream what things cost, too, so they can plan. Okay. All right, on that app, can we talk about China, India, Kenya? Go. Okay. I feel like I have a piece of black bean right here. Let me see. Mm. No. I'm good? Yeah. All right. I was panicking. Don't panic. That would have been real funny on the chat if, like, you know, like, when you had that one black tooth, like, when you your Halloween costume. All right, Halloween coach, either? how's it going? You never put like wax on one tooth or you oh. like a little like <laughs> black tooth? Okay, so you're saying, what were you saying, China, what? So we're gonna look at the next three booths that we're in between are China, India, Kenya, and the refreshment port. All right, Kenya, nothing new. Okay, so let's just take a look real quick here. Go down. You know, I know, I'm just taking a look, I'm just taking a look. But there is a beer there. I just wanna see if there's anything yummy that I wanna try too. You know, even though we're looking for the new items, if there's something yummy, we're gonna oh. try it for you guys. Also, I'll read the menu items, right? So Kenya has the Kenyan coffee barbecued beef tenderloin with a sweet potato corn uh, mealy pap and a kachumbari slaw. <laughs> they have the peri-peri skewered shrimp with a citrus-flavored couscous. And they have a Congo Pilsner from 81 Bay over in Tampa. Okay. India, which is right across from us, if I flip the camera around, you can see it right there, uh, has the curry-spiced crispy cheese with a mango curry ketchup. Uh, that is part of the Emile's fromage montage, by the way. Oh, boy. The potato and pea samosa with a coriander lime cream. We had that last year. That was very good, believe it or not. Very good. I remember that, yeah. And also the chicken tikka masala mm. with the fennel spice yogurt with naan bread. That was, was very, very good. good. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, and then they have a the Taj Mahal lager, a sparkling wine, a Chenin Blanc, a mango lassi, which is like uh, an ice cream uh, drink. With liqueur. China does have a new, yeah, that's the one I wanted to try. Maybe what? we should do that. The crispy duck bao bun with the that's hoisin new? sauce sounds so Why good. Why did I look at it? Oh, okay. Maybe I skimmed it really quick because everything then, else is not. Yeah, everything else looks pretty standard. All right. Ooh, this sounds good too. The fireworks? Tequila? 
vodka. Well, it's got tequila, citrus vodka, orange juice, and mango syrup. I'm into I'm that. telling you, Peter, we had it last year. It's very sweet. With tequila and vodka, it's sweet? I remember it distinctly, and I was like, this is too much. And it's like big and very sweet. I remember it. I'm big and very sweet. Oh, yeah? Yeah. All right. I think we should divide and conquer. Maybe you can do China and I'll do one of these. Well, what are you gonna, what do you mean? What are you gonna get at the other one? Um, also, wait, can I have that passport? Yeah. True. Cause also there's the refreshment port right over here. No, that's not refresh, refreshment port's over there. There's two of them. I think you're thinking of Kenya or no. um, what do you whatever call, that is. I uh, believe they call it a refreshment port. No, 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 no. Refreshment outpost. Yeah, outpost. Port outpost. Different. They have a spicy getiri with white beans, pigeon peas, curried, long grain, and wild rice with a kachumbari slaw. They do have a flight of drinks, though. Really? Yeah, they do all the time. Lauren, you, you come to the parks twice a year now. You, we got to show you around. This is what goes on here. All right. All right, I'm asking you, would you rather go to the refreshment outpost or China? China. All right. See ya. <laughs> okay. Uh, what are you getting from there again? I'm just getting your duck thing. Yep. And that's it, right? Yeah, I might get some uh, dumplings for myself, but... All right. See ya. See ya. You want me to take this? You don't want this. Yeah, you can have that. I don't want um, I know you like carrying this, or we can put this in my backpack for now. Because you're gonna you have to carry to, the straw. Yeah. If, if that's okay, let me take I'll a big take swig it. so I can lighten your load. Okay. Whoa, we got a barge coming through. <laughs> Boat passing. Wow, that's really cool to see. It's pretty massive. Wow. Good. Good to know we have four gallons of water in the backpack. Well, I can hold it if you want me to. No, I got you. Um, are we going to try and meet back here? Yeah, or any of these tables we find it. Okay. Yeah, I feel like these are going to be open. So we'll meet back here. If they're all taken, maybe go There's going to be way. someone umbrellas over there, too. All right. But I'm going to try here first. This will be your first thing, right? Yes. You okay? No. I know, you're like all over the place. I'm not today. well. Hold on one sec. Let's go. Sorry, we had a game planned out. So if you came in a little bit late, we are here at the World Showcase at Epcot for the Food and Wine Festival. We've already done the pickle milkshake. People are very excited about that. We gave it a try. 
we actually got like 60% of the way through it. It comes in a very large plastic mason jar kind of cup. We tried the new wings, the orange cardamom wings. Those are very good. We just tried both new dishes at Epcot and the two new drinks at Epcot. I mean, in Mexico, they were great. Lauren's going to China to try the new duck bao buns. We're going to meet back up. And I'm here at the refreshment outpost where they have the spicy gatiri. And then we're going to do, I think, the flight of all three of these. The watermelon hibiscus lager, the mango tango hard cider, and the north coast prankster golden ale. And we, I picked the right line. Shout out to Lauren for helping me out. How's it going? I would love to try, can I, uh, do you guys have like a beer flight of the three beers? Oh, okay, in that case. Uh, okay, well, no worries. Okay, in that case, uh, let, let's do, the uh, hibiscus lager and the prankster golden ale. Sure. Yes. Too. It's nice and cool over here. You guys got it made. Yeah, it's so nice. Got that AC blowing out. This is a great location to work. If I was in Food and Bev at Epcot, please put me at the refreshment outpost. No lines, nice and cool. And here we go. We went with the full size beers. Music provided by the children of Walt Disney World. Bring your kids, put them to work. It does create a beautiful atmosphere. When we did that stream here the other morning, that area was empty. And while it was very nice and serene, you miss that Epcot energy of kids banging on drums. Here's the India booth. We tried a lot of these last year and they were awesome. Honestly, we were big fans of this booth last year in a big way. The curry spiced crispy cheese was good. The potato and a pea samosa. It doesn't sound amazing, but it was very good. And that chicken tikka masala with the fennel spice yogurt and naan. So good. And they got a bunch of random drinks. Happy birthday. Thank you. So many occasions here today. All right, let's head back to our table here. Oh, sorry about that. All right, let's rest these beers right here. Should we watch some How the Magic Happens? Welcome to Behind the Scenes. It's starting to rain a little bit, just a little drizzle again. Nothing to be concerned with, nothing to worry about. You know what I didn't grab is napkins. I think I'm going to have to go grab some napkins. You guys watch some construction. You be my OSHA eyes. So while we wait for Lauren, we should be seeing her beautiful face approaching any minute. 
let's take a look at what we got right here. So I was saying refreshment port earlier. That is the little stop that is on your way to Canada between like that walk around the corner from Figment to Canada, the refreshment port. That's where they're gonna have those poutines. But back here at the outpost, they got beers, but they don't offer flights. <coughs> Excuse me, as I die. So we went with the full beers. Uh, the only one we didn't get was the cider. I'm not a big cider person, nothing against cider. I'm just a beer kind of person. So I got a beer for me and Lauren. Beers don't go bad for us. We could walk, sip. Also, something interesting, I guess they pre-printed these and had to change it. I don't know if you noticed here at the port, but they put a sticker over the page. That must have been fun, being the person who had to put a sticker on every single passport that was printed and put out at Epcot today. You figure they have to have made tens of thousands of these. Yikes. That poor, poor cast member. Gotta be nice to your cast members. All right, let's try these beers while uh, we wait for Lauren. And then we'll talk to you guys in the chat a little bit. So, at the refreshment outpost, I got the Gulfstream Brewing Cloud Nine Watermelon Hibiscus Lager, which is gonna be, I'm pretty sure. That one for sure. So there it is. Look at the size of that. It's made over in Fort Lauderdale. About uh, three hours from us here. It's over on the East Coast. And it's good. It definitely has watermelon and hibiscus notes. It's not too sweet. It's well-rounded. Again, very nice for a lager. These lagers are really stepping their games up. Like we were saying earlier in the stream, we're not the biggest lager people per se. We typically drink our sours, IPAs, and, you know, cool, weird beers. But these lagers have had some fun flavors. The one we had at brewing this morning was uh, delicious, and this one's just as good. The other beer that we got was the North Coast Brewing over in Fort Bragg, California. The Prankster Golden Ale. Prankster with a Q. And let's try this Golden Ale. a nice clean golden ale i like it a lot yeah smooth refreshing almost has the body of a of a wheat almost because it's got a you know a creamier mouthfeel but it's a nice golden to me goldens are usually a little bit lighter goes down real easy almost like those super light lagers but this golden's got like i said leans more towards those wheat like blue moon flavors both beers are great uh Again, I wish they had flights because I like trying just little samples of everything. But if I had to do, we committed to these two big ones and they're both delicious and they're light, which is nice on a hot day like today. Although I will say the rain that's starting to drizzle down on us feels very nice. I mean, I'm hoping it doesn't ruin people's day or food or streaming experiences, but it feels nice now. It's like uh, someone sprinkling just little water with their fingers onto you that are nice ice cold. All right, here we go. Let's see what's going on with this construction. Enough of this big red face. While I uh, talk to all of you, we'll do, we'll do some chatting. Also, thanks to everybody who's hit the like button so far. If you're enjoying the stream, please hit the like button. It's the ultimate compliment. You could also subscribe. That is so nice. Make sure you hit all notifications so you don't miss any of our live streams. We'll be here at Epcot Food & Wine a lot over the next few weeks, making sure we try everything and give you all the reviews of every item the entertainment, the concerts, some of the new items as they open up, as booths come open, as, uh, I'm sorry, booths become, oh, I guess I said that right, as booths gradually open up, because not all the booths are open yet. Let's see what else I missed here besides some of that craziness from before in the chat. Let's see who else just is joining us and chiming in while we watch this crane do work. Uh, John Thorne asks, which uh, those drinks from Mexico is the sweeter one? That was the watermelon one was a little bit sweeter. Uh, and if you want the exact name, that was, let's see, that was Mexico. The Trouble in Paradise margarita was a little bit sweeter than the Fly Away margarita, which was a little bit 
uh, in my opinion, more margarita-esque. The Trouble in Paradise was more of like the Kool-Aid <laughs> flavored margarita. Great to see Coach Brenda says, hello from Jersey. I'll be in Disney in four weeks. It's so exciting. Crystal Coachman, good afternoon. Great to see you. Hi, Agnes. Says, I kind of want to try the grease booth. We'll go over and try that grease booth. Crystal says, I'm glad the Music Fest is back. Me too. It's very exciting. Hi, BW. Silicon Dave, what's going on? Says, hello, ABC and the chat. Hope you're all doing well. We're having a great day here at Food and Wine. Avery Berry, what's going on? Good morning. Why is why are we deleting Avery's comments? We love Avery. Oh, what I'm missing. I can't see the chats that were deleted because I'm the one streaming. Downtown Daryl, what's going on? Great to see it. So it was one pontoon pushing those barges. I fun stuff, right? Avery's in the Discord. Avery is a uh, Patreon, too, I believe. Shout out to all the Patreons. Thank you so much. Like I said, we're going to be doing a Patreon call Monday or Tuesday. Let me know uh, on the Discord channel. I sent out a little video this morning, which is better for you, or in the Discord channel on our... Not the Discord. The Patreon channel on our Discord. There you go. Words in the right order. We say... Yeah, Mark, you're right. Mark Spencer, what's going on? It says, drizzle's good on a hot day. Yeah, I'll take a little bit of drizzle. We just don't want all that craziness. The line in China wasn't terrible. I want to say it was like the standard for every day. The lines don't seem too bad today. And it, usually opening day, they're a little long. Siri, Dawn says this stream is super helpful for Boston Pat. Mr. Lager, yeah, he's going to like this festival. Especially, I mean, I don't know if he likes kind of, I know he's a Bud Light guy. And again, I could put down some Bud Lights. But these lagers are, are still nice. They're refreshing, they're light, but they got a little bit of pizzazz to them. A little magic to them. I'm very excited for these uh, duck bow buns. John asked about those uh, Mexican margaritas. Uh, one had a sweet, so the flyaway margarita, which we liked a little bit better, or I'd say the not so sweet one, had a sweet dried chili salt rim. The Trouble in Paradise had the chili lime powder rim, which I believe is just tahini. But technically they said one is a chili lime, the other one had a sweet dried chili. All right, look at that. With that, we're caught up in the chat. All right, so now let's plan our extravaganza for the next two stops. So we've gotten through brewing. We did Mexico. Lauren's getting China now. Uh, India has no new things, but we might come back later on and get some of our favorites. Uh, I got the two beers from the refreshment outpost. Well, I got it right this time. And then Kenya had no new stuff, so we might pass that for now. But then we're going to head over to the Alps where I believe there is a new food item. Uh, it's very funny because I love the raclette cheese, but Lauren is so funny whenever we pass it because they have the raclette cheese right there warming and they just kind of peel it off with their little peeling device. But Lauren just says it's a place that smells like a foot because it does a little bit. It's warm cheese out in the hot Florida heat, but it tastes delicious. I'm not gonna lie to you. They have a Rattler as well. They have a Veltliner as well. And a Frozen Rosé. Or a Frosé, if you will. That's the Alps. The Alps booth is located right to the Germany booth. And over at Germany, they have the Schnickenudeln, which we love that. For those who don't know, it's a pasta gratin, which has ham, uh, onions, and cheese in it. It's, you know, obviously very healthy and very good for you. They also have a Bratwurst on a pretzel roll, an apple strudel. And then they have a bunch of beers. So hopefully we'll be done with these beers by the time we hit Germany, because you got to do the beers in Germany. They have a Kolsch. They have a Fest beer. They have a prickly pear Hefeweizen. I'm interested in that. 
Uh, they also have a Riesling. Well, two Rieslings, I guess. And there they do have a beer flight. So you can do those three beers. We'll probably do the flight. Over in Spain, the charcuterie in a cup was so good. I don't know if it's new. We're trying to do mostly new items because there's so much food to eat. But we're going to see whatever we can put down. But Spain, we really liked. The charcuterie in a cup was great last year. The paella is always good. And the seafood salad was also good. So we'll have to try those again. Then they have a white sangria, a regular sangria, and a rosé sangria. I say regular because red sangria, I feel like it's the most popular. Italy, we tend to just walk past. We, tr we don't even want to tempt ourselves. But they have a focaccia rapina, which is fresh baked focaccia. Fresh baked focaccia, Italy. We'll be the judge of that. We have, <laughs> hey, Ron's here. There he goes. He's also live streaming, so we can't jump in. Mine's the live streams you're allowed to jump into. I treat everybody else's live streams very professionally. Uh, they also have a cavatelli, which uh, with a sweet sausage ragu and a crispy applewood smoked bacon. And they have a cheesecake, a lemon ricotta cheesecake. Ooh, with a strawberry compote. Again, all these things sound great, Italy. You, you, on paper, these sound amazing. But I have concerns. We'll see, maybe we'll do it. The one thing I do get from the Italian booth every year is that Italian margarita. How do you go wrong with tequila and limoncello? Mm, 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 mm. Flavors of America, I have to save room for because a lot of these are new, I was told, and they sound awesome. One is the Italian hot beef sandwich. I love hot beef sandwiches. It, nothing about that sounds appetizing. Saying it, reading it, not at all. But I'm excited about it. You got that shaved beef with the spicy Giardinera. Uh, Giardinera? Giardinera. Anyway, it's a big G word with a lot of consonants. And then au jus on a French, and then they got the au jus on the side with a French roll. Yes, please. I love French dips. This is, seems like an Italian-American version of that. I'm in. They also have a, ooh, a seafood stew with a saffron and Seuss tomato fennel broth and a crostini. Seems a little heavy, but I'd be into trying it. They have a... You know what I like about this? All the American food is not really, Amer like in past years, they were all like America food. But this is like, how do I phrase this? Like kind of like culturally fun and different because that's what America is, right? A melting pot, America built on immigrants. We should have different foods. I like this. Anyway, they also have uh, corn tortilla chips with a salsa verde, with a ranchero chicken, queso fresco, cilantro lime crema, and a soap poach, oh, egg? Oh my God, that sounds amazing. More won't eat that, but I will eat all of that. That cilantro lime crema sounds great. We also have a carrot cake. I don't eat carrot cake. I believe my vegetables should be separate. Whoa, we got two hotties approaching at once. Lauren and a Jojo. Yeah, hello. How you hello. doing? Thank you. It is an Thank awesome you. shirt. It's a great it shirt. looks light for today yeah, too. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I it's love like, that. It's a good, it's a good uh, material. Yeah. See? Yeah, go ahead, you can touch it. It's oh my gosh, that is nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can touch it. How are you guys doing? Awesome. Yeah. We're trying We're trying to get through all the new food items. All the new food items. It's a lot though, we're trying. Is that from Japan? No, this is uh, oh, China, China, the duck with the hoisin sauce on the bao bun. Gotcha. New for this year. That's not new, but she just loves them, so okay. got that. Do you want to uh, be in the vlog real quick? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, here we go. Three. Two, one. Who do we have here? Oh my gosh, you know what? It's Pete Carney from Adventures by Carney. First day of Food and Wine Festival. Who's excited? I am. What you got right there? So this is one of the new items for this year from the China booth. This is the duck with the hoisin sauce on the bao bun. I haven't gotten into it yet. Should we just get into it right now? Yeah, let's do uh, it. Let's just do it. Doing the live stream as well. Oh, nice bite. Wow. And I feel like you actually have a good like sense of what food is good and not good compared to me. So how are you feeling? <laughs> So, I took a big bite. Hold yeah, on one second. <laughs> oh, <laughs> chew it up, chew it up. All right, the bao bun is great. So a good bao bun should be like nice and soft, tender, like melt in your mouth, it's perfect. The roasted duck cooked very nicely. I would like it a little bit crispier. A okay. duck to me should have a little bit of a crispier skin, but the hoisin sauce is banging. The duck is cooked well. The bun is great. This is an awesome little snack and bite. China, they know what they're doing in China. That's it's great. Awesome. He's, he, he did such a good job of explaining that. Like, I don't, that's why I don't do food vlogs. I'm like, it tastes good, <laughs> it tastes bad. 
My tummy's full. <laughs> I'm sad. Like, I don't know, like, you know? <laughs> but. I, I like to ask people if, like, they're not food describers. Like, if I'm in a group and we're doing, like, a group, like, taste test or whatever, I'm like, would you order this again, yes or no? Yeah. Is usually, like, the best That's answer. That's big best, yeah. Because yeah. people are just like, if you're like, it's good, but you're saying everything's good. But you wouldn't try it again, yeah. Yeah, like... That's what we did. Like we did the pickle shake, and I was like, "If you want to try something weird, it's it's palatable." Yeah. Would you order it more than once? Probably not. Oh Probably god, here comes more goons. <laughs> uh, guys, did you like go last night? Stream. To what? To uh, the generations? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I done. literally fell asleep. How like are you? I sat down for two seconds. She went to bed. I was like, "Oh, I'm I'm gonna go." Hey, Joe, Joe. hey how you doing? Good man. Good. 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 Three and a half months. Awesome. What's up, guys? You just get off the flight? Yeah, literally. <laughs> we took a red eye back. We ate all the new food at DCA yesterday. We took a red eye back. I saw you straight here. How was the Haunted Mansion food? It's pretty good. I, I like the. I like that one. Not scary. <laughs> it's not scary. I'm not sure exactly how all of it tied into the Haunted Mansion here. Here we go. What's going on? Yeah, we got it. This is my move is to try to find America because there's refuge. Oh, there they are. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, should we head to America where there's coverage? Okay. Um, I'm assuming we'll see you like 10 more times today. Three months. Three and a half months. Most cigarettes. Wow, that's awesome. Can you? I'm going to eat this, but can you just carry that for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got the beer? Oh my gosh. I got the beer and the camera. We're going to America. We're coming to America. I'm going to try and like cover the... Uh... All right, let's rock and roll. Starting to rain a little bit harder. I'm going to go take I'm my go baby inside. Yeah, <laughs> we're doing the same thing. I'll see you later. It's so great as JoJo's talking to us. I just see like groups slowing down. And then there's like one bachelor party and they're like, you go up and say hi, you go up and say hi. And then none of them did, they just walked away. <laughs> I want to be like, come over, he'll take a picture with you. How do you know it wasn't for you? It definitely wasn't for me. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, it was a bachelorette party, Lauren. Was it, or was it a 21st birthday? Because I saw, were they white shirts? No, black shirts. Oh, okay. Someone had the word bride on them. Oh, okay. Well, uh, somebody was from China and they were all wearing matching like white shirts. Like, oh, that's fun. Yeah. If anything, they would just think I'm like his protection. Like, all right, one one picture at a time for JoJo, please. Um, I don't know what I have here, but I've been drinking. It's pretty good. It's good, right? Both of them are good. One's a golden ale okay. from California. The other one is a watermelon hibiscus. I definitely have a golden ale. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, um, I'll like, help you I out. I don't know if the raining slowed down or we're just between enough trees. Yeah. Because I don't know if we want to pass the schnickenoodle in and the Swiss cheese or the raclette. Definitely pass the raclette. I'm not a I'm not a Swiss cheese person, but the raclette is good. So I feel like this is not new. No, there's I think one or two new items. But oh, what I'm okay. thinking is since it is heavy and we have beers, is maybe double back here a little bit later. Let's let's just continue to America. There's a roof, so that's why I'm thinking if we could hit America, they also have a bunch of food items that are new and that sound yes. delicious. And the worst case, we could always come back and do Germany and Italy later, yeah. or right afterwards. Hold on, I gotta. I I can't read your lips very well. I can just mute for one second. Hold on. Tell me, tell me the gossip. Hold on, everyone. I'll tell you. I'll do I'll tell you when Lauren's not looking. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. You're not muted. Anyway, it was nice seeing everybody. A little stop there. <laughs> we got to see, uh, I liked it. Oh, Pete, I know you don't want to miss Italy. Italy. All right, so Lauren, I was talking about Italy while we were waiting for that duck. 
And I said, on paper, these all sound fantastic. They always do. They always do. Not always. Sometimes they're just like fried cheese with sauce. Like, <laughs> you're like, gross. But they're described very well. I kind of want someone else to try it first. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's a, well, that's a short line. You should have seen China. I was like, I picked... But as long as someone line. asked... Yeah, I walked up. No one in line. I had a feeling. I was like, yeah, I should... But it worked out because I was like... Chocolate with the chat. I don't know. Yeah, because it like, it's weirder if you're in a crowded line. Yeah. Is that the rain coming behind us? Oh, my God. You can hear it approaching. <laughs> oh, God. The rain is coming from behind us. <laughs> this is like... This is like Twister. Look. That's crazy. Behind us, it's starting to rain real bad. Oh, no. It's coming down. <laughs> Quickly. Quickly! I saw it catching us. It was chasing us. We're never gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm spilling beer. All right, come on. We got this. We got this. We can do it. We can do it. No, you can do it too. I see coverage. Go on without me. No, I'll never leave you. Oh God. Okay. We. All right. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, that AC feels good. Are we about to get a little voice of liberty too? Yeah. Hold on, I'm just looking to see if there's any. I know, I'm just looking. I think the actual the most service is this room. <sighs> All right, let's hang over here. Whew. All right, we made it. The camera's soaked. Yeah. All right, let me try this hibiscus and acid rain. Here, here. Go, go over there. So that way it doesn't look crazy. There you go. Great nose. It's not bad, right? I can't believe how we heard the rain coming. I know. And it chased us down. I covered this for the most part, but it's a little... It's fine. I'll eat it. I'm down for a little soggy duck. They do blow their way. They cry. Oh, boy. I kind of want to talk, but it's very crowded in here. You want to hang here for one second? I'll just go look. I'm just saying, you want to hang for one sec? I'm going to go look, see what other, what other options are available. I am happy they put tables in here, it's great. Wait, if this table's leaving, we could hop over here. You guys taking off? Yeah. All right, sweet. Love that. That's what it's all about. Oh, this is great. Thank you so much. It's coming, she's got a beer for me. <laughs> I got it made now. Have a great day. Look at that timing. And look at you. There you go. Remember the last time we did like a little talk show? My mom was like, you two should have your own show. We did. <laughs> Welcome to Afternoons at Epcot with Lauren and, and Peter. I'm Peter. I'm Lauren. Welcome. It's a rainy day. I gotta do something with this hair, folks. You look great. I don't know what's happening. It looked like a disaster. You know it was a really good move? A towel? A towel. You look great. No, but Wait the to hair see can this be disaster. down right now. And then once we get outside, I'll Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. I'm gonna check in these beers. Check them in, check them in. So glad I brought sunglasses. I've been wearing mine all day. All right, before we continue with our duck while the rain passes, let's catch up with some chat here, shall we? Can I just say? Say it, girl, say it. Those chicken dumplings are always fantastic. Big fan <laughs> of the chicken so dumplings. Good. You heard it from Lauren. Picky <laughs> eater Lauren, and she was they're a big very fan. Good. They're very good. Every year they're very good, so consistently a great A great, snack. great snack. 
If uh, you're just joining, we're here inside the American Adventure Pavilion. Uh, the rain has started to come down pretty hard. Oh, do you have the passport? I do. Okay, because I want to check it in. I realized I don't have it. What, what was that? Outpost something? Yes, refreshment outpost located right in between India and Kenya. Two of the booths here for the Food and Wine Festival. Uh, Lynette says, Lauren, your hair looks great. Oh, thanks, John Lauren. Thorne said, holy head of hair. That's what I'm saying. It's very But thick. it's great volume. Some people would die for that volume. No, I'm literally dying because of that volume. You also say that about me at night when I'm speaking loudly. Yeah, that's true. Oh, it's a watermelon hibiscus. Wow. Watermelon hibiscus. Yes, let's get into the drinks. I like that a lot. So we're having two of the beers from the refreshment outpost uh, hosted by Coca-Cola. Uh, again, I'm having the North Coast Brewing out of California Prankster Golden. She is having the Cloud Nine Watermelon Hibiscus from Fort Lauderdale, the good people at Gulf Stream Brewing. I gotta catch up, I haven't seen the chat since uh, Jojo came over and said hi. Isn't it nice that he just comes over and says hi? I like so the little nice. community here at Disney. A lot of people streaming. As we, as we were talking, Ronald McGo went by, JoJo, you saw our WWNT crew come by. Um, let's see. What did I miss? What did I miss? Do, 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 do. Yeah, I don't think anybody added this yet. Yeah. Cloud Nine. Lawrence entering all the new beers that are made just for this. So they just started the American Adventure. It's getting quiet in here uh, because everybody who was inside just went into the theater for the American Adventure. We probably should have done that while the rain passed. The food at Food and Wine is a little bit pricey. I would say compared to festivals of the past, if you haven't come to Food and Wine here, or if you've been to other festivals where you might pay like three, four, five dollars, those days are long gone. Uh, most of the food items here are going to be between six and twelve dollars for food and beverage items. Let's see what else that I missed. Let's see what I missed here in the chat. Long line at China, but I mean China does hold a longer line. It's also kind of the furthest distance from other booths. So like when you're by India and Kenya and the freshman outpost, there's three booths there, so it's going to be the lines are kind of spread out amongst the three, but people are crowded at tables. China is kind you know, Mexico is on the opposite side of the Mexico like pyramid, so it's a little bit further. Plus, who doesn't like Chinese food? And I know this is controversial, but Nine Dragons is not the best in my opinion. I happen to like New York Chinese food. I know it's a weird thing. See, Tomorrowland Traveler agrees, smelly cheese is the best cheese. You know how they say you eat with your eyes first? Maybe we eat with your nose second. I, I eat with my nose Basically, first. Basically, what does the taste even matter mm. at that point? Kim, that's exactly the word I was trying to say. Lauren, how do you say that? You're Italian. Giordanata? No. Giordanata. Giordanata? Sure. Anyway, that's what's on top of the hot beef sandwich. Sure. North Coast Brewery. A lot of people excited to see Jojo. Yeah, it was great that he came over and wanted to be in the stream. So I guess check out his vlog coming out most likely tonight or tomorrow. And then yes, we had Eric and Jake stop by, two of our faves. Love Jake, love Eric. Um, Ferris was here? Oh, hi Ferris. Ferris Films. He hopped in the chat while we were with Jojo. Look at that. Got the whole gang Convenient. together. Vanessa, it's so funny that uh, to me that people calmly stroll in the rain at Disney and then run for cover when they're else, everywhere else. It is true. I mean, if it's a light drizzle, yeah. we were walking like you saw, but all of a sudden when we heard the wall of rain chasing us, I was like, that it was like Twister. Doesn't sound good. I know. I did spill a drop or two of beer. Blasphemy, Robert D says. <laughs> he says, get some coverage and grab a moonshine to the left. It's not a bad idea. Although I kind of want to grab, I think there's a beer flight in America, is there? There usually is. Let's see. That's what I want. We are here in America, so let's see what's going on in America. America. 
there is a beer flight. It's got yeah, the uh, nice. Rogue Dreamland American Lager, the Goose Island Neon Beer Hug, which is good. I've had it before. And the Left Hand Brewing Sawtooth Amber. You like Amber? I do. I'm a fan. Doesn't the food sound good in America this year? It's like not typical, like, you know how they always do like American food, like heavy. They have an Italian hot beef sandwich. They got a seafood stew, which is like a real bit of, reminds me of the Northeast a little bit. Maybe on a cold night, you have a seafood stew with the uh, broth and a crostini. And then you have like a little, maybe like a little Tex-Mex with the corn uh, chips with a salsa verde, ranchero chicken, queso fresco, cilantro la crema, soft poached egg. Uh, yeah, I, I, mean, like, the soft I, I said that on the stream <laughs> earlier. I was like, you're not going to like the soft post. No. Why do they have to do that? Because it's delicious, Lauren. It adds this richness to it. It's delicious. Delicious. Oh, Michelle says my friend Scott is coming to find you to say hi. Scott? Scotty Scott? Scott? We're gonna try and come back tomorrow to see Michelle, if we can. Uh, John says, Ron is a great dude. His channel has grown a ton in the past few months. Yeah, he's really put in a lot of time and effort. I, I don't know how he's able to do this full time. I feel like he's here every day, is which is really the goal for me. When, once we can do this full time, I'd be in the parks four or five days a week every day. Who? Ron, Ron on the go is another uh, YouTuber. On the go? It sounds like he'd be best friends. <laughs> I saw him over, but he always seems like he's busy talking about something, and I don't want to interrupt. But uh, he was over at Brew Wing while we were there, and then he passed by while I was waiting for you. Gotcha. Rosita Klein, great to see you. It says, Pete, I'm having lunch. Good to see you and Lauren. It's good to see you. Uh, Lynette said, did they bring the escargot back to France? Let's take a little look-see here. France, 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 France. France, France, France. Let's see. They have the beignet. Oh, they did. The Croissant escargot, which is the escargot croissant with garlic and parsley. I'm gonna get that. I like that every year. I like a nice big salty bite. And who doesn't like a croissant, right? Love a croissant. Love a croissant. Did you tag me? No. Uh, right now we're hanging out in the American Adventure Pavilion because it's starting to pour rain outside. Just like to kill a little bit of time. It's, yeah, it's starting to line up. Maybe we'll, we'll grab some food here in America since we have this table and it's in the air conditioning and a beer flight, and we'll hang out here for a minute. And then by then, all the rain should be gone, and we're back outside. All right, do you want to do that? What do you want from America? Or do you want to go get it, or do you want me to go get it? Do you want to talk to the camera, or do you want to get the food? I like Okay. I need to sit. You can sit. Is leg day. Every day is leg day. Holding up all this body. <sighs> It's really legitimate. What would you like from America? The flight. Any food? No, nothing really. I might get, I just kind of really want to try this hot beef sandwich. Do whatever you want. And I'm then maybe I'll try, well, can I have that list to see what's new? Oh yeah, I think all of it's new, but yeah. Oh, that would be my phone. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. I'm gonna go back to my duck. Duck boots. That was so funny. We were watching The Office last night, which is, one of our favorites. We've seen it a million times, but it was the Christmas episode where they're at the hibachi restaurant. And I love that Dwight's at the other end of the table and tries to get their attention. And he goes, Jim, what are they talking about? He's like, oh, she doesn't know how to properly, uh, what, did she do? what did she say, like break down a goose or whatever. Oh. And he's like, oh, you're doing it all wrong. You have to take the knife, insert it in the neck. And he, it's just very funny. You office fans will know what I'm talking about. Yes, it's good. It's good. Why can I find this? America. You are right? You need an apple? I brought him. Okay. Okay, here we go. Yeah, they're all new except for the freshly baked carrot cake. These look like they're not new. But if you don't want to get them, we don't have to get them. No, I got a little flight. Um, if you want to, or we can drink these. Oh, we can share a flight. Why not? It's up to you. I don't have to have it. I'll get it. But I'm just going to get one of these sandwiches for now, and then we'll yeah. tell them back. Yeah, so get whatever The goal is to try as much of the new food and beverage items that are up this year. By that we mean a lot for those who don't know. Yeah, there's only two of us here eating and drinking right now. Um, but for those who don't know, they, for food and wine, the menus don't 
Like they aren't all brand new every year. There might be one or two new food items, but they bring back the popular ones because not everyone is available to make it to food and wine every single year. Especially when it used to just run from Labor Day until the first weekend of November. Now it runs from July until mid-November. Canada. Cheddar, bacon, soup with the pretzel. O-M-G. It's the best. It's the best. If you haven't gotten it, what are you even doing? What are you even doing? What are you doing? What do you like? Not eat beef? That's... I don't even like sandwich. bacon, and that's my favorite. Um, I was told, so we're not vegans, but we're friends with vegans. We know vegans. Uh, shout out to the vegans. We know vegans. Uh, I heard the offerings more than normal this year, so that's good. We'll try some vegan things today. Right? Sure. Uh, our Crawford says, good afternoon from the city of brotherly love. Oh, I believe that would be Philadelphia. Sure. I mean, really, you can make any city. In West Philadelphia, born and raised in the playgrounds where I spent most of my days. Chilling out, back to relaxing, all cool, and I was shooting some d bell outside of the school with a couple of guys. They were up to no good. Saw to make a trouble with my neighborhood. I got in one little fight, and my mom got scared. Just came living with the auntie and uncle in Bel Air. All right, people are cab, watching. when it came near the license plate to crush and then dice in the mirror. All right. If anything else. <laughs> I know all the words. Maybe I will go get the food and come back. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right, you gonna catch up with all this chat for me? Sure. Hopefully we'll see Haunted Mansion tomorrow, the next day too. I can't wait, I'm so excited for the movie. I wanna either go on Haunted Mansion, then go straight to the movie, or go to the movie, then go straight to Haunted Mansion. Or both. Okay. See, this is why you don't get excited about things like me. Because you're like, bleh, bleh, if you could just get to the Haunted Mansion quickly, that'd be great. But there's a whole process to get it to the Magic Kingdom. Lauren, you have to embrace that process. People die for that process. Maybe not die, but they would say, you're really give the their left mansion. arm to go through that process. <laughs> now that song is going to be stuck in my head. And no, enough. You know what I'm going to sing instead? Um, no. Remember when we went to Philly and that's all I sang? And you yelled at me because I couldn't stop? I couldn't stop. I couldn't stop. I know. And it was the worst when I made the mistake of saying, oh, we're heading to West Philadelphia. <laughs> yep. All right. I'm going to brave the elements. I don't think it's that bad anymore. Oh, it's bad. I see Is hail, it? sleet, snow. All right, you're gonna chat it up, everybody? Sure. Everyone be nice to Lauren. Gene Fitzmagic, what's going on? Great to see you. Right now, we're just hanging out inside for those who are just joining because we got a little bit of weather outside. Yes, go Jets, can't wait. Been loving watching all the uh, updates from training camp. I'm in love hate that we're gonna be on Hard Knocks, but you know what? It already happened, so I may as well brace it. I will be on the Pete McDevitt show this Thursday night, I believe, discussing uh, the upcoming football season. So if anyone's not subscribed to Pete McDevitt, go check him out. It's great. And also, Gene Fitzmagic has an awesome program on YouTube as well. Go check out his stuff. And if you want some other great YouTube suggestions, go to my Discord, check out the Promote Yourself tab, and there are a ton of people in our community that have their own YouTube pages, which are amazing, whether it's Disney, bourbon, woodworking, video games. It's all there in the Promote Yourself channel on our Discord. Go check it out. So you're gonna Lauren chat. Huh? will tell you. No, I just want to see if there's anything that I, I have to hard answer. I'm going to let you do the rest. Oh, oh thank you so much. Rosita. Rosita for the super chat says, for Lauren's way back rap. <laughs> Sing it again, Lauren. <laughs> it's my yes. lunch show. Uh, see that? I see it. All right, I'm going to get food. Oh, yeah. Be nice to everyone. Okay, yikes. Did I say that to you when <laughs> you went to get food? Well, I have to go to the opera, but I'll be Why don't you that. go first? Nah, go. Because I feel like the line will be short now. Go. Okay. No? Do anything? Sure. Um, Where do you want me to go now? Besides chatting with them, can you just remind everyone about the socials, the Discord, the Patreon? Do a little reminder and just chat with everyone. Yeah. Everyone, the better looking half of this relationship, <gasps> Lauren McTurn. <laughs> oh, thank you. I forgot that these chairs are in here. This is really nice to sit in here on these high tops. It is. Honestly. Do you, you don't need this, right? No. I'll hold on to it. Oh boy. All right, here we go, people. 
Peter is going to get the food. I feel like this is very high, but I need it this high? I don't know. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. How do you eat soup during the day in, in the summer of Florida? Um, John, it's very hard, but I don't normally, like, eat with the spoon. I just dip the pretzel as if it's just, like, a cheesy dip. It's fantastic. And then, like, I'll have a few spoonfuls, and that'll be enough. But sometimes I do ask for a bonus pretzel, and if you get a nice cast member, they'll give you two. It's just a little hack. I'm like, can I just have an extra one? I'm sharing this, and sometimes they'll give you an extra, which is fantastic. Uh, I'm not a fan of the vegan stuff, but my stepdaughter has made some excellent vegan dishes. Yeah, we do have some vegan friends that say that some of them are pretty good and some of them are just not. Um, okay, let's see, let's see. Thank you, thank you. I did, I do know all the words, but Peter was not having it with that song. Aw, thank you, Izzo. I love your laugh. It's big and happy sounding. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, what are we drinking? We're drinking the two beers from the Refreshment Outpost. So we have the Gulfstream Brewing Company Cloud 9 Watermelon Hibiscus Lager, which is actually really, really good. Um, we also have the North Coast Brewing Company Cran Quester Golden Ale, which is also pretty good. Um, but I have to say, the beer that we tried at the brewing area was probably my favorite beer of like all the festivals too, honestly. I thought the beer was solid, really, really good. And we're like big beer drinkers, so. David Long. 999 people died going through the process of getting into the Magic Kingdom. Sounds about right. Thank you again, Rosita, for your super chat. You're amazing. Oh, Jean, my official move back to Orlando date is October 5th. Awesome. Welcome back. Oh, thanks, John. Trevor, I'm looking forward to Hard Knocks. I live in Jacksonville have been lifelong Jags fan, thinking it will be a good year. I'm actually looking forward to Hard Knocks. I do like um, watching that show. I think it's fun to kind of see behind the scenes and get like more up close and personal with the, the players. I think it's fun. I like it. Yeah, pretzel note made. Yeah, I'm telling you, like you just have to ask. Sometimes they'll give you the pretzel. Sometimes they're like, no, we're not allowed. Sometimes they'll give you a bonus pretzel, which is fantastic. <laughs> yeah, you should sing that song at night after he goes to sleep. I'm usually sleeping before Peter, but it depends on the night, actually. <sighs> anyway, happy Thursday, everyone. Um, really excited to be here on the first day of the Food and Wine Festival. It's always been one of my favorite festivals here at Epcot. Um, I've been pleasantly surprised with some of the food options and especially the drink options this year. Usually, I'm not a big fan of uh, the cocktails, but I think Mexico did a good job with their cocktails. I wish there was more mezcal in their watermelon uh, margarita, but again, I think it came from that machine, so it's pre-made. What do you expect? Let's see. What am I looking forward to? Um, always love Canada. Germany, I would like to circle back and go to to Germany. Um, Spain too, they have a seafood salad, a paella, charcuterie in a cup. Oh, I think we're gonna have some singing right now. Let me see if I can get you guys in there, hold on. Yes, Rosita, that's what I usually say. Happy Friday Eve.
Yeah. Woo. Hard to walk away from the Voice of Liberty, but I was like, the food's getting cold. It's just, they just came out, and I was like, ooh. Yeah, and then um, Kyle, Paolo, and Jojo are both outside, so I was talking with them for a second. Uh, all right, here we go. So this is from, they're saying it's a new booth that it's debuted this year, but you can see right here in the oh, corner, it says established 2023. Well, all the booths, you can check on their sign. It says the year they were created or founded. I never knew that. So even though the booth is always here, I guess this is going to be a new era in the American food booth because okay. I think it's the flavors of America so they're going to have a few different items like right here this is the yeah, I was gonna say, what is uh, this is the Italian hot beef sandwich it's got the shaved beef the spicy again I'm going to ruin this but Giardinia Giardinia Giardina Giardinia I'm not this is hard this is a hard G word anyway and then it's got the au jus on the French roll and then the beer flight, you have the Rogue Dreamland American uh, uh, Lager from Ashland, Oregon. You have the Goose Island Beer Hug out of Chicago. And the Left Hand Brewing Sawtooth Amber from Longmont. I will say that booth smells, there's a seafood stew. Those poor cast members got to go home. Yeah, I was Smelling like seafood. <laughs> Apparently, we also got there at a good time. Kyle said he waited over 15 minutes for the sandwich. I was in and out in five. Yeah, I was going to say, that's why when it was raining, I'm like, it's a perfect time to go. Cause... Yeah, so let's get into this. Uh, I'm going to keep the camera pretty close to me because I don't want my loud voice to carry into the beautiful show going on right next door. So here we go. I love anything with an au jus. You're a big au jus guy. I just like dipping sandwiches. Yeah, you do. Because <laughs> do. usually au jus has a lot of salt. Right? It can be salty. I feel like it just adds a... The soy sauce of America. Yeah. yeah. Holy. What, what? The stuff on top is so spicy. Oh, really? Oh, my God. Oh, I smell it. Sweet, sassy, molassy. Do you want beer or water? Oh my god, I'm spinning fire. On the top of the sandwich or the, the au jus? Au jus not spicy. It's got to be the stuff on top. The stuff I can't say. If I can't well, say it, I shouldn't eat it. Maybe it's, yeah, it could be like a pepper. Holy it's spicy. moly. Sweet, sassy, molassy. Yeah, your face. I am sweating. Hot. Wow, that is warm. All right. So I'm glad you didn't have those wings that were... Said, like, hot oh. Well, this smoking. is hot. This is the Italian hot beef sandwich. Um, I just thought I would like the beef hot. <laughs> <laughs> Not a cold sandwich. <laughs> oh my God, I love this song. I sang this in a musical, uh, Carousel or Carnival. I did both shows. Do you know what song this is? I'm trying to listen. I gotta go show everyone. Go and show. cool down my mouth. 
At the end of... Whoa, that's still on me. Hey. Oh God, I'm gonna cry. I don't know if I'm crying from the beef sandwich or the song. <laughs> so good, he was amazing, Lord. Oh my God. I tried the sandwich. Not bad, but all the stuff on top, like, oh my gosh, first of all, that was amazing. His voice, did you hear that? Yeah, I did. And people Holy moly. All right, let's try this again. I took all the spicy yeah. stuff off the top. Yeah, it's better without. Maybe just a hint of that spice would work better. Let's get into it. Much better. <laughs> <laughs> If you were into spicy things, you would love the Italian the hot beef sandwich from America. <laughs> the top However, if you're not into the super spicy things like me, like again, my tongue is warming up again. Wipe the typing. <laughs> I'm, it is hard to speak. My, but my tongue is on fire. Oh my god. Oh, I gotta try this. I don't know. Oh, holy smokes. Um, I would say it's still warm. But if you take the toppings off, scrape them off a little bit, take a towel or a napkin, you still get good beef flavor. It's a nice, soft uh, French roll. The au jus is, Lauren said it, and honestly, this is saltier than normal. There's a lot <laughs> of salt in this au jus, but uh, the au jus has got a lot of salt. But dipping it in there with the roll, getting a little bit of that salt, it does cut some of the spice a little bit, but it's still a little warm. It's tolerable, but holy moly. Sweet, sassy molasses. Sweet, sassy molasses. It's the thing is, like, I want another bite. 
it, I'm craving it again. I'm going for one more. All right, go for it. Uh, the amber is my favorite. Everything else is kind of meh for me. Juicy. Okay. But but like I feel like the lager is more like a Bud Light, a Miller Light, and then the neon. Oh, I just beer need hug. the bread and the ajou. That's all that's left. Yeah. Beer hug is more flavorful. But the amber is it's where it's at. Sweet. Sassy. I can't actually find the same thing, but sweet Caroline. That is. <laughs> <laughs> I like that better. <laughs> you should do that. <laughs> you should do that for me. Like sweet that. baby Jesus. That is hot. No, sweet Caroline. I like that. <laughs> or right. sweet Lauren. Let's not get crazy. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. <laughs> we did. I knew it must have been crazy because for you to have that reaction on camera, I was like, something is wrong. That was a lot. Like he doesn't like to give a if negative like spicy facial foods. review on camera, so that was a genuine. I like to. Review. I like the glass half full. I try. To, I like to be realistic. You can be realistic while being optimistic, Lauren. <laughs> oh, okay. Put that on a poster on the corner of your classroom. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the beer flight was ten bucks. The Italian sandwich was six twenty-five, which I think was fair for that portion of food and fair for a beer flight. Um, for those wondering, we're trying to do better. Well, I've been reading comments. Beer? The flight is ten bucks. I like the other beer. Food. Well, they're all the same price, but yeah. Yeah. No, you like those beers better. Oh yeah. yeah. But we figured we had to try these. I'm gonna of try course. them. I haven't even tried them yet. I'm. You're recovering. You're in recovery. I'm in recovery mode. As I was saying, if you are someone who likes spicy foods, that is for you. But I didn't see it. If your glass is half full, it's time to fill it back up. That's I great. like that. John asked, how much was the tongue burning? <laughs> it's not a was. It's an is. His face is getting redder. It is if lingering. That's even yeah. possible. I am getting sunburned inside. Uh, it is. Woo. Wait, I gotta know the name of the other one that you were like, let's get this. What? If you tell me, I can tell you. At the um, brewery. We're the Scotch Bonnet. No, no, no. But it was called, like... I'm telling you, it's a Scotch Bonnet. Lauren, I don't know if you think no. I just show up to these events not prepared. I study food and wine. But I thought it was... It said unnecessarily spicy. But I thought on the thing it said, like... Something what like... What you're referring to is it says it. It's called the unnecessarily spicy no. yet extremely tasty Scotch Bonnet Peppery Curry Wings. With a cool, cool, cool. Is there fire coming out? <laughs> with a cool cucumber yogurt. No, but I thought there was something that was like scorching. Scorching. That was the word. Something said no. scorching. The I'm woman might have you. said scorching to no, us. No, I think it said it on the sign or something. Scorching hot. Okay. I'm yeah, a sure. Scotch bonnet is a very, very hot pepper. Okay. It's up there. It's up there on the scale. But bill. I know that word was in the thing. Maybe it wasn't and there, but... And, like, uh, so earlier, while you were in line, we were talking to someone else who just had it, and she was saying that the curry actually helps coat it a little bit and take some of that oh, spiciness yeah. away. Really? And also, it's served with a cool cucumber yogurt, which is, like, yeah, no, you I need like that. that. Yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. need cucumbers nice and cooling, yeah. the yogurt to just kind of like coat your Sana, tongue. The, the, um, yeah, the yogurt. Food. Like, you know when people eat hot wings, they have, like, milk? Yeah. Like, you need that yogurt after a hot wing. Yeah. So... Maybe the dill milkshake. Honestly, if I just had what I just had, I would have finished the entire pickle milkshake oh just to cool my tongue. There wasn't even that much on there. I don't know what I got or what was in there, but it was like oh they took some of the sun <laughs> and poured it on top of that sandwich. Wait, and I took a picture too. Like, there wasn't... But I, you must have had a full I, chunk. I did. So what happened was when I went to go it. dip it, all of the yeah. toppings fell towards the end. And then I scooped <laughs> them out of the corner of the au jus. So I had like all of the toppings in one bite. Yeah, you did. And then Wait, let's see. the devil went down to Georgia. And by Georgia, I mean my oh, tongue yeah. and esophagus. Yeah, here. Yeah. This is the bite I had. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Down here. And then when I dip it, everything else on the sandwich fell down yeah. to this area. Yeah. And then I scooped it off the side of the au jus cup. 
like so. To make sure you don't miss it. Because I don't want to miss any of it because I believe in a complete and total bite if I'm going to review food. And again, I thought they said hot sandwich as in hot the sandwich was hot temperature wise. Yes. Not that's why you will be able to start a fire in Antarctica if you just blow onto some wood. But that's how I interpreted it as well as a but hot sandwich. You they did warn America, you because also sandwich. I this might this might shock some people, but I'm not Italian, and <laughs> I don't know what this G I A R D I N I E R A is, but I'm assuming yeah, it is a very is spicy that. Italian topping. And I know a lot about food and cooking. I'm obsessed with Food Network and Cooking Channel and cooking shows. But I also didn't grow up in an Italian household. So this, yeah, let's let's talk about it. Is it that one? Let's yeah, let's let's read it okay. from the Wikipedia. All the Italians out there are gonna be so mad at you. No, right? I'm Italian too, but we don't do a lot Here of. We go. Okay, it's pickled. That's why, and it looks like. Okay, so this yeah. G word. <laughs> Again, it's. I want to say. It's, Giardineria. Giardineria? Giardineria? But anyway, in Italian, it is an Italian relish of pickled vegetables and vinegar or oil, which I'm fine with. I'm pretty sure I've had this before, but it's more of a pickling no, go taste. Go into the ingredients. There's something in there, yeah, that. Bell peppers, fine. Celery, fine. Carrots, fine. Cauliflower, fine. Gherkins, fine. But there's got to be something that it's marinated in, like... Chili flakes? Okay, so Chicago style... Is commonly made with is commonly made very spicy with sport peppers, chili flakes, along with a combination of other assorted vegetables, including you know the standard bell pepper, celery, carrots, sometimes gherkins. Yeah, it's maybe I don't know. This is definitely was a Chicago style because there was definitely some kind of pepper in there that awakened my senses. If I'm not gonna have a cold for maybe three years, I am cleared out. <laughs> I took well, way too much of it. I'm the guy who like, you're like, try a little bit of this pepper. It's very hot. Like a Carolina Reaper. And I'm like, okay, it's fine. And then I'm blowing fire. Anyway, enough about this sandwich. About say, You've got a full review. You must be very disturbed that you're still talking about it. I'm not disturbed. It. I just want to warn those at home. But I also don't want to <laughs> scare people away because it might be. Honestly, it was a tasty sandwich. The next two bites without any of the toppings, yeah. there was still like residual heat. And it was still hot for me. Like, that would have been perfect yeah. for me because I'd been like, that's the top of my level, right. the second and third bite. Yeah. But the first bite, I did get a lot of it. But if you're into spicy food, you're going to love it. <laughs> I didn't know what was happening to you. <laughs> Started speaking in tongues. All right, here we go. First one, Rogue Dreamland American Lager, made in Oregon. Here we go. It's a lager. It's a lager. Crisp, clean, refreshing. Honestly, it would be a great way... <laughs> to cool your mouth after that hot beef sandwich. <laughs> that would have been an awesome That's way. I was like, why aren't you drinking it? Because I wanted to review these, yeah. and I felt like I wouldn't have a proper taste yeah. buds if I went right to these, because they're only little samplers. <laughs> so I had to go to the old <laughs> beer, <laughs> which also was not a good pair. That's great. And it wasn't cold anymore either. But the things you do for the stream, you know, i got to give real reviews. That's All so right, funny. next up, Goose Island Neon Beer Hug. I've had this a million times. I had this this past weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's good. It's an IPA. If you like IPAs, you'll like it. Nothing crazy. That's it's, an IPA. It was very light for an IPA. I felt. It's. A, I was gonna say it's. I think because everyone's so used to doubles, hazies, New Englands. Okay. This is just a good, clean IPA. I really would have, never, I really would have never known that because it didn't, to me, it wasn't like a typical IPA flavor. Because when we go to breweries and stuff, which like we just came back from a road trip, so we gone, we went to a lot of breweries. We'll post the road trip clips coming soon, but um, we get hazies, yeah. doubles, triples, New England, California, West Coast, all know, these crazy things. We never just be like, we'll have the uh, American IPA. It's just funny because I was looking at it, I was like, I don't know what kind of beer that was. I literally, I was like, oh, that's better than the lager, but I was like, I don't know what that is. Yeah, it's funny that you don't put it here. Yeah. It just says Goose Island Neon Beer Hub. Yeah. That's so funny. Because to me, that yeah, was Even in the typical... passport, it doesn't say IPA. Yeah. I know it's an IPA just from drinking it. Yeah. You know, they also, you know on all their maps, it misnumbered. They, they numbered two of the booths the same. There's two nines, but there's no 10. So mm. if you go to India or Kenya, Oh, no, the difference. I'm trying to think which way to combine these the right way. Kenyan or <laughs> Indian? Indian. Indian. 
<laughs> this is good. I like an amber. You but do it, like again, your it's ambers. A, it's like a basic. Because every time we touch. Oh, no, no. Oh, we got it. You have them. Where's the nearest fuel rod station? I have no idea. All right. I really honestly. We got to ask a cast member. I mean, we have to charge our phone. We haven't charged once, and we're already losing battery. Oh my god, we're at ten percent. When did that happen? I don't know. But also, apparently, the video for us. Did you take the cord? Yeah, the cord is in my backpack. Oh, okay. All yeah. right, here we go. Left hand brewing, sawtooth amber. We've been here for a while, so we'll review this. We'll hit the road. We also have to go find a uh, fuel you want rod me to swap ask out. Somebody? Yeah, that'd be great. Because I legit have no idea where to go. Should we watch the American Adventure while we settle with our food? No, I'm saying once you get the fuel rods. You're on fuel rods. Look, it's gonna be outside. All right, sawtooth amber. It's a good amber. Again, uh, not bad. I'm not like jumping up and down because it's a good amber. But there's nothing like, oh my God, they have reinvented the wheel. There you have it. Beer flight from the Flavors of America, which apparently is a new booth. We're saving these. Okay. Whew. Oh, Lordy. All right. We're cleaning up our table. We're good to go. Right before we go, Lauren's finding out where the nearest fuel rod swap out is. You'd think I would know this, right? Coming to the parks all the time. But I just got on the fuel rod train recently, uh, mostly because someone gifted me one. And then I ended up getting a second one on a stream one day. And now I have two that we rotate out. And it's so much easier than carrying the big charger. Uh, John Thorne, thank you. Apparently the G word is pronounced Jardinaire. Jardinaire. Jardinaire? Well, mine was spicy. I'm pretty sure it was a Chicago style. Also, while you're tasting food, I hope you enjoy the Voices of Liberty. They perform all throughout the day, not too much into the night. So if you want to see them, I would make your way to this area a little bit earlier. And it's a great, with Bear basically the pre-show, if you want to go watch The American Adventure, which is a big, beautiful production show. It's about 30, 40 minutes, I think, last time I went on it. They, they updated it. But uh, it's nice and quiet inside The American Adventure. It's air-conditioned, uh, great animatronics. So that's why I'm finding out if Lauren wants to do that because I don't know if I could eat any more food for the next hour or two. We've been eating so much and I want to eat more, but also keep you entertained. But anyway, Voices of Liberty, amazing. Give me chills, bring, cheer, bring tears to the eye. Gigi Ardenera. That's the closest one. Ay Dios mio. Maybe I'll go watch the show then. Do you want to swap them out and then I'll just come in and meet you? Do you want to watch the show? I don't care. What? But uh, do you do you have anything to plug in while you're here or no? No, but I think you can make it back in time. Oh. I got enough to get through the show. I think. Okay. Um, I'm just saying. I'm like. Oh, oh I might actually. Hold that's on. That's why, like, if you have a. Cause I forgot I brought the other charger. Hold on. I might have brought. Okay. So you don't have to do that now. Let's do it later. I'll use this for now. Are you sure? Yeah, but do you want to watch the show? Because I'm just thinking. I don't know if I can eat anything for the next few minutes. So even if we go to another country, I can't force food into my body. I don't I need... mind walking. I, I, don't, I don't mind walking. I'll just walk and do it. If you're going to stay here. I'm just saying, maybe I'll just watch the show with everyone because yeah. we haven't done this in, I want to say, at least six months. Oh, we're going to do American Adventure, say? Yeah, the, like it's a half hour show. Oh. But it's yeah. in the air conditioning and it'll give me a chance to digest. I could drink yeah. a little water and then we come out back on the food and wine trail. All right. Why don't you do that? I'll take my time with this because I don't mind. Walking. Yeah, and if you see something you like, you could take notes and everything else. Yeah. All right, and if you want to know where I'm at, you could just fire yeah. that up. I just if you want to grab another to rush. No, you don't have to rush. I'll yeah. use this. And yeah, what I was going to say is, if you want to, if you want to grab another passport for yourself, you could do oh. too. I'll keep this one so that way you have it and you could like look as you go. Whatever. Is that all right? Is that okay? Yeah, I don't care. I just I I'm glad you have that because I was going to really run. And no, I'm glad I don't want I don't you to run. To no, no, no. <laughs> Um, um, is that okay though if I do this? Yeah, I don't care. I just feel like this is nice because it's air conditioned. Go for it. I can digest all the food, have a little water, and then when we come out, boom, we're back to eating and drinking. I just don't want to do that, so I'm glad. <laughs> okay. No, it works. Can you out. help me out with that? Yeah, I got it right here. All right, I'll help you out. I just put it in, there's no money, it just goes. You make sure you line up the barcode where yeah. it says the barcode. You hit yeah. the little thing, you bada bing, bada boom, and that's it. That's it. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, look at you. Oh, this was facing me the whole time. 
All right, let's go. We haven't done this on a stream in forever, and this is a great opportunity to. Oh, they just closed it. Can we still sneak into the show? No. All right, never mind. We'll come with you. <laughs> All that disgusting. All right. It's okay. We can find other things to do. It's beautiful. It's Epcot. I was getting pumped for it. I was like, oh, half an hour of AC and drinking water. Ah, I can't wait. But it's okay. There's plenty to do, plenty to see. We'll just power through. Oh, it's still sprinkling a little bit. It's a little bit, but honestly, it's not bad with the sun. No. It is just hot, hot, hot. We just got spoiled. No, I know what I'm just saying. Coming out of the air conditioning for that 20 minutes into uh, 185 degrees. Just guesstimating. Feels weird without the topiaries here. I know, the big Tiana. It does feel oh, kind of empty. No, well, the last festival, Flower Garden, was Tiana. I'm pretty sure it was Mickey. Oh, Lauren, you really are showing that you never come here anymore. Yeah, the last time I saw her. Yeah, well, the last time you were here was 1986. When we watched the show, <laughs> Lauren, it was 100% Tiana for Flower Garden. Okay. Tonight is Funkified. You know them, right? Big opening night of, <laughs> of Eat to the Beat. But you know what? Funkified. I feel like they do it on purpose because they don't want a bajillion people here. Because I feel like if they had like 98 degrees, you wouldn't be able to walk. Lauren, this you say that and I think in what? theory you're so right. You know what it is? They were like, no, we're not going to pay 98 degrees. We got Funkified out of Orlando. <laughs> I think because it's a Thursday. Technically, all their big acts are weekends. Yeah, I guess. That makes more sense. But in my head, I'm like... Guess who's outside right now? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I love it, Lauren. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, me and Lauren are basically exact opposites in all the things that we like at Disney. <laughs> Lauren's convinced she saw a topiary from three years ago. No, I am so... I am, I'm in the light. All right, go to my last stream at Epcot. And it's 100% no. Tiana. The Mickey and Minnie Topiary, I want to say, was like last year Flower Garden. Like, I'm not even kidding. I think it was 18 months ago. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff. You have the app. I don't. But you have our awesome list provided by Stephen Hood MVP. The MVP for travel. while we watch these amazing drummers. Uh, yes, I have learned Ardenera or Ardenaire is spicy. Uh, also, hello to Lara M. Gotta give you a shout out. Maureen says it's a Chicago thing, so good. Thanks, Maureen. Kim says it's also a Portillo's thing. That makes sense. Just mousing around says Blue Point Great South Bay Brooklyn Brewery. Those should be on the list. They do sell Blue Point here in the park. Uh, I haven't seen Brooklyn or Great South Bay yet. 
But it would be cool to see Grace Bay since I rep them uh, way back when. I took them from Nassau and Suffolk to the five boroughs in New York City, and they are growing. They're opening up two new locations in the next two years. Uh, John says, how do you not know what uh, Jardinera is? Uh, because apparently it's spicy, and I most likely have avoided it my whole life until today. Uh, Susan says, what's been your favorite so far? We really liked the food and beverage from, woo! Uh, the brewing experience. I thought the wings were good. I thought all three beers were good. While the drummers set up for the next number. Hi, CJL. Great to see you. Barbara Johnson says, hello from Cape May. Uh, my daughter Samantha and I love your channel. We met you a couple times. You're so nice. Thank you so much, Barbara. Also, over in Cape May, New Jersey, there is a Carney's uh, Bar and Grill. I was stuck there during a hurricane once. It was a lot of fun. Also, Cape May, pretty close to Atlantic City, my old stomping grounds. Disco420 says, I feel Mexico is overpriced. I got the methyl cheddar thing once during uh, food and wine, and it was... Uh, it was a little underwhelming, especially for the price. Yeah, well, things are a little overpriced here. It's, I mean, it's kind of a joke, but I mean, it is Disney, so you're going to be overpaying. Mexico, I thought this year and this festival was pretty good. We liked both of the food items, and we liked the drinks for the most part. I mean, one drink was a little sweet for us, but I think Lauren and I both like a little bit more of a savory or where you could taste the alcohol a little bit. But if you like sweeter drinks, uh, they had a sweet uh, marquita with mar mezcal. They had uh, another drink with the tequila. They're both good. <laughs> I like that John said that sandwich that made me catch fire that he's going to add to his to-do list. See, there's a little something for everybody. Shelly says, if you haven't hit the like button yet, please help. It helps others find the stream and enjoy the fun. Thanks so much, Shelly. Yeah, if you guys haven't hit that like button, it really would help. Maureen said, you still have to try uh, the Jeanette. I'm going to mess this up again. The Jardinera. Uh, not all of them are hot. Some are mild. I'll try a mild one. Hey, I never say no. I'll try anything twice. Chris Birdsong, what's up? Says, hey, Pete, if your glass is half full, it's time to fill it back up. I like that. <laughs> David Scott, good afternoon. Great to see you. Chris says, just tuned in. What was spicy? That was the uh, Italian hot beef sandwich. Oh, don't worry. Thanks so much. Michael Clark, good afternoon from New Orleans. Michael just had an awesome trip here. Every time he hit me up on Twitter, he was out having a good time in a large group, taking over places. Yes, Dawn, thanks for reminding everyone. I will try anything, but I'm not the biggest fan of spice, so that's why I reacted the way I did. This little baby tongue. But I'm better now. We bounce right back. Took that midnight train to Georgia. See, David Scott said, I'm gonna have to try that. See? This is why I say there's something for everybody. I try to give things fair reviews and more describe what I'm having as opposed to my personal taste. <laughs> Maureen said she had that uh, last year somewhere and she said, uh, the chef said, I know you're a Chicago woman. Yeah. Yeah, Kimberly says that's a fact. It's totally a Chicago thing with jalapeno and other peppers. Michelle loves the hot stuff. See, I, my review actually made more people want to buy it than before. And I hope you enjoyed my reaction. Yes. <laughs> Kelsey Elizabeth, good afternoon. Great to see you. Gene, I'm with you. All I know is Corona and Lyme. Amen to that. Steve Racer, what's going on? Hope you, hopefully the uh, video got better. We're back. Yeah, if it ever uh, gets blurry or freezes, just let me know. We'll give it a little refresh. <laughs> Apparently, it's, it's a little hot in D.C. today. It is hot down here as well. Dr. Feelgood, thanks. The Fuel Rod Exchange International Gateway. Yeah, we had Lauren run and ask somebody because I always forget where they are. Eventually, I'll figure them out. Oh, but here we go. Sarah Garvey coming in clutch. Gateway Gifts by Spaceship Earth. The Space Shop at the exit of Mission Space. Test Track. Nemo. Love it. Image Works. Showcase. Wow, there's so many of them here. Thanks so much, Sarah. Courtney, what's going on? Thank you for getting my back there. She said it's also hard to eat a lot when it's hot. That is very true. When it is very humid like this, it is hard to put a lot down. But we're pushing through. I think we're, we're doing all right. We're having as much as we can everywhere we go. Uh, Gene said, what booths have you hit so far? So we did Brewing Experience. We did Mexico. We did China. We did Refreshment Outpost. 
and we did America. We kind of had to run and skip uh, Germany, Alps, and Italy because the rain started chasing us. It was awesome. I mean, some people wouldn't describe it as awesome, but you know what? If you're going to get rained on, it may as well be dramatic. Jackie Johnson, what's going on? Good afternoon. Great to see you. Chris, does any good sour so far? We haven't had any sour beer so far, but I'm on the lookout. Jamie says, Pete, have you been hydrating? I have, uh, off camera. I hydrated at brewing, and I hydrated in America. We have so much water on us, so as long as I finish all of those, we should be good. Lauren's got a half gallon, and I got a half gallon. But yeah, now we're in Japan, and because we're both a little full, Lauren came up with the brilliant suggestion of, hey, what if we just got all the drinks in Japan since they're all new? So that's what we're doing. We're grabbing all the drinks here in Japan, which are the Sake Passion Cocktail, the Moon on the Water Sake, and the Brew Hub Momo Amber Ale. We're probably going to do the smaller one, but Lauren's in line. This Moon on the Water Sake is $15, so even the, the cocktail's eight seventy five. So let's let's hope this is really, really good. This whole line just emptied out. I wonder why. Let's help, Lord. I got a hand, up. Where's the third one? I can only get two. Two for Oh. I was standing by the sign. All right. Do you know which is which? Yeah. Because one of them was fifteen dollars and the other one was nine. And look at the size of these tiny things. This thing was fifteen dollars. I guess so. Holy Waltamoli! That is crazy. Um, there was a lot of people who wanted to check out the grease booth, so maybe we'll hang out over here for a minute. The grease booth. Maybe we'll slide right in. There's tables over there. There's some tables over here. Wow, Greece is a little bit of a line. Not as bad as China. That is nothing. Well, I appreciate you making the wait in China. Also, I would love to know who. I saw these two people just drinking 16-ounce cans of Blue Moon, and I was like, do they sell those somewhere, or do they just rip them out of their bag? That's okay, I have one in my pocket. Too many things to remember, but this, I guess, like, yeah, there's a sake and a sake cocktail. All right, hold on, let's put it on you before you drink it all. <laughs> all right. What are you thinking, Lincoln? A lot of mango. If you like sweet, that's for you. That's what I thought it was gonna be. I was like, it's gonna be so sweet. Oh, good. The one I was excited about. There we go. <laughs> I found dry land. I'm excited to try it. What were you using that for next to your makeup the other day? You had one of these in the bathroom. Oh, that's very funny. All right, let's turn the camera around and see if we can... All right, so, right. according to... Where did you talk about? I just, it's raining, I'm like conflicted. All right. I, now I can't see myself, it's weird. It's weird. I can see shadows of us over there. All right, so in Japan, we got the Sake Passion Cocktail. I'm gonna try that. When you think passion, I think more of like uh, like a red color or like passion a fruit. passion fruit. This There's is passion mango. fruit in there. Yeah. It tastes like very, very much mango. To me, that is pog mixed with sake. I taste passion fruit, orange, and guava. You like it? You drink it? 
the reason I like it is honestly it tastes like pop. It tastes like breakfast at Disney. I don't taste any sake. No, yeah, not at all. At all. So <laughs> we paid nine dollars for a flute of yeah. juice. Yeah, it's not. The guy made a whole big show but, about this. Did you hear him? No, because I came running over and I missed it. Oh, he goes, good choice, sake, and I was like, okay, I don't. That even would be know. really good with some sake in it. And if there is, God bless the sake makers who can blend that in. And this is called Moon on the Water. So this little guy was 15 bucks. Wait, don't drink it all, please. You gonna have another sip? I, yeah. I just don't want to leave you. If I leave you a tiny sip, you're gonna get upset. Just don't. Yeah, you had a lot of this. It's fantastic. I thought you were going at least half and half. Well, you drank, the, I had a sip of that and you drank the whole thing. Do you really feel like you missed out on anything? No. <laughs> you keep talking about how great this is. That's I really fantastic. want to try it. That's really smooth. Really smooth. But was it really 15? Yeah, I spent like. I was like, bucks what is this? Two drinks. Yeah. It's nice, but it's not even my favorite sake I've ever had. I just no, feel like 15 smooth. is a lot for this. I'm not, I'm not a cheap oh. person. Everyone knows this. I don't mind. I'm spending money where at Disney. Yeah, but I didn't realize. It was this is. I thought the cocktail this should be, was 15. The gold should be falling no, into our are you mouth. Sure it was that? That was 15? The cocktail was 8.75. Oh my God. Well, I've been saving receipts, I guess. Did you save the receipt? No, but it's... Uh, no, but I looked on the sign. Wow. Yeah. Crazy. All right, anyway. Let's see. Greece has spanakopita, grilled cheese with pistachio and honey, a lamb gyro with shaved lettuce, tomatoes, red onion, tzatziki on a warm flatbread, and a plant paste... Uh, plant, plant paste? <laughs> plant paste. A plant-based <laughs> uh, impossible moussaka. Their beverages, they have a white wine, they have a rosé, and they have a dry red, or you can do a wine flight. Oh, God. Let's see what we got in Greece. And then we'll, we'll talk about Morocco while we're here. I'm trying to see what's new. Okay, Greece, the impossible moussaka is new. Everything else sounded familiar, and it is new. Yeah. And all of the drinks are the same. Okay, so now, so, do you have on there, it's probably right above it. France? No. Belgium? No. Where is for? Flavors of the Medina? Oh. Is that what it's Basically called? Morocco, yeah. Mm. Alright, you can find Morocco. Okay. Yeah. It's called the Tangerine Cafe Flavors of the Medina in Morocco. They have grilled kebabs with a carrot chickpea uh, salad with a garlic aioli. Uh, you can get that with lamb or chicken. Or maybe it comes with both. That would be really cool. They're just uh, bullet point underneath. They also have a falafel pita with a tahini sauce. They have a stone-baked Moroccan bread. We loved that last year because it came with the three dips, the hummus, the tremula, and the zong. Yeah, I remember that. They have pistachio cake. We're not dessert oh, people. Oh, here we go. Is there anything new? It doesn't say... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. It doesn't say new. No, and the drinks are new. Yeah. So, it looks like it's going to be all ciders. Cider. And then a cocktail made with fig. Yeah, but I would do a I would do a cider flight one of these again. The kebabs sound really good. Did we have the kebabs last year? Or maybe they brought them back from a few years back. Uh, what about so Greece? Nothing new, except nothing new in Greece, right? And then the only thing new so. in Morocco is the cider Ciders. flight, which I don't mind. I would always try a, a cider. Yeah, All right, now what about Belgium or Brazil? I think those had more. I can tell you one thing. I've had the beer flight. I mean, I don't, I, it might be new for here, but I've had all these. Belgium beers. I mean, they they are beer. Belgium is beer. Belgium, Belgium and Germany, beer. they know their beer. All right, hold on. Uh, not Germany. Belgium and Brazil. Should be right by Greece. That's where I saw them. Okay, Brazil. It doesn't say that anything is good. No, and then Belgium should be right above this. This, whatever this is. Uh, yeah. Oh, the IPA. And this. The IPA, what are you talking about? Oh, yeah. What? It says it there. And All right. The Chimay. Yeah, these are Belgian beers are, at least from, I don't know, I'm maybe for me sure. they're common. I think you've had all of these, but because if you were looking for Belgian beer in most good beer bars, they have the uh, Brasserie de Ashwe Hubland Schauf IPA. <laughs> 
But yeah, I always call it the Hublon IPA or the Hoblin. Looks like a goblin. And Shimei, I've had that before. Shimmy, shimmy, yo, shimmy, yo, shimmy, yay. I had it at Give me the beer so I can stay and play. What's the place that in Smithtown? I need Belgian beer bar. No, 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 no. Smithtown with all the beers. Croxley's? Croxley's. I've had it there. Yeah, Crossy's has yeah. uh, a bunch of Belgian beers at all yeah. the locations. All right, so that's a blah blah. All right, let's see. France. 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 Okay, they have a Chardonnay that's new, a Merlot that's new, and, and a new slushy. I feel like they just change one ingredient in the vodka slushy yeah. every year. Oh. But good for them. What? No, I mean I'm saying like I feel like I've always had the vodka. Yeah, but it's always good. Like people love the slushy yeah. in France. They can't get rid of it. They would lose bajillions of dollars. But All right. Food. I have more. All right. So let's just okay, talk for this area. I mean, we're gonna have to come back. So we want to try the food in Japan, Germany, Alps, and do all those food and beverage. So I say we wrap up this area. Let's go hit a few more things because there's not a lot of new food. So we try the yeah, beverages. No. Let's hop on the beverage train for a while. Uh, and then we can always do like a little break on a ride or something. You want to do a ride or something, and then we'll go hit yeah. Germany, Italy, Alps. Oh, really? Yeah, because um, Ireland, same thing, nothing new. Uh, which ride do we want to do? Do we want to do Frozen? Okay, so cool. Yeah. So we'll go this way, and then we'll work back all around. I figured it would be better for this. We'll hit Frozen. Who doesn't want to go on a, a Frozen ride? And then we'll work our way back through the areas we missed. We'll hit Alps, okay. Germany. Maybe we'll try. Are the, any food in Italy new? Because it looked new, but it sounds wow. great on paper, but I'm just going to punish myself. Literally, all three items are new. Yeah, that's what I figured. They look new. Focaccia. I know. They're, they're saying all tomato. the right things. Fresh baked focaccia. Yes. Meatballs. Yes. Tomato sauce. Yes. Burrata. Yes. How do you say no? But then you have it from here, and you're like, why did you tease me? Yeah. And then the cavatelli with the sweet sauce ragu and a crispy apple with smoked bacon. Yes. Even the lemon ragotta cheesecake. That looks good. With vanilla cream and a strawberry that compote. That looks good. Yes! That looks good and I don't like dessert. That looks good. I want everything in Japan too. We really gotta go back and get Japan. Alright, so that, we'll do that. We'll do the drink train going this way. Because there's really no food that's new. And then we'll just continue back around for a second lap. What did you do here? It was starting to blow what in the wind, that? so I put more what, weight on top to keep there? it down. It was my engineering adding weight to the top to I hold it down. I can't believe that was $15. I really If I just held this up and told you that this was $24. Combined. That's, yeah. Man. Inflation yeah. in Japan. The yen is not what it used to be. Maybe it is. I don't know what I'm talking about. But are we ready to keep going? So what's our next stop? Anything new to drink? Greece or Morocco? Morocco was a cider flight. Yes. Yeah, yeah but I'm gonna, gonna do, do that. Yeah, why not? I like cider flights. We don't all have to drink like straight cocktails the whole time. I'm excited to just have some right. ciders, some beers. Also, I, in my opinion, the cider and beer flights are the best value here. You get to try three things for yeah. 10 bucks, as opposed to $15 for a small cup I really cup of can't this. get over that. I didn't realize. I can have I, three I honestly, beers for two-thirds of this, this price. This was 15 Not that that made it any better, but I just feel like... Again, I hope everyone knows. We're not cheaping out here. We just are talking about Disney pricing. But this little cup... I'm sorry. This little cup... Was 50% more expensive than a beer flight or a cider flight. Um, All right. We ready to rock and roll? Yeah. So nothing in Greece we want to try. No. And then after Morocco, which I remembered, what is the thing we're getting in the other place to drink? Belgium. We're going to do the beer flight there. Okay. Then Brazil. We've had everything. Yeah. Nothing's new. And then France. Maybe we'll get his little snack that has cargo for me. Whatever you want, but I was gonna get Canada something. You could have Canada something. And then, I mean, you're, you're growing over, you could have whatever you want, but if, I will also pay for it. And then if you want, we can in France grab that slushy if you want it. I don't need it. I really don't need it. It's big and it's very sweet. I, I'd rather just stick to the beer. So and again, cider. just like me. I honestly like. Okay, so here, boom. We're gonna do the cider flight. Okay in Morocco, the beer flight in Belgium. We will wave to Brazil, come back another day. We've done everything, but we'll do it again for you on a future stream. 
France. We will, I guess, wave to as well to yeah. save time. We We've done all the food out. and drink. We're going to be doing everything here at some point on all the streams, so just make sure you're subscribed. We'll be here a lot over the next few weeks. After Ireland, we we've done it all. We'll skip it for today. Canada will be our next big stop. We'll do a lot of the food and drink there. And then we have Australia. Uh, I don't know if that's open. This is not this. It'll say it. It'll say it. All right, stretch it out. Do you see they had to put a sticker over a freshman board? I was showing them before. What? Can you imagine? In the book? Yeah, can you feel it? It's like a raised sticker. Can you imagine the person who had to go through and put like 50,000 oh stickers right here? Um, you know where that happened in my yearbook? On my page, my senior year? No way. They double printed the people's names. So on my senior year yearbook, all the names are wrong. So we had to go through and put a new sticker on everyone's wow. page. Yeah, so but that's sad. probably not as many as this. I was in yearbook club, so like I was one of the people who had to do it. I mean, it still wasn't that many, but we graduated with 500 people. Still less than I know, this is 50,000. I'm just saying, we weren't yeah. getting paid. We were high school. <laughs> Kids in a club, like, what's the next club activity? Putting stickers in the yearbooks. <laughs> that doesn't open for a while. That doesn't open for a while. All right, we got a solid plan. Let's rock and roll. Do it. I'm going to pop it back in. No, 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 I don't. I just, it hurts. All right, I'm going to stand right here. Okay. Thanks for watching this compelling food and wine stream. I don't know. It hurts badly. All right, what can I do for you? Buy me drinks. Here, all right. You throw That's that out. That's what you can do. Get that motion in the shoulder by pushing the trash can open, oh, putting that really inside. Really going like this? Oh, that hurts right here. Ah. 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 It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. I hope it goes away. Me too. I don't know what, did, did you bet the over on how many times you were gonna say it? If anyone had 15, it hurts. You're in the lead. Stretching, do slow stretching. I don't know what to do. Like, you know, like when you put your arm in a full circular motion? Like, go like this, go slowly, and do like five big ones in one direction, five big ones in another. Just watch out for the people in front and behind you. <laughs> All right, let's rock and roll. Again, if we pass the booth that you were looking for something at, we'll be coming back on many streams, but also we're gonna do a second lap today because we did have to run past the Alps, Germany, Spain, and Italy during the rain. So we're just gonna head this away. Do some of these uh, other booths that uh, have repeat items from last year. My favorite is Brazil. Morocco. Yeah. You should have seen the other day on the stream. Uh, Jasmine was just hanging out up here. So and then she gave me a tour of Morocco, and then we took a photo together, <laughs> and we were talking about genie and Aladdin. <laughs> but Lauren, what does this area remind you of? I just about to say, do you remember? What do you think of when we go to this area right here? You dancing, me and the girl from Sydney. Happy birthday. They were singing happy birthday. And then we did this whole dance. And then this woman came up to you and said, great. How do you know that dance? And you're like, I, I just made it up. <laughs> How's it going? Can we do the uh, cider flight, please? Absolutely. I think that's going to be all today. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. We have like 40 of them. Well, I like them. So then I used it when I needed it for my ear. Look at these cute little things, La. I know. The they shimmering sips from Corksicle. These are nice. In two colors. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks so much. All right. Here you go, love bug. You grab that. She's got the, we're cider flight all day. Yep. 
Here are the kebabs. So do you have to choose lamb or chicken, or do you get both? You got to choose? Uh, good to know, good to know. They look amazing. The sauces, by the way, I'm assuming that's for the uh, stone bread, right? Those are the dips for the stone bread? That was so good. We had it last year. So good. I'm going to come back again later. It's too much food in one day. Have a great day. Thanks for being here. Little cups. It's a quiet flight. I'm going to see if we can get a table. Oh, are they going to take it? They are! There's another one right here. Let's grab this one. Um, I don't want to be noisy around these other people enjoying their meals. I see it. I'm debating. I want to see what this group's doing. I'd rather the corner so I'm not yelling at everyone. I think they're going to move. Yeah. I feel like that's very close to other people, so... Oh, never mind. Pump fake. Pump fake. Pump fake. Okay. And then Belgium's right there for the beer flight. Oh, perfect. So we could just stay here. Yep. That's the plan. That's the move. I have to go to the opera. It looks like there's a line, so... Are you going to go over there and I'll hang here? Or? Whatever you want to do. I want to review these, though, so you can't drink all of them. I'm not going to drink all of them. <laughs> drink your water. I am. I love these tables. I love it all. I don't want to put this on the ground because it's wet. Uh, put it right here. It leans this way. There you go. I like that. All right, save me some of these bad boys, will you? I will. Ooh. Can what we the? raise this? Oh, gosh. Yeah, where'd my napkins go? I don't know, but there's some right in there. You gotta raise this, because this is not a good angle, folks. Here we go. That's a little bit better. Actually, I'm gonna try and quick and then you do that, so I can just talk to them and catch up with them, too. Can I what? Try those and then do the other one for me. Okay. Can I go to the bathroom first? Yeah, of course. You have, you still have money? No. I know. All right. I don't, I don't know what else you have left over. Do you want to put that together? Maybe a dollar. Here, just take that too. Okay. All right, take that. You got enough. I'm going to go to the bathroom really quick. All right, I'm going to describe these. I'll save you some and then we'll do that. Thanks for being a team player. Hi, everybody. All right, we're at the Tangerine Cafe. We're gonna have the hard cider flight here, in case Lauren hasn't shown you yet. There it is. Boom shakalaka. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's get into it here. First up, we got the Three Daughters Brewing uh, Fig Hard Cider. Not a big fan of the fig, it's just me personally, but we'll give it a try. You gotta try everything once, right? This is uh, Three Daughters out of St. Pete, which is down in the Tampa area, Florida, about two hours from here. Cheers. Okay. Not bad, better than I thought. The fig is understated, which I appreciate. I guess it'll taste a little fig, but it's not all fig, all sweetness. Sorry. Oh, Let me clean myself up. Ah. All right, we're feeling good again. We're back. All right, second up, we got Kiel Farms, a raspberry citrus hard cider uh, out of Plant City, Florida. Plant City, also famous for having the Florida Strawberry Festival. We go every year. It's a wild time. If you missed any of the Strawberry Festival videos, you got to go check it out. 
We've seen Ludacris there, Boys to Men there, a 50s concert there. It is wild. All right, here we go, Keel Farms. That is very nice. That's very nice. So it's got a little sweetness to it, which I don't mind. It's like dessert. And to me, like if there was like a sour note at the end, it would taste like a beer sour, and I love sours. But that's nice. It's sweet, but it's not like over the top. The cider kind of cuts it. I'm a fan. That would taste great. It's like a sorbet mm, or a gelato. But very good. Nice cider. Again, I'm not a big cider drinker for those who don't know, but it's in the beer realm, so we still appreciate it. Last up, we have the Blake's Hard Cider Company Peach Party, which is a peach and blackberry hard cider out of Armada, Michigan. Here we go. Let's see if this is superior. That's good too. Again, these are all a little sweet but none over the top. Like, I'm a savory guy. I like my beers, but this is good. Also, guys are recording right behind me, so this is great to watch. I'm just gonna have my channel watch you instead. It's way better. I'm like, yeah, he bought all the skewers. I was so full from those other countries. Let's watch his review. No, we'll just take turns. I'm like, all right, let him do the food. I'll be over here. Yeah, we'll just do a little collab. We'll just have our live stream do the reviews. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're good. I like it. I just told them, I was like, guys, I'm going to take a break. Let him take over. I'm shot. All right, so my favorite would probably be that Keel Farmer's Raspberry Citrus, the middle one we had. Uh, second favorite, the one from Michigan, the Peach Party, Peach and Blackberry. And then third, but it wasn't that bad, was the Fig Hard Cider. I like the cider flight. No complaints. Um, Lauren's coming with the beer flight because she's awesome. She's the real MVP. Let me get this done and talk to you. But I want to talk to everybody who's watching, see if I missed anything in comments, if there's any questions or anything I'm missing. Peaches Peace says it's all about the peaches, of course. All right, what did I miss from our last catch up here? Again, if you guys, if you're just watching and lurking, you don't have to comment, but thank you to everyone who comments. But again, thank you to everyone who just kind of watches, keeps it on in the background, uh, likes the video, liking really helps. We're so close to 200 likes. If you haven't hit the like button, please hit that like button. All right, let's see, we, uh, where was I? Again, thanks to everybody who's just been hanging out with us. We've been live now for almost, what, almost four hours. All right, yeah, just about three and a half or so. Michelle says, Scott, it's almost to you. Does Scott know I moved? Tell him we're in Morocco. Sorry, Michelle, we moved last minute. Oh, he's in England, he's close. Yeah, just mousing around says, hit that like button. It's a free thing to do. I agree, I love that. We're hydrating. Look, Lauren's halfway through her massive water bottle. Um, I should. I don't want to drink hers. She gets mad if I drink hers. I'll grab one of mine. Yeah, me and Michelle want to go straight. I am. Are you Scott? I am Scott. Oh, snap. We've been hearing all about you, Scott. What's going on? What's up, man? Cheers. Cheers. Nice to meet you. Hey, it's my friend Brian. Hi, nice Brian. To nice to meet you. Yeah, no, it's funny. Like, I, I, I saw you earlier over in, like, India, and then I was texting with Michelle. He's like, yeah, my friends are there streaming. And she sent me a photo. I was like, I just saw them. No. <laughs> We move quickly. We just bounce around for the spot. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. That's great. Uh, yeah, we just saw a few of our other friends who are streamers too, but they were over there. Yeah, what we try to do and the strategy we use on Food and Wine Day is get a spot that's like between four booths. So you can yeah. have a table and just kind of all kinda sample. keep back and forth. So like she's in line for the beer flight. We got this from Morocco. Nice. Greece is there. If we want to hit France, we can. And then we move to another hub. See, yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. It's very cool. How's your food and wine going? Good. Great. Good. What well, have been uh, like the best and the worst? Well, I've, I've, tried, I've been here a little bit. I've tried a couple. Uh, he just got here.
Okay. So you're lucky. I'm like Honestly, already like, oh god. I love, uh, I mean, flavors of fuck. Hello. Hi. Hi, I'm Michelle Fred. Michelle Michelle Ward of Fred. Oh, nice to meet you. Hi. Down for you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, like uh, Flavors of Fire is always good. Yeah, we haven't been there yet. I love that. I'm kind of saving that for you. Love that spot. Yeah. Like, uh, I, I only had the, um, or we're, com we're coming to the show tomorrow, actually. That's what you said. I was like, I'm going to yeah. try and come back tomorrow to, like, hit everything I missed. Same. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm kind of trying to do, like, say, like, okay, so Flavors of Fire. I tried the, the steak tacos today. Tomorrow I'm going to do the corned beef nachos. Yes. And so I'm steak trying to kind of sample good? They were good. They were good. Yeah. Definitely, they're messy. So okay. Get a fork. Oh, okay. A lot of yeah. napkins. I, that's fine. As I try. I tried to there. use my hands. Like this is yeah. a mistake. Uh, <laughs> but really good. Corned beef nachos, always a favorite. Okay. Love the corned beef nachos. Uh, Love the lamb chop. Escargot croissant, really good. You always good. Lamb chop. Always good. Yeah. A fan like always good. So we streaming this. this. Well, we were live. Yeah. So oh. Michelle's watching. Hi, Michelle. They're like, how do you? Eat Hello. Hi, Tim. Hi, Allie. How you doing? That's how you do it. I found him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Yeah, we're on the, we're on the beverage stretch because we did a lot of food early and around, and then as the rain was coming, we were near Americas, we kind of just like ran through Germany and Italy, took like some coverage time down inside of America, watched a little Voice of Liberty, sat in the air conditioning, and now we're coming back out. We have a list of like what's actually new for this year and what's yeah. repeat items. So we're trying to hit as many new things as possible. Did you do Noodles. America this year? Yeah. So I so far when we were there, again, I'm, I've been eating a lot, so I've been trying to like pace. So I had the hot beef sandwich. When we did the beer flight in America. Yeah. The hot beef sandwich. Good. Yeah, I thought it was good. Not bad. I thought yeah, it's, not um, bad. it's a little salty, but it was good. Yeah, I thought the au jus was very salty, yeah. uh, which really and the bread was so salty, which is great that it absorbed a lot of that, so it made it very salty. I only didn't mind it because I. All the hot stuff on top, the, the peppers. Genera, oh, the, the peppers. They hit. all fell into oh, one bite for me, though, and then I. We don't do hot. We so, like, do I don't mind a little we spice or heat. Yeah. But <laughs> I, all of them fell into that first bite, and then they fell into the ashu, so I scooped them out of the ashu oh, and just had all oh, the peppers in one bite, and I was like. Brutal. Oh, no. I'm ready to go. Uh, yeah, I was. Brutal. Luckily, we had a beer nearby to save the day. Yeah. yeah. How's it going? Oh, uh, you want a sticker? Lauren's got stickers. <laughs> Japan, Japan was pretty good. The sake was good. We did the sakis. Oh um, yeah. We didn't do the food yet. We're going back for the food. Uh, but the sakis are real good. Uh, well, they have, they have sushi roll. And they have, yeah, I think, they have sushi again. I think yeah. two of the items are new for this year, too. Yeah. Um, oh, shoot, what did I have? I got to find my, where's my passport? There it is. Because they have sushi for a long time. Yeah, but they, they always have, they they have sushi. They always have some There's kind of sushi. Some, like, no, it's it's different rolls. Like, thing, but. Today it was like a spicy tuna. Oh, you would love that. I like all the things on Japan. Uh, to me, every year, Japan hits in one way or another. Yeah. So they have a Why teriyaki not? chicken bun, which is the steamed bun with oh, chicken the, vegetables. The Wagyu teriyaki. beef bowl. Wagyu beef bowl. Really good. Oh. That is what I have to try. I yes, think the bun is, is a repeat. That's new. No, yeah. the, the, the traditional the Wagyu beef Japanese bowl rice good. bowl with American Wagyu beef over steamed white rice. Yeah, yeah that, that's that sounds really, really good. good. It, has, it, has a, it has a good like soy sauce flavor, and like the Wagyu beef is really good. Um, yeah, I, miss, I miss the noodles. Remember, like, the noodles? The cold yeah. noodles. Uh, oh, I that was weird. I, they were no, weird, I like really it. good. Yeah, that's what I said. It was frothy. Yeah. It was frothy. I was like, was good. why am I eating this? I you like it, to, but I don't. You have to retrain the mind a little bit. It was yeah. weird. I remember that. I'm like, yeah. that. Yeah, but the, the Wagyu beef bowl, really good. And the sushi roll this year is spicy tuna, cucumber, pickled daikon radish, and spicy sauce. Yeah. Yeah. And then I think the teriyaki, teriyaki chicken bun, sorry. Words. I like to combine them. Why waste time separating them? Uh, the teriyaki chicken bun, I think, is a repeat from last year. Yeah, that's definitely yes. it. But no, I love the... I didn't open it for another two weeks, but the noodle station is always really good. Yeah. Can't wait for the noodle yeah. exchange. Love the noodle, yeah. love the noodle yeah. station. Oh, so good. Yeah. So good. Yeah. And well, this year, you're going to call it the noodle exchange. You've got to have good noodles. Well, this year, um, they have uh, they have two types, which I'm looking forward to. It's, uh, so they have like they have their typical, like, it's like noodles with like a pork belly and like bok choy and eggs. They have that back. But then this year, they have an impossible like meat version. And so it's the same, it looks like the same recipe. Okay. It just one is actual meat, the other is impossible meat. You gotta that's do a side, side comparison. I, I, that's exactly what I was gonna yeah. do. That's exactly what I was gonna do. Yeah. Because I, I, it's one of my favorites every year. Because like, yes. it's so good. And then now I wanna try with the impossible. Yeah. It's impossible. I, I love impossible. You gotta do a blind taste test. Yes. Ooh, good call. Yeah. You should do that. You could yeah. blindfold yeah. him. And yeah. see if I would, I would. Looking at it, do like, it. It sounds awesome. It's the, the same, same recipe. It's yeah. just they changed out the yeah, meat. I'm that is cool. To know if so yes, do a blind. One of you guys do a blind taste test. 
I'm into this. Yes, I'm into that. That sounds awesome. That sounds great. I would that opens that. on August 15th. August 15th. Yep. Okay. Yep. But yeah, right when it's fun. really hot, we're going to want some <laughs> hot noodles. Yeah. Awesome. Give, me a, give me a bowl of noodles. Just come, come early <laughs> and then yeah. immediately go inside AC. Yeah. Just go <laughs> they don't even room. like bring an oven out. They just put them outside <laughs> and just let them warm. It'll, it'll cook. It'll cook. Um, I'm more excited for this beer plate. Hey, what'd you guys get? We got. So these are the three the from Belgium. So this is the oh, nice. uh, Brasserie de Achieve, the Roublon Chauffe IPA. Delirium, good stuff. Yeah, Delirium is great. I mean, this is you can find this in a lot of good Belgian bars too. Yeah. None of these are groundbreaking. All three are available yeah. at beer bars, but I'm happy yeah. they're here. Then you have the Delirium Red Fruit Belgium, and then the Brewery Van. Steinberg, Ooh. the Golden Jarak, triple. Three Daughters, love Three Daughters. Yeah, yeah they, they have, have a, a, a few stuff. beers here this year. I think they have like four or five offerings they for the festival. Do, right? I think they usually do, right? I think they're always like, they make it a beer. They have a good, they have a good, where was this one? Uh, relationship. Where'd you get the cider? Right, right, you, right inside my office. Oh, right here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. You they want, got the cider flag right here. You want cider beer? Yeah. yeah. Rocco's always solid. Yeah, we'll be right here. You want to grab cider? We'll try these beers, we'll be here. Do you want to sit? Um, I'm gonna see if I can see the chair. Do you want to add your meat? Yeah. Look at that. Okay, thank you. These are some heavy chairs. They're not going anywhere. Nope, not blowing away in the storm. Um, yeah, the ciders are pretty good. They're they're definitely sweet, and I'm not into that. But the, the first beer is really good. So here are my thoughts on ciders. Is that all you're going to have? Because I'll have the rest. Yeah. Is that if I'm in cider mode, and again, I feel like when we first started dating, there were certain beers I said to you that don't base it. Remember? No, because I'm saying, I've said this to you. Is that I said, don't base it on like what like your taste buds are. No, but if someone's trying to make a chocolate porter, put yourself in the mood of someone having a chocolate porter okay. and not like, oh, I just hate that. No, like, and that's why I didn't so I'm saying, say I yeah, hate it. No. They're good. So for me, for the cider flight is I know I'm walking into sweeter stuff. So yeah. like, I don't want to say too sweet, too sweet, too sweet. Because people like sweeter stuff and cider is supposed to be sweet. Yeah. In my opinion, I actually really liked the one out of Plant City. I was talking about the Strawberry Festival. Yeah. I said, can you imagine this as like a sorbet or like even a gelato? Like, this would be really nice. That, yeah. yeah, like an ice pop yeah, or something. I mean, the flavors were good. I'm not complaining about the flavors at all. Yeah. It's just for me, I'm not a cider girl, but like they're solid flavors. Like they're, I like that they're distinctly different. That's my whole thing is like, if you're gonna get a flight, I want some different flavors. And this flight does that. So if you're a cider person, I wouldn't skip this. I think that they have, I think the, your palate changes with every, I, I like that. Yeah, but we were, for me, it's just too sweet. I'm not a cider person, but all in all, it's a solid, yeah. right? I, I, I would agree. I said I liked all the ciders, which is rare. Some of them just like, not me. Even the fig, because I'm not a fig person at I, all. But the I like the fig. I remember they had that last year too. And I, like I think the they had a different person making it, because this is supposed to be new. But I don't know. I'm just saying, I'm not, I don't like figs at all. And I liked it yeah. to an extent. Yeah. Also, I will just say that you're like that with everything, and I enjoy that, is that you like tasting different things. Like even when we went to that last brewery on our trip, when we had the IPAs, we were like, oh, the IPAs kind of taste the same. I like when the IPAs taste very different. And I'm saying, for you, that's what you like. So when you have three ciders, you appreciate that there's three different 100%. flavor profiles. Oh, I love that. Yeah, and I love that you. Oh my God, stop it, man. All right, let's have some beers. What do you think? This is great. I think that's Brazier. Brazier. Oh, yeah. I believe that's Brasserie. No. That's not how you spell Brazier. How do you spell Brazier? Spelling me. Brazier. I believe that's pronounced Brasserie. The woman put on her Brazier in the morning. Brazier. Can you use it? Ken? Do you have any photos? <laughs> Are you sure? Because I dropped off her paper and it did not look like the brasserie was on. <laughs> no, I believe it's pronounced brasserie. Okay. I, I could be wrong. I could be wrong too. Hey, full disclosure, we are both not Belgian. 
Nope. We are not from Belgium. We are not the Delirium Fruit Red. So all three of these are pretty, like, if you go into a beer bar in your neighborhood or town, no matter where you are, they're going to have one of these. Uh, no, this tastes very, very different. I'm just saying, but Delirium is like a staple at bars. Like, sometimes they'll have the Delirium Tremens, which this is not that, but it's the same brewery. Then the brewery von Steinberg has that golden drack. So, you know, like the golden cap. It usually is like yeah, 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 on the bar no, cemented, kind of like Delirium. Like, yeah. if you're getting a line, they're installing the tap on the bar. <laughs> and the same thing with the Brasserie de Chouf, uh, the Hubon uh, Chef Chouf IPA. I can't, I need Axel here, I don't know. I smell this though, it smells like a vegetable. Does it smell like a vegetable? Yeah. Right? Yeah. It actually saying? smells like, no, you know what that reminds me of? When I was in London, uh, we had a lot of Belgian beers when we were in London. But it's funny, when we were in Germany for Oktoberfest, we drank just a lot of Germans. Yeah, well, yeah. Even when we were in Amsterdam, we drank a bunch of other stuff. But this, I think it's because we have a lot of this or versions of it in the States. I don't know. But when this I was in London, I had a lot of those. very different taste than I've ever had. Honestly. All right. I'm glad you're being honest with everyone. All three of these, obviously, from Belgium. This is it. I can't I'm put sorry. my finger on what it is. I can't put my finger on I'll try. On because <laughs> it's up front, it's sweet, but then it ends almost like I'm eating a vegetable. Like, it's weird. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I can't put my finger on it. Say it again. All right, shut it. You get some this I like very much. That's the golden drac. Yes. The triple. All right, I'm going to the IPA first. I mean, that was that was very good. I like that. The, the middle one really confused me. I was confused about it. It's so funny because I remember drinking this way back when before IPAs were a big deal and like before they got crazy here in the States. Like the places that I go back to are like when Tap Room first opened yeah. or when uh, Bobby Q first opened. These are bars that are down in Patch on Long Island. Like they were like the first beer bars that opened and beer bars that I went to were like. Um, and you had that there? Because they would try to bring in these really cool beers because yeah. they want to be known as really good craft beer bars. It's yeah. like right before the boom. Um, this was when there was maybe four, maybe three or four breweries on Long Island. Now there's yeah. 30. Um, maybe more. I'm just talking Long Island, not even counting Queens and Brooklyn. But it's, they wanted to like put their names on the map. So they brought authentic stuff in. Here, uh, we're back. I'm sorry. No, no, okay. That's what I'm making. No, I don't. Oh, goodness. Goodness me. There you go. Do you guys want our chairs? Ah, we're good. No, no worries. All right. We'll find Santa. Maybe there. Maybe you can steal chairs. Oh, yeah. It would be highly All right. I'm going to go into the second one that you were very perplexed by. This is the yeah, Delirium me, Red Fruit tell me, Belgium. Tell me what you're tasting. What are you tasting? Almost like rhubarb. Maybe that's it. Rhubarb. I taste rhubarb. Uh, I think that's what might give it that redness too. Yeah. I want. I thought it was gonna be like yeah. something that tastes like beets, but no. 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 Also, we're on the beer. You guys are on the cider. So you're on the raspberry citrus. We're on the beer flavor. Weird flavor. Yeah, it is. It's it's different. I, I like it. I think it's actually really cool because it does kind of cut those big Belgium notes. Yeah. Because Belgium beers like are those true beers. Yeah. Come yeah, in, slide like in. Never, that's, that's something I've never tasted. But... Sorry, we'll move this. We have so many things. What is this? What did you get here? Um, this is a um, lamb kebab. Lamb kebab. Oh, How is the lamb kebab? Actually, really good. Sounds good. It's the second year I've had it. So I actually weren't there. It, you don't get both with the kebabs. No, you have I to choose. Yeah. yeah. It's lamb or what? Chicken, I think. You know what I mean. Yeah. Um, let's stack this. Literally the worst with me. Scott and Brian. Scott and Brian. Because I'm like, oh, okay, and then I forget. I'm terrible. What's your name again? Lauren. Lauren. I'm Pete. That's or you just call me by my last name, it's on my shirt. It's like I'm wearing a name tag. Can you call Carney? Everyone calls me Carney, so I'd, I'd probably respond to it. When people say Pete, I feel like 
I'm Big Jerome. But like, Carney is like Peter. one of my boys. Oh, Peter, I'm a Big Jerome. Peter? Peter. I'm a big, like if no, you say. So when the full name comes out, you're in trouble. I'm in big trouble, yeah. But is, is, is that like a wife thing? Because whenever my full name comes out, I'm definitely in trouble. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. But like if I heard like someone yell like, yo, Carney or Carney, I'd be like, oh, one of my friends are here? Like, yeah. what's going on? Oh, no, okay. If any of my college friends are watching this, probably not. But um, they, they in college, nobody knew my name was Scott. All of them called me Newt. What's your last name? Newburn. Oh, if that makes sense. Yeah. Well, I, I knew like you in college, and you were Pete Carney in college, and now I'm dating him, so I was like, no, you're Peter now. You are not Pete Carney, you are Peter. And we're just going to keep it that way, okay? It's not as much fun. Where, you know, no one yells like, Peter, grab the funnel. <laughs> I mean, funnel sounds fun. Peter, let's do if a keg If that's the case, yeah, Peter, no. no. If she's telling Peter grab the funnel, she's like, I need to redo all the fluids under the hood of my car. Uh, can you top them off? Whereas Carney grabbed the funnel, then it's, then it's, it's like, then it's I'm going game. to the game third on. story balcony. Game on. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we need our shirt because I can go right there. All right, so I haven't had this yet. Oh, the, oh it's the, really golden, good. the golden drop. That's my favorite one. Ciders are pretty good. How do you like them, Brian? This is great. I've never had $3. Three, I mean, $3 what? is a good yeah, brewer like over one. in St. Pete. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I haven't had their cider, but like their beers are typically pretty good. Yeah, the, honestly, three doors have been killing it today everywhere we've had them. The beer and the cider have been good. <laughs> Where else have we been? Uh, we had them at the Brew Wing Experience. Okay. Uh, All of those beers are great. Really good? On okay. Flight? On the flight, we'll we were impressed. All three were really good. I have to say, I was really impressed. Was, yeah, were the, did you get the wings too? Yeah, so we got the new ones. Because uh, there's like six of them, but only two are new. Uh, I went with the orange cardamom. Which I thought was really good. Okay. Yeah, because it kind of cuts to like you would think it's gonna be really sweet, but the cardamom kind of rounds it out. Yeah, right. Well, the orange. Yeah, that's an interesting balance. It's still nice. They were cooked really well. They weren't like like they were out for a while. They weren't like soft and soggy. They still were a little crispy. Um, I'm trying to think. We're, we're coming back on the show tomorrow, so uh, we'll, we'll I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna try things. and meet up with you guys. Seriously, yeah, it'd be great. I'm telling you, the beer there. Because normally I'm like, oh, the beers are good. I don't yeah, know so they had a Caprina like, Ooh, lager. I would really order okay. Ooh, nice. yeah, the Caprina. Yeah. The Caprina lager that? was really good. We yeah. liked it a lot. Did, did it taste like Caprina? Or yeah, but not like they were over, like not like they were overdoing it. It was still was like a lager, crisp, clean, refreshing. But like it just like Flavor. in the background, like it was like okay. uh -huh. just like Flavor. a little. This is gonna sound silly, but this is how I describe drinks sometimes. Like going down like a little waterfall of Caprina, but like it was still lager. Like it was like the Caprina was okay. a kayak like, going like over hint, the waterfall. Like a hint. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Like it was an interesting lager. It wasn't like, oh, my life. It was like, oh, this is a refreshing, refreshing like well, flavorful I mean, that, That's lager. a Caprina. Yeah, it should be exactly. Cool. You and you could buy an actual that's Caprina right there at yeah. the Brazil. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, then the French Connection IPA was really nice to me. It almost had like a burnt orange or blood orange taste, but not overwhelming. Mm -hmm. It was just like a nice hint of orange in a nicely done uh, IPA. Yep. That's out of Lakeland over Brew Hub. Yep. Uh, and that was really good. I haven't had that before. That paired with my wings was really good too, just because like it has like this hint of orange here and that orange cardamom wings, like back and forth was really nice. Uh, especially because it was an IPA, so you got some bitterness, and then I can bite into the wing, and I can go back to the beer. It was really nice. And then, even though it's super hot out, and we normally wouldn't yeah. have porters, the porter inside of an air-conditioned room served ice cold. That was not bad at all. And that was three daughters. Oh yeah, three daughters. Yeah, that's great. So, so that the, was the flight. Get the flight there. That was. Those the are the flight. three in the flight. That sounds good. Yeah. Uh, they really also have a cider fantastic. flight as well. Do you, do you like hoppy? Yes. yes. Okay, go back to America. Try their, it's like a neon. We tried Oh, we tried it. Beer hug. Yeah, yeah neon, neon beer hug from Three Daughters. Yeah. I've had it a ton. What's funny is on both menus, they don't say it's an IPA, but it definitely is an IPA. They just don't say it. Oh, it's hoppy. Uh, it's good. It's really good. It's just, I was just saying, I think the reason I wasn't as excited is because I drank so much. My buddy got married this past weekend, and one of the beers he had. Uh, at the Airbnb beer where we pre-gamed was Beer Hug, so we just had so, so much yeah, Beer Hug. already had it. Nice. Okay. And then he, my buddy is also a beer, he works for a beer distributor. So he had, at the bachelor party three weeks ago, the apparently in Beer Hug they make it in 16 ounce cans. And they have different versions of it, I guess, that I don't know if they were released or not. I've never seen them. But, so we just had a fridge of 16 ounce cans of Beer Hugs in like hazy, super hazy, and insanely hazy so we drank so much beer hug when i had it over there it was like oh bachelor party okay it's coming back 
right. Let me just see, because I think I saw Three Daughters. On, oh, so Three Daughters has the beer and a cider at the brewing experience. They have their. I feel like they have something. They have a lot of stuff here. I'm, I'm saying they have a nice. I think whoever the person there too is a good relationship with the beverage beverage program, the beverage person. Uh, they also have. I'm telling you, they're at a few spots. Same thing with Brew Hub this year. They're at a few different spots too. Three Daughters has the hard cider here. Three Daughters has. I think I saw one other spot too. Yeah, so over at the Swirled Showcase, they have three more of their servings there. So yeah, they have at least six or seven different of their beers here in the festival. They I mean, killed it smart. this year. It's, it's I mean, great for them. They're local, so you get it here. Yeah. You just drive around. And, it, and people crush it. Think about how much beer they pour here during yeah. the festival. Yeah. Especially like, I mean, yeah, you can say any day because during the week it's not even that busy. But like, even on weekends when they have the big bands, like, people are just swigging beer. Okay, so yeah. how, how disappointed are you that the Bacon Brothers canceled? I'm so disappointed. I was just telling so her about this yesterday. Oh my god, we were so disappointed. Like, we were so For those like, who don't know, I talked about this yeah. yesterday or two days yeah. ago. But the Bacon Brothers, we don't know who they are. Literally, Kevin Bacon, we're all related to him. Yeah. Uh, yep, in one way or another. So our family member, Kevin Bacon, and his brother were was gonna come perform here at the American Gardens Theater. And people were pumped about it. And well, then they were on they the, the Guardians out. Christmas special. Yes, yeah. Yeah. and special. apparently, recently, in like the last week or so, yeah. pulled out. Yeah, we can go. Yeah. And uh, we don't know who's gonna replace them, but it was very sad. Are no, they still listed on the passport? Possibly. Let's see. I don't, if they are. I don't it's even know. your people. Did they update it? Did they update it? It's your people. Well, no. Are they your? Do you, are you part of this? He, he well, works, oh, he works for you. All right. So I have to. I have to ask you about something else after this. I see it. I just had a question. Oh, no. Sorry. No. Oh, wait. So are you on the passport team? No. I think I know guy. what you're gonna ask. Ask him. No. I just want to know if you, if whoever had to do this. Their poor fingers, if they got two weeks off to let their fingers heal, with the stickers oh. that had to go on the refreshment port, because I felt so bad that, I mean, there's got to be, I'm you, assuming there's a few reprints. You told me about it the moment we walked in. But I'm assuming the first order is at least 100,000 of these, if not more, and I don't know if there's several runs. But the stickers that someone had to go through and put stickers on all of these. That um, poor, or that team of poor CMs. I'm gonna say that you're very intuitive. Um, <laughs> oh my! Even God. with the the figure that you estimated. Um, oh my God! Yeah, I, uh, there is a his yeah. there's a history behind that. And oh shit! Don't, don't record me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Guys, the views expressed at this table are not the opinion of the Walt Disney Company. Also true. Wait, are we streaming now? Yeah, <laughs> we are streaming. Oh, 100 percent, we're live. Oh, we're yeah. live. Love you. I, I mean, I, I thought I showed that. I'm sorry. Um. Just I don't want to get you in trouble. Yeah. Hold on. I'll do this instead. Hold on, everyone. Let me just see something. But anyway, it's amazing that you are actually related to Walt Disney. That's crazy. Uh, that is wild. First cousins. There you go. On my mother's side. All right. So anyway, going back to the schedule. My wife's grandfather actually worked for Disney when they first opened back in 71, 72. Wow. wow, that's crazy. Yeah, he he was in charge of, um, so he was a barber up in New York. Okay. And that's awesome. uh, for whatever reason, I guess Disney was up there looking for, like, hairstylist people. Say, hey, you want to move down to Orlando and 
work for this new Disney World thing? And he's like, yeah, sure. So he was in charge of all of the stylists, all of the cast wow. cast members. Oh, that's he met cool. he met Cary Grant. That's like he would tell when I first. Cool. My wife and I were first dating, he would tell stories, oh yeah, I did Cary Grant's hair. It's like, you did whose hair? I'm sorry, what? Yeah. Like, he wow. told all these great stories of all like these actors that would come to Disney and he did all That's their cool. hair and all this stuff. It was really cool. That's awesome. What yeah. a cool job. Yeah. Like, who's coming in today? Uh, Cary Grant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it was so cool to like, hear these stories. It was great. Like, what are we looking for here? Uh, we go with the perm? Like, <laughs> Uh, so anyway, we were talking about the Bacon Brothers and if they were still on the schedule. Here, on the schedule, they are still in here with a giant, new Bacon Brothers. But uh, I'm sure they'll be replaced by another fantastic act, uh, such as Epic. Such as what? Like the anime? No, I, uh, I, I'm teasing, I'm making a joke for those who know I say this all the time. Is that the bands that fill in between the big bands? are good friends of mine, uh, the band that performs over at the UK. Uh, they might be an 80s cover band, they might be a 90s cover band. Uh, so they are called Epic. Uh, who's tonight? Like, uh, the fantastic yeah, band of the day. they just changed their name, but they're the same people. But they're great, and they put on an awesome show, and that's the only thing I kind of miss from old school Eat to the Beat to post-COVID Eat to the Beat is that it used to be seven nights a week, it used to be some name, even if they had a one-hit wonder back in the 70s. Now they fill it in, and again, don't get me wrong, I love cover bands, and it also is gonna bring in people, if you didn't know that weird band that was playing, most of the time these cover bands play a lot of the hits, whether it's like Foreigner's Journey or whatever it is, you're gonna hear music that you really enjoy. But yeah, we'll see who replaces the Bacon Brothers. Maybe you think like they'll bring in like the Bacon Cousins, like Kevin makes a call, like guys, we need you to step in. But I will say the too, Bacon Sisters, even the Nebula. people that are like names, like yeah. recognizable Who's, uh, names. Oh, Joey Fatone Friends. Yeah. Yeah. That's who Annie wants. Joey Fatone and Friends. <laughs> oh, he's yeah, yeah, he's gonna be here. He's here. Joey Fatone and Friends has just been extended for two weeks. <laughs> as long as he can pull his food truck up and just park it in America. That is a good point you bring up, though. Like, when you come see a band here at Epcot, it's so funny. A lot of them do covers of other bands of their generation. Like, 98 you, Degrees. 98 Degrees Boys does it. To Boys to Men cover people. Yep. Uh, Sugar Ray covers people. Yeah. Uh, you know, Simple even. Plan, which was like, yeah. yes. Yeah. They just, I was like, you have so many hits, why aren't you doing it? But they do covers, so everybody kind of recognizes the songs and like feels included. Plain White Tees is a good show. Plain White, yep. Tees. Plain White Tees is a great show. They played their old stuff and some yeah. of their new stuff. Yeah. Yeah. They were good. Honestly, October looks stacked for me. You got Boys to Men, Sugar Ray, Hoobastank. Uh, Air Supply is a big one. My mom would love that. Taylor Dane. Oh, yeah, she puts on a show. Billy Ocean also puts on a heck of a show here. We watched them last year. I was in love. And then Hanson. I don't know who they are, yeah. but I hear it's going to be an oom bop. I like that the song they're known for is Penny and Me in here. Do you think they, like, requested to them? Like, guys, can you stop writing oom bop? Stop it. It says, look, Hanson, the song they're known for, Penny and Me. I have now, no idea what that song is. I think more people know their beer than Penny and Me. They also do have to deal with uh, Disney. Their oom hops is served the weekend yeah. they're here. At I, I Hops and Barley. And I was like, this is, this is my whole life right here. Mm, hops and Hanson. Every like, time you get sip, you're like, skibbity bop bop. <laughs> so, re recently found out, do you know Foo Fighters really like sake? Really? And they actually partnered with a sake brewery. There is a Foo Fantastic. Fighters sake. I'm okay. into it. I just paid $15 for sake, so I'll try any. Yeah. You, uh, they don't have it here, but you can get it like that's cool. online. But it's a, it's a Foo Fighters sake. I'm down yeah. to try it. It's actually really good. I enjoy sake. I just realized, like, that is the best month. I mean, uh -huh. August is good, too. October is fun, always. I mean, Halloween. Yeah. I mean, first time Ruben Stutter is going to be here. That's exciting. I didn't vote for him. I voted for Philip Phillips, and he is also going to be here. He is here a few weeks later. I thought, no, I thought Ruben Stutter lost to, uh... No. You got an improver over here, Philip Phillips. Hey, Philip Phillips is great. <laughs> Thank and you. he ended the con that was American Idol's recording contract. Really? Fun fact. We're bringing more people in. I didn't know that. His entire first album and most of the royalties made from that. You're streaming. Wow. Yeah, you're We're just streaming. explaining everything to the world right now. Not most people know that. Well, I, I didn't know. know that. I didn't know. I didn't know. The longest way didn't come out with more albums after Wow. All those songs that he wrote himself, they claimed ownership over it. 
Yeah, that's kind of the I deal mean, with American Idol. That's the Idol contract. It yeah. makes sense. Yeah. It makes sense. We'll make you famous, Honestly, it's and been, we keep all the rights. It's been better for people like yeah. Daughtry, who made it too far, I love Daughtry. and didn't, didn't get the final, because then you can do your you own thing. Right. Because then, then they own you. Yeah. They own you. Uh, yeah. If you go to the final era, it's like One Direction with X Factor. Yep. Yes. They didn't win, but they still got recording contracts under. Yeah. Yep. And even though they didn't win, they still got a push contract. I was gonna say, didn't like uh, Simon like just handpick five of them and be like, you guys should work together? He didn't even pick them. He took oh. responsibility for picking them. That and makes it sense. Wasn't him. It was uh, Nicole, the lead singer for Cousin Battles. Oh, Scherzinger. Yeah. Who really? was in? What's that show? Uh, not making the band. What was it? Those who was making the band. Like the first season. It wasn't making the band. It was something else. It was the, the Puff Daddy song. one, wasn't it? And he put five of them together. Puff Daddy. Yeah, he actually. He did. He. I don't know what his name. She is. was in Fifth he Harmony, which was part of an MTV. What, what was the show? She wasn't in Fifth Harmony. Yes, she was. Your no, she was. was way before that. No. Pussycat Dolls. Pussycat Dolls, not Fifth Harmony. Pussycat Dolls. So you're okay, but the wrong that one. was still part of a show. All right. It might have been. Guys, yes. welcome to the Food and Wine Festival. Band. We discuss band history well, from the '90s and well, earlier. You, you brought up the whole band stuff. You're right. I mean, it's like you kind of transitioned yes. to this. It's getting, it's getting, it's giving very hot. And he took credit. Right. Also, how is yes. 98 Degrees yes. the song they're known for? Give me just one night, Una Noche. There's so many bigger hits. 100. That. That was their well, no, they do that every time. They do the dance and everything. I know, and their choreography is so funny. Oh, we, no. well, she's a big fan, so we see them way. Have you seen them do Bye Bye Love? Yes. yes, we yes. see it. We so saw them at the Strawberry Nick Festival and here. It's just so funny because their choreography looks like he literally an like, eighth grade choreographer from a musical was like, okay, snap, turn, yeah. kick, pull, change, mm -hmm. like everything's in slow motion. There's Basic nothing speed. Yeah, it's like watching In Sync in slow motion. Well, I, it is Nick actually because they do In Sync. <laughs> <laughs> is not having it when he does. That. I see his face and he's just like, I'm getting paid for like, this. Yep. Well, because he's yep. a very big star and literally, he's literally when he played here. We followed them, and I was like, hey, Nick, great show. And he goes, thanks. And I was like, I just spoke to Nick oh, Lachey, and God. he responded. That was so embarrassing, because I know, what? like, I've worked with other music talents. I'm like, Lauren, he's with his family, so, like, not now. There's times you can go up and ask for certain things. I wasn't asking. But right now, he's with you his family. Saying, you're saying, so, same fact. Yeah, so I'm like, let's just let them be, or whatever. Like, great set. And she's like, no. And, like, so we just had him walking by, and she, like, tries to throw in a quick, like, hey, great set, Nick, or whatever. And he's like, thanks. And she's like, <gasps> Oh my god! He yeah, to the he did. He spoke to me. Okay. <laughs> he spoke to all of us, and he did a great job. Um, all right, are we ready to keep it moving? Very You ready to keep it moving? I'm always ready to keep it moving. I'm thirsty and I'm empty. Okay. No, Move on. Journey on. Cheers. Pleasure meeting Cheers. you. Cheers. Yeah. Hopefully we'll so see you tomorrow. Great to meet you, Scott, Brian. Yeah, so Pleasure. Nice meeting you. Enjoy. Enjoy the rest Stay of the cool. way. Stay cool. Stay cool. Highly recommend the escargot croissant. Very good in France. <laughs> I love it. Salty, flaky, delicious. Delicious. Oh, I up. am sticking to my Actually, chair. Actually, do you want to start with the song or do you want to move that way? Um, all right. Whatever you want. I don't know how to get out. What? Give me what just one night. Okay, we're actually, we're going to France. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll walk in that direction. I'm going to throw this out. We feel like the best part of the song. We're just having a whole discussion about uh We're having a whole discussion about our favorite beds. Sorry. At least not been able to burn too much because going. Only on like four days with one day. I was just going for like yeah, I mean, we got the Andy stuff going on and her mom's How's stuff. How's he doing? Good, he's trying to keep I think it's sweet. Alright, I've been following his Instagram or whatever. Yeah, he's not a big Instagram guy, I mean, he, uh, oh, sorry, Facebook, he's bigger. Well, he'll tell you a little bit of what, I mean, he's yeah. very open about what's happening, but, like, they're yeah, we're done. We're, just, we're moving. We're just like, oh, like yeah, you're good. Of, there's two kinds of chemo he puts on on his pills. Other is like get a pork put in, and then the hardcore 
less excited about it. Uh, pills are obviously more convenient because you can travel and learn from the doctor at 50 cents. Uh, but he's doing that. So he's got to get that. He's got to get that. But they basically, I guess, they're kind of a little bit more under Hi. Jason! It's this way. I mean, the speaker's not off, but. Wait, 
the game is November and the previous week. Similar. Well, that's right. 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 Another lap today, probably. Ready, Lob? That is a nice shirt. Hidden Mickey's. Look, I like. Look, you can see this right here too. Oh, I didn't even see that. Okay. I love the. You don't know it's a Disney shirt, but it is a Disney shirt. It's so awesome. It's got the price tag of two hundred dollars. <laughs> uh, oh, no, <laughs> the CVS it. receipt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and that. That's great. No, I really. That's so subtle. I love that. Yeah. That is a great shirt. Right. Well, have fun. Have See you later, Jason. All right. And look at this. The clouds are parting. Oh, the skies are going from gray to blue. Nice little stop. I saw there was a lot of chat there. I'm going to catch up with the chat in just a little bit. We got to keep it moving. It's food and wine 2023, baby. No, I know, but that, it's similar, right? If you're enjoying the stream, please hit that like button. It really helps. Consider subscribing if you're new. Say hi here in the chat. We'll show you some love. Belle's here. Oh, she's so excited for food and wine. Look, there she goes with a long line of patrons. Ooh, you got a little, like, Brazilian music, and then all of a sudden, the fade into the French music. If you're just joining us, we have been making our way around the world showcase since 11 a.m., hitting as many food booths as we can, trying as many new food and drink items that we could fit into our stomachs. <laughs> Here at the France booth, there's no new food items. They've all been at past festivals. There is a new drink. But I think we're going to skip it for now because it's just a slushy and there's a long line here in France. People love the France booth. So we are going to pass it for now and come back. Don't waste your money. 
twice your two hundred dollars. Two hundred? That's a cheap day. Huh. We, we gotta, gotta, we gotta um, figure out the things, babe. I, I don't actually. <laughs> the most time I do. The, the oh yes, here. the fuel rods. That's the word. Okay. <laughs> it's over here. I don't know if it's near the store. They said the international gateway. Um, Sarah Garvey also gave us a full list. There's like six locations here. Oh, that's great. But I do know where this one down here is. It's okay. right there. Okay. If you want to wait. Whatever I'll go. you want to do, I don't care. Do you mind if you want to bop down here and swap them out? I'll go do the it's tea garden. Okay. It's right here. In the World Traveler? Or yeah. Outside of it? Right there. If you can't find it, that's one of those beautiful CMs. They're very friendly. Okay. If you wouldn't mind. And I'll just do a little tour of the yeah. English Tea Garden. Uh, love the music, and then as soon as you smell the fish and chips, you know you're in the UK. Let's take a little walk see back here while Lauren grabs us some fuel rods. Nice quiet day. If you're looking for a good Instagram spot where it's usually quiet to get some cool photos and backgrounds, this is very Instagrammable back here. Great backgrounds for all different kinds of photos. And it's usually quiet, including back here if there's no show going on. Just a nice quiet area to relax. There are shows here on the stage throughout the day as well. You can see they took out the topiaries from Flower and Garden back to, I would say, the standard here in the UK. gonna love these oh Lauren's gonna want this real bad I'm gonna keep this away from Lauren they have a musical Tinkerbell for the 50th for 125 I thought that'd be a lot more if I'm being honest this is 80 bucks for an extra small yikes but Peter This is cute too. Oh, we might have to get this for our tree. Lauren would love this. I don't want to grow up. It's my, my catchphrase. I might have to get that spirit jersey for Lauren for Christmas. Look at this poo-shaped mug. And back here is Kid Cot, where you can do your pin exchange, but also grab some fun stuff. In this door, it's blacked out now, but this used to be the exit for the Winnie the Pooh meet and greet. Hopefully those spirit jerseys don't sell out. I'm gonna have to come back. I'm so bad at this. When I buy like Christmas presents early or birthday gifts early, or any kind of gift early. I just want to give it to the person right away. Thank you. Oh, pardon me, thank you. Heading into the crown and crest. This is a cool little jersey. Oh, and it's lightweight. I like that. Beer and stew for the working few. It's got Epcot, little jersey. I like this for me. What does this cost? 
50 bucks. XL, 50 bucks, just making sure. I mean, with the cast member discount, if there is one, that's a real nice jersey. We have to think about that. Pull a proper pint. I like that too. These rows and crown, these are real glass. 15 bucks. I used to collect pint glasses uh, everywhere I went for years. I have a few hundred pint glasses in storage. Then you have your Guinness gear. I really like that rose and crown jersey. It's lightweight. I could see myself rocking that thing. I like all the decor in here too. You know, you got the. Swords. You can buy a sword here at Epcot, ranging from what looks like 200 bucks to 500 bucks. Well, sorry, six? Six? Yeah. Or an axe. But you can't walk through the park with them. Those will be waiting for you back at your resort. Also, we have Scotland and Wales. So pumped. I've been watching a lot of Wrexham stuff. Look at this beauty. Speaking of English beauties, not with that silly face. How'd it go with the swap -a Good. Thanks for doing that. I think I found a Christmas gift for you. Did you see it? Oh, I might have to go back and get it. I want to surprise you. Is it Roy Kent? No, it's not Roy Kent. In the flesh? Yeah, that's the Christmas gift. <laughs> He's here booking Christmas right now. Oh, that would be great. Boy. Let's not bigger and argue over who killed who. Spam, egg, sausage. All right. <laughs> Lauren, people are exploring. They're taking this in for the first time. It's very exciting. I know, but still, let them explore. How's it going, Mac? You know what? I used to always skip the merch shops too on the streams, but one, people like the merch. Two, I like the air conditioning. <laughs> Here's Erland. But you can to the nice ones. Now they're open. While these are closed, those are open. Yeah, the best bathrooms at Epcot. Not always open, but during the reno, best bathrooms at Epcot. Follow your heart. Yeah, where do you think I'll be? Ooh. So normally, Joffrey's would have a alcoholic version of their beverages during all the festivals. And what they've switched to is putting out the non-alcoholic, but all of these, most of the time, have an alcoholic version they just know back there you're like hey i want my frozen roseberry with alcohol and you know that because it says it right underneath so you can make it spirited with gregor's vodka 15 bucks for a 12 ounce that's about excuse me for the hiccups that's about standard for uh disney pricing it does sound pretty good But I'm gonna wait for the beer flight. Bum, bum. Maybe we'll get it later. A little wild carpet ride. No, no. Now, on a magic carpet ride. I don't know why I said wild carpet instead of magic, but it's wild. I've heard this song a thousand times. Close your eyes, girl. Yeah! You're having fun with us today at the Food and Wine Festival. It's opening day. Hit the like button. Consider subscribing. 
Go check out our Discord. It's linked below. Follow me on the socials. They're all down there in the description. While we hang out and wait for Lauren, let me say hi to some chat, but I need some shade somewhere. I can't see a thing on this screen. Also, you know, these rocks are actually the lighting rigs for the lighting at night here on the sidewalk and the nighttime spectaculars. Next time you walk by these rocks, take a look. This top rock goes up in the air at night. Fun facts here at Disney. You know what I think Lauren will be happy about? if we get in line in Canada for her, because she loves the Canadian food and drink. And if there's shade, we can chat it up and I can say hi to whoever I missed. I can answer your questions that I missed, your concerns, anything you want to talk about, throw it in the chat. If I miss it, we'll do a try and cover it now. If I miss it again, throw it in there again. No hard feelings. We do ask that you keep the chat positive, light, friendly, fun, family. We're just about creating happiness and magic right here. Best spot to see some Disney wildlife. You can get your ducks, your ibis, your bunny rabbits. Look at all these beautiful birds. Oh, even a dark ibis. Look at that. They got their own beach. Hello, friend. All right. Let's get in line in Canada for Lauren. Ooh, the line doesn't look that long. It's on this side today, too. Sweet. Sorry. Pardon me. All right. I know what Lauren wants. Sneak over here. Are you good? Yeah. Sweet. Can I please do that uh, Canadian cheddar bacon soup? Yeah. Uh, is there any way I can get an extra bread roll so we can each have one when we share it? Is that allowed? I could act nicely up there. It's okay. Um, Uh, we're not allowed to do that. Sorry. All right, it's all right. I'll try it some nicely down over there. Anyway, uh, we'll do the soup. Uh, we'll also do the 12 ounce beer. Do you want the filet or no? It's okay. We don't have to have that. You just want the soup? Yeah, soup's great. All right, soup and uh, the beer, please. Okay. Uh, 15 minutes. Oh. Hot out there, right? It is so hot. Oh, my God. Oh, I have we have oh, Wait, can I see these new fans? I'm so happy they gave people fans. Look what happened, guys. They can, are allowed to finally cool. Yeah. Safety yeah. begins with me, and they have fans in this ridiculous heat. Thank goodness. Nice job. Yeah. All right, you can hold that long. Okay. Oh, so wallet. great that you, honestly. Uh, okay, with cards? Yes. Oh, they have the <laughs> Both are really great. I'm just saying, yeah. They're the best. They're the best, though. I was going to say, oh, I nice. normally see you guys, like, waving anything to find a map, a passport. <laughs> Thank they you just so much. These out a minute ago. Oh, that's, that's great. Aw, stay so cool. Do you want some? Do you want some? Oh, we go this way. I'm confused. Peter, did you get something here? Yeah. All the stations. Oh, my God. 
Yeah, you just got Oh, you just got a beer? There's only one beer. All right. That's fine. Here? Not on that. It wasn't on that board. Oh. I was like, what? I love french fries, so I was like, get back in line. Yeah. I was like, get back in line. We need that. No, I know. We had that last year. Yeah. I'll carry this, babe. Do you need one of these? No. You have one, no? All right. Thank you, guys. Stay cool. Stay cool. Thank you. I'm a big fan of cast members. You want me to find a table, babe? Okay, I'm going to find a table. Here we go. Frogger. Guys, it is hot. The sun came back out. It wasn't out before. It is out now. Uh, no. 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 It's very hot right here, though. Okay, B. Okay, B. There's a bee trying to get my beer. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Wait. Wait. Oh, those people took the table. Okay, this is it. This is where we're this is where we're at. I'm sorry for the shaky camera work. I am so sorry. I think Peter is coming right now. What's happening? Why is this doing this? I don't know. I tried to move it up. Oh, jeez, Lord. Help me. Here, hold this so these don't blow away and I'll fix this. Yeah. There's also a bee. I don't yeah, care about the bees. We need bees. What happened? I just tried, to, I moved it up and then it, something, right. maybe I hit a button. There you go, we're back in business. Okay, sorry about that, folks. <laughs> folks? Um, all right, so I'm gonna give you our little hack, but they're not happy about it. I told them it. about and it. A lot of people don't. So I asked the front register person, wow, that's bright, yeah. I can't see. Um, and I said, do you know anybody can get an extra pretzel roll? There's, you know, we can just have one for each of us. Yeah. She's like, I could ask. And she came back, she asked like three people, Ooh. and they were like, no. <laughs> and I was like, okay. And I said to her, because I didn't want to make it seem like I just don't care. I was like, I'll just try asking again when I get there. <laughs> so I asked the guy again, and I was just saying how much I'm happy, how happy I am that they're here mm -hmm. and they're serving us and how awesome they are. And I finished it with, anyway, would love just so we could each have one pretzel bread each, because we're going to share it by dipping it. <laughs> and he was like, I'll ask. But, and I was like, I totally get it. And then he asked, and the chef was like, yep. Yeah. Gave us the pretzel, forgot the soup, so I was fine with that, because I was like, we got the important part. Now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so then I was like, oh, we also need the soup, and the soup came with a pretzel. We're in business. We got it. It's great. So this is kind of a staple. This is here every year, but we love it. And again, I know we're talking about how hot it is. It's also around the hottest point of the day, and we got soup. <laughs> but here we are. <laughs> here we are. Sweat dripping down my back. We got soup. What are you doing there? What? Oh, they're refurbing the Canadian pavilion. Canadia? Oh, Canada. Yeah. Look at all these birds over here. I was showing that before. A lot of birds. Messy Bessie. I love you. Love you too. I love you. Honestly, that's you. I'm, it's so heavy and hot. I'm, I'll have the beer. No, I want some of that You can have some, but it's okay. <laughs> Alright, so here we are in Canada. Have you had this beer before? I probably, probably have because I love Collective Arts. It's a great brewery. Oh, um, Collective Arts, okay. But this is the Collective Arts Audiovisual Lager. They're made uh, up in Hamilton, Ontario. Oh. Hence, the Canada booth. Do you know? 
make sense. <laughs> but I've never been to Canada. I would like to go. I've never been. It's a good time. They almost Where didn't let. Like to go? They like, almost didn't. They almost with? didn't let me in or out on one of my trips to Canada. Hundred percent makes sense. But where would you go again? Like, where is go your... Go again? Yeah, like you, like places that you've been, you would like... Honestly, to... if I'm taking you, I would love to show you the Canadian side of Niagara Falls. I think it's beautiful. Because I've that... never been to any side. And I only did that as a kid. I did, um... Did, uh, Montreal a lot as a young man between 18 and 22. Oh, yeah. Well, I wonder Went why. every year. <laughs> Once a year during those years. Maybe that's why you were banned? No, oh, I, they oh. actually, you know how I got out? I, uh, on one of the, so I was a trip leader for about 50 of us to go to Canada. Here we go. Sure and go. we had brought two coach buses to go to Canada because when you're under 21 here in the States, it is illegal to drink. And I know nobody would do that. Oh, we got a bird fight. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, it's a little bit of a get off my lawn situation. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh, oh they're, they're in the fight. They're in a big fight. Look at him eyeing him down. Yeah, that guy's going all the way from the UK to Morocco. That's how that guy, he is not playing games. You don't want any more of this? No, thank you. Okay. That bird could fly south for the winter, but he has flown from the UK to Morocco. And now coming back. Well, wow, this is a dangerous game. This bird's still eyeing him. <laughs> oh, boy. This soup is so good. I'm watching what's going on over here. Oh. We got a classic uh, case of the Jets versus the Sharks about to go down. Oh my god. Look, they're all looking at each other. If birds could snap, this would be a classic Jets and Sharks situation. Yeah. <laughs> some of these birds have red handkerchiefs, some have blue handkerchiefs, and it is about to go down here in Canada. <laughs> Guys, there's plenty of countries you can go to. This is the shortest flight ever. Right here. Yeah, they're all like keep an eye. There's something's about to go down. This is gonna be, this is gonna make Disney news channels all over oh the place. Oh my god! The Great Ibis Massacre of 2023. <laughs> oh my god! They're all sharpening their beaks like things are about to happen. It's right. like gangs in New York. Look at this one slowly walking. The other one's got its wings out. I've never seen the birds by Alfred Hitchcock, but I'm assuming this is it. We have to see it. You have to see it. This is it. Did it actually, was it filmed here in Canada at Epcot? No. As long as the ducks are okay. I'm just trying to keep an eye on everywhere. My head's on a swivel right now. What were we talking about before this? I felt like we were talking about something constructive. Where am I gonna go in Canada? Oh, so Montreal was a lot of fun, but I feel like that's a young town, but it's still fun to do for a night. We could probably bounce around. I would do like Montreal, Ontario, like Niagara. But why? Like what's, what's the draw? Tell me what's there to see. So one, they're on the East Coast. Okay. Um, they're the major coast. cities okay. and there's a lot to do. Like we can also like, I, my father was stationed in Newfoundland in Canada for many years in the okay. Air Force. And I met some lovely people here in the parks from Newfoundland. Uh, we had a long oh, yeah. conversation about that. And they were like, you have to come in like September, October. The weather's perfect. Everyone from Newfoundland's so nice. I'm like, I know, that's what I heard. My dad spoke very highly of Newfoundland and everyone I met from this group was so sweet and nice. It was like three generations too. It was like grandparents, parents, kids. The kids were polite. The grandparents were fun loving. The parents were just having a good time. It was a very nice group. So I'm assuming everyone in Newfoundland is just like this one family. You know, just how <laughs> like Americans go to other countries. And we're all judged on that one family. Can you oh, imagine? Yeah. That would be a disaster. It would. Be really but anyway, much. no. Uh, Newfoundland's up there, though, and a little out of the way. Also, like, it's near, like, Is Labrador, it? where we watch the show Alone. Like, that oh, place in the middle God. of nowhere. The reason I'm saying these cities is that you'll get Canadian culture, I think. Yeah, and that's it's what like, I want. That's what I want. And they're not too far apart. So, like, you could do Niagara Falls, which is grand, beautiful, a lot of tourist stuff there to do. Okay. And then, like, we can even do Quebec. Quebec, Ontario, Ontario Montreal, all, like... Okay. I might even be saying that cities. These might be provinces, but those areas. I can get Toronto, Montreal. I think Quebec is the province. And yes. I think Toronto and Montreal are inside of it. Okay. I got to work on my geography. It's also been a long day in the heat. Um, so hot. I... If we're ever on the West Coast, I would love to do Vancouver. Okay. 
but that's about it. There's a lot of snow there. Uh, there's a lot of snow most of the year, but they these southern areas by us, if you go in the summer months, yeah. have, especially here on the east coast, have similar climates to northern New York. I would like to go. I really, I, I never really like think to like be like. Oh, I'm allowed. I'm allowed back in the country, so we can go whenever you want. Would be nice. I was only kicked out for a few years. What are you trying to say? I'm just saying. Alright, you want me to get out of the way? Jeez. <laughs> Maybe we should. Alright, can we play. get out of the sun so I can talk to the chat and yeah. then make our I'm way to another this. place? You want to keep these? Yes. Na -na -na -na. Oh, be nice to the ducks. Come on, guys. They're not even part of your crew. Alright. Okay. We gotta get out of here so I can say I survived yeah. the Ibis takeover of Canada. Where are we going now, though? I feel like they're having like a union meeting. Look at what's going on right now. Where are we going? We're going the same direction we were going. Okay. Got a package. All right. Let's keep it moving. Hopefully, we'll get find some shade. I feel like the camera's overheating because that yeah. is a thing. You know where we should head? If we see something yummy, oh, on your list, anything new in Australia? Crikey. Yes, please. Before we leave the bush. Let's see what's happening at Refreshment Port. So I was talking about this on a past live stream that uh, they were going to bring back beaver tails. Fun fact, they are missing from the menu, and that is also where the sticker is on the passport. Beaver oh. tails were a big fun snack that were here many, many years ago. It was listed and then taken off. So now they just have the poutines again. But the beaver tails are missing, and that is where the sticker on the passport is. Dun, dun, dun. So maybe they're not coming back. Here in Australia, you got the sweet and spicy bushberry shrimp with some peppers, onions, Ooh, snap peas, good. and a sweet chili sauce. You got that roasted lamb chop with a mint pesto and potato crunchies. And then you have a lamington, a yellow cake with raspberry filling and chocolates and coconut. And then your beverages with alcohol, you got the Cooper's Brewery Pacific Pale Ale, the Yalumba Y Series Viognet from South Australia, and the Chateau Tanunda Grand Barossa Shiraz from the Barossa Valley in Australia. Nothing is new. Nothing's new. Then we shall proceed forward. Because I am getting full. I need to digest all this greatness. These other booths are not open yet, but they will be opening soon in the next few months. We could do if you want. Yep, that's my plan. Okay. I need some air conditioning. We could use a little air conditioning, catch up with the chat a little bit, see what they want to eat and drink, see if there's any good questions or comments. Thanks again to everybody who's watching. Means the world to us. We wouldn't do it if you weren't watching, so thanks for being here. If you're enjoying the stream please hit that like button it really does help share some magic with others youtube pumps out the stream the more people that like it and if you're uh new here we'd love if you'd uh just tap any tap tap that subscribe button we do live streams at epcot disney all the theme parks here in orlando as well as all of our traveling adventures we are still in the middle of our road trip series but we're dropping a new video once a week from our big three week road trip last month. And then another road trip. And then we have another road trip that we just did. It was a quick one, but, yeah, but still. lots of uh, adventures from the road and adventures from theme parks. We try to keep them all family friendly, having a good time. Give you as much information as we can as we go throughout our fun little time. So yeah, consider subscribing. Yeah, let's walk through Disney Traders. Well, I see. Yeah. Look, there's Pluto saying hi to people. Nah, he just got a little trim on his coat. He's good. <laughs> wow, didn't expect a big Marvel display here at Epcot, but here we are. Whoa, Lauren, hold that up. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
By the way, we got a big super chat from the Tomorrowland Traveler. My man Daniel says, have a flight on me. Maybe even have some ice cream. Thanks, Daniel. $50 super chat. So generous. Also, he has a fantastic Disney channel as well. If you like mixing it up, um, I don't know how. You won't see a woman attacking anyone with an axe on Daniel's streams. But you will see high quality 4K content without all that talking and yip yapping like me. Look at this, you can get the Black Panther mask for 140 bucks. It's a very Marvel shop, uh, but of course Marvel set in Paris. There it is, there it is. You have, uh, what do we got here? This looks like the gauntlet. I believe this says Let's Go Islanders in another like language. This. I like these. Those are fancy. Those are really cool. Thanks so much for the super chat, Daniel. Really appreciate it. Uh, and all I can say is I love you. 3,000. See you later. I'm going to stay here. Okay. Lauren, did you swap out those fuel rods? There's a portable charger right here. No, I know. Are you right? Let's, well, we're going to go ahead to some AC now. Well, you got to relax. Why don't you drink your water? I did. It's so hot. <laughs> it is hot. But if Big Papa's surviving, you got to be surviving. I'm a survivor. Like I said, if there's something you want us to taste or try, say we haven't done so yet, let us know in the chat. We'll try our very best. We're trying to do as many of the new items this year they do bring back items from year to year so we're trying to just do the new ones or ones that we just really love lauren loves that bacon and cheddar soup so we had to do that we did some great meats here but yeah we did mexico earlier again you could see if you wait later in the day this is kind of what i was saying when we started the stream is that people start up here right at 11 is kind of make your way deeper into the world showcase than come back around this time this line for mexico was all the way down this fence earlier and now you can kind of just walk right up we tried both margaritas both of the savory food items and we were a fan of all of them there the uh yeah. one of the margaritas was a little sweet it was still good though it was still good yeah, yeah. the was it trouble in paradise had a watermelon liqueur that was a little sweet no yeah i got you we started with the brewing experience right there which was taken over by the muppets we were a big fan of, uh, I thought the wings are great. The beers were good. Yeah, the beers were really good. I was really impressed with the beers. If you're looking for margaritas and you don't care if they're from the festival booth, you can get their, them from the festival booth. You can get margaritas right here at La Cantina. You can get margaritas over to the left at Choza de Margarita. Or you could head inside the pyramid and go to La Cava del Tequila and get your fix in there as well. Four locations for margaritas here in Mexico. What's your favorite at La Cava? La Cava? Um, depends on the mood I'm in. I typically, just because I've tried them all and they're all great, but I just go with a La Flaca. It's like their skinny margarita. Okay. It's light, refreshing. I could taste the tequila. Yeah. Uh, great for being in the parks all day. The avocado. the avocado margarita, I still am a big fan of. Uh, it's a little sweet. And... I don't know. It depends on my mood. So I still get it sometimes. Yeah. When I didn't live here, I got it way more often because it was like so hard to find. The La Flaca tastes like a very good margarita. You can get it. Oh, look who's here, Lauren. Oh, jeez. Our boys.
We have one more song. Great job, gentlemen. Great job. Gotta show them some love, gotta show them some love. People just leave, you gotta say thank you. Gracias, 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 gracias. <laughs> so good. <sighs> it looks like there's one jungle cruise boat that just got caught up in the wrong area over there. Well, just after four o'clock here at the World Showcase, we are going to take a little break and take all of you on a ride in the middle of food and wine. Hopefully get frozen. Hopefully get frozen. <laughs> We're gonna go on the newest ride in the Norway Pavilion. <laughs> frozen ever after. And lucky for all of you, we won't be waiting in line too long because we have a return time. We thought it'd be a good time just to grab a little bit of air conditioning for us, drink some water, let some food digest. And then when we get off of this, we're going to go back through that loop we missed earlier during the rain and hit the Alps, hit Germany, hit Spain, hit Italy, and back to America. How's it going, Herman? So this ride has given us a little bit of problems with the feed and I would hate to see any of you go. We've got about 170 hanging out uh, at the moment. If for any reason the ride freezes because <laughs> we're going on frozen uh, or you get a little fuzzy, 
Just hit refresh. I'll be refreshing as well. Don't go anywhere. Come right back. There's only certain sections of the ride that do it. So even if we lose you for about 10 seconds, we'll be back. And our stream is not over. We have a lot of food and drink to keep bringing to you, trying all the new things for the year. We good. Wow, even the fast pass a little backed up, but it's all right. Gives us some time to talk with everyone. I know there's been a while since we caught up with some chat, so let's go back a little bit. First of all, again, big shout out to everybody who's helped out, supported, and shown that generosity today. Uh, Daniel, it's Moreland Traveler with the Super Chat. We had Dave in here earlier. Uh, Dawn, Chris, uh, who else? So many people. Uh, yeah, we had Venmo's and Cash Apps. Thank you so much. It really means a lot. And if I missed it and didn't show you love, I will make up for it, I promise. All right, we're back inside. Hopefully the service is a little bit better. Let me know what you guys think. Are we back? All right, while we wait here in line, let's say hi to a bunch of people. I'm gonna go back about a half hour and work my way to the current time. You know what, let's go back about an hour, because I think, I don't think I've shown everyone enough love. We're gonna go back an hour here in the stream, make sure everyone gets love. So Nate D, I don't know if I said hi yet, but I've been in and out, only caught the porter. I've got my own running list for when I'm coming up. Love it. Kidder 96 says I'll be at Epcot this August. That's exciting. Chief Leaf in the house. This is weird to say, but I kind of glad Food & Wine started later this year. I noticed the crowds are way less at Epcot with no festival. I mean, if you consider this later, but it's... It used to start in September. Robert D. still here hanging out. Michelle's here. We got to meet Michelle's friends. Uh, Scott and Brian, which was great. It used to start always two or three days afterwards. It was always like Labor Day. It was like I would be here on the 29th. It would start on the first, second, or third. It was always like the day of my flight. And then we moved here, and they're like, "Let's just start it earlier." And I was like, "Ah, <laughs> Grumpy, good to see you." Also says Lauren, "Have a great school year this year." <laughs> yes, it is very warm today. At my last check, it was 95, but felt like 117. CC Storm, what's going on? <laughs> CC Storm says, I know the feeling of having uh, your first name fully said it means you're in trouble. All right, cup of your Michelle says, it's so much fun to see my friends drinking together while I'm at work. Well, we miss you, Michelle. Dawn said, I was very bummed about the Bacon Brothers canceling. It was the one show I was looking forward to. Well, I, I have a bunch that I'm looking forward to. Obviously, Boys to Men, number one. <laughs> Mike Wazowski is here from Chicago. Wow. Who would have thought Mike Wazowski lived in Chicago? I really like it. Wow. Aye, aye, Captain. Suzanne's still here hanging out. Peaches is still here hanging out. 
Hi, Chris L. Great to see you. Suzanne said, loved our conversation with Michelle's friends. Great to have uh, a stream, you know, where we talk with other people, have a good time. Me too. Steven Noon, thanks for coming back and hanging out. <laughs> Mike was asking, he said, I heard Pantera's filling in for the Bacon Brothers. I don't know how that would go over, but it would be awesome. I'd be here for it. Mark Mueller, yes, the M80s, another name of Epic and all the other ones, yeah. Nate D is going to be in town when Hanson's playing. My mom will be here that weekend, too. My mom's coming down. Oh, really? She wants, because I've been talking about it for years, that the transformation between, like, fall decorations and Christmas. So she's like, I want to come the week that turns from Halloween to Christmas. Okay. Well, all the holidays in general. Steve Racer, great to see you. Yeah, we've had a bunch of different people pop onto the stream so far. JoJo came up and said hi. Uh, Kyle Palo met me outside but we weren't streaming uh when i went to get food we had uh jason eric tom from wnt come up and say hi uh jake we love everybody we love it them all michelle bender what's going on William R., thanks for being here. <laughs> David Long said the new DFB food blog title is going to be, Is This Sandwich As Hot As Pete Says It Is? <laughs> no. Thanks. To, Are you okay to be on no, camera? No. That's so sweet. Like, yeah, that's amazing. That is so nice. You're awesome. Thank you for saying that. You're awesome, too. But I mean, like, wow, what a story. All right. Well, that made my day. Thank you so much. Yeah, it shows you where the action happens. You look at the seat. Yeah. I'll take it. Over here, right between us. <laughs> All right, here we go. That's us. Now you know you're on it. You're on the stream. I love it. <laughs> Are you local? Uh, I'm two hours away. Oh, okay. Which way? Uh, down. In that, like, West Palm Beach area. Oh, that's yeah. where my cousin lives. We can't wait for the Bright Line to open so I can just take a train here and back. But it's going to be so expensive. It's not even I feel like I'm going to get a pass. I have to. Like... Yeah. 
I no, was like, really? Yeah. I got an email from them, and they said it was like sixty, maybe each way. Yeah, but then you go. It's better at that. Sixty there, sixty there, sixty there. Yeah. 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 Sixty there, sixty there, sixty there. Yeah.
a bit of scrolling. Just a bit. I feel like it shouldn't be on my face while I scroll. Let me show you some atmosphere. All right, I know where we're at. Hey, I, I said I found a table. I got to sit down. I didn't know if you were going right to the uh, booth or not. Well, I was going to, but then I saw a table open up. So I was like, I got to stop and say hi to people. Look at this, though, Peter. Oh. All right, let me take a picture before you get into yeah, it. Yeah, I want to take a picture. All right, so here we go. Look at this. This is from Kenya. Is this shrimp? I don't know what's falling out of my pockets. I have like cash, money, passports. Just look behind me. I think we're good. Hopefully. All right, well, Lauren digs in here to this Kenyan food. I'll tell you all about it. This is the Peri Peri Skewered Shrimp with a citrus flavored couscous. Lauren's about to do work. You didn't even get the beer while you stopped here? I didn't know what So thirsty. It's good? You're a fan? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Uh, our Instagram and all that other fun stuff. If you guys want to follow me uh, between the streams, my Instagram is at official carney. My Twitter is at your WDW guy. The Instagram is at official carney, but also the threads. I forgot. To, I always forget to mention the threads. We have an amazing Discord. The link is down below. Also here in the chat. Oh, that looks. I know it's messy. Uh, very it's messy. Really good. Hold on. Take I don't know. Sorry. Ooh, that's good. I know. As you would expect, packed with flavor from the Kenya booth. But very good. Yep. Very yum yum. All right, let's see what else is happening here in the chat. Of course, I picked a table right in the sun. I know. I was like, what are you doing? Well, there was a table with seats. Oh, it's very on. rare. There is some shade over there. I don't mind standing. Whatever you want to do. Okay. You're melting. I am. You gotta go over there. I am. But I wanted you to be able to sit down and enjoy your That's couscous amazing. and your shrimp. I'll try and read some chat while you do that. That was really good. The problem is, I can't see anything. I'm just gonna hang here for a sec because something happened with the phone where we just let, we went from 200 people watching to 30. All right. I was gonna say, do you I'm just to going back to the way it was. No, I, also, I'm, I don't want to no, take no. over someone's table. We're, I'm yelling into a phone. All right. This is a nice view and it seems like where people are coming back on. All right. I just switched back to everything we had, the same settings before Frozen where we had no yeah. issues all day. Hopefully everyone will come back and hang out with us. And while that happens, I'm just going to catch up on some chat. So if you want to just relax, walk around. If you want, want it, yeah, why don't you leave the backpack here? So you don't have to carry that. All right. And then if you want to do that beer flight and the schnickenoodle in. At Germany? That's yeah. Germany. Is that a, I mean, check your thing, see what's new. But let me have this so you're not dying. I'm done with this. You want any? No, thank you. Okay.
All right, let's see if we can fix this. How is it now? Blurry or not blurry, everyone? I don't know what is happening. We were running so well for the first uh, four hours or so here. Not even the first five hours. We were doing really well. How's the picture quality, everyone? Clear, not clear? I'm going to play around with the camera before I get talking and walking and showing you more things. Just want to make sure everything looks good before we get back into the jump, jive, and whale of food and wine. All right, so let's see if I can change something. Nobody go anywhere. Hold on. All right. That's the only thing. How about now? No, but I do want to do the beer flight. All right, so I'll just do that. Yeah, unless you want any of that. I don't need it. Yeah, it's so just the beer flight. Okay. Unless you want something. I don't want it. Okay, right, there we go. We're back. I'll be back. Weird. All I had to do was uh, put my phone in, <laughs> in airplane mode and come back. All right, Nate D says, I reset my resolution to 144 and it looks great. Okay, cool. My phone experts out there, why does that happen? It said I had full service in 5G, but I hit airplane mode anyway, came back to regular, and now I have full LTE in the same spot. I don't know technology. But anyway, I'm glad we're back and that we have a clear picture. With that being said, let's get caught up with the chat while Lauren is going to get us a beer flight from Germany. What a gal. What a woman. So I'm going to go back to where we left off. Thanks again to Shelly for posting all the links. If you guys want any of the links to any of the socials, they are here in the chat and down below in the description, as well as our Discord and all the other fun stuff. So I haven't seen a food and wine magic band yet for this year's festival, but I'm on the lookout. Hello, uh, M-O-L-B-Y-O-N-E. Molboyone? Uh, Molboyne? Molby One? Anyway, thanks for being here and hanging out with us. Moogle's in the house. What's going on, Moogle? Thanks again to Shelly who posts all of our links. She's got our Discord, the socials, the Patreon. They're all here in the chat. You're the best. Thanks, Shelly. Jay Thompson, what's going on? Great to see you. Colin Grossman says, I got to check out the merchandise for food and wine at Epcot. We're going to go check out that merchandise before we leave today as well. We had to stop. It's never new. But the Canadian cheddar and bacon soup is so good. Had to get it for Lauren. And uh, the beer is always good as well. Yeah, we're live. Nice. Love it. Do you want to be on it? I have a channel, so I don't want to be here. Sure, you can promote. No, promote your channel. <laughs> Tell everyone your name, where you're from, and talk about your channel. Hello, I'm Ron E. Bradley. I'm from, well, I'm from St. Louis. I live here in Orlando. Nice. And our channel is Follow the Bradley's Fun. Follow uh, the Bradley's Fun. That's easy to remember. I yeah, love it. It's a uh, you know, family channel, so it's me and my wife, our, our kids. That's awesome. Uh, sons. A lot of theme park stuff, Orlando stuff. Theme park, Orlando, SeaWorld, um, and whatever we're doing. I love it. That's awesome. We love supporting everybody on the channel. I'm Pete, by the way. Pete, I'm Ron. Nice to meet you, Ron. Do Ron you just know, came up. Do yeah. you know uh, the Pete McDevitt channel? I do. I'll be on his show tonight. Oh, okay. I'm going to watch. That's all <laughs> it's um, that. But I got the email from him that he was putting me on. Put me on the, the channel on the show. That was cool. Was Isn't like, that awesome? It's like, yeah. so exciting. I remember the first time he called me, too. He's like, I want to put you on the show. I'm like, that's amazing. Thank you. I know. That's He's a good guy, yeah. I've been on his show Disney-wise. Tonight I'm on his NFL show because I love to talk football as well. Uh, I'm a New Yorker who now lives in Orlando as well. I've been here four years. So. But fun yeah, stuff, yeah, so we're here. You've been here four years. You got here before the North New York crowd started coming in. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we came down with the idea of buying real estate, and then all of a sudden the pandemic hit and all the real estate shot up. We were like, man, we really should have bought more stuff sooner. Uh, but... Yeah, we're still here enjoying it. We live 15 minutes from the park, so it's great. Yeah, yeah we live in the Hunters Creek area. So oh, nice. We love it. We looked at a lot of places over there. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's great. And I 
regardless of anything else, I've loved Florida ever since I've, since I've been here. This has been absolutely my favorite place that I've ever lived in my life. I have lived in St. Louis and Las Vegas and Branson, wow. Missouri, out west, um, Israel for a couple months. But that's a whole different wow, story. Wow, you've been everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, it's a bunch. So. That's awesome. Yeah, we love it down here. We only say, we, as New Yorkers, we miss our food a little bit. We wish we had some New York food. And uh, yeah, obviously, the pizza down here, sorry. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I, I, Via Napoli is not terrible. We don't mind Via Napoli. No, I mean, that's good, but I mean, outside of <laughs> <laughs> Outside of there, it's a little rough to find some good pizza. I'm trying, I've been trying to subscribe to everybody that's on the Pete McDevitt show. So. Yeah, he's a great guy. We just had a few other uh, fun YouTubers with us earlier. Uh, JoJo stopped by and said hi, Kyle Paolo, WNT. Yeah, we, uh, we're just lucky. We love the community. That's why when you came over, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm let's promote the channel. I'm already subscribed. Look at that. That's awesome. And hopefully we can drive some people to your channel as well. We like to support everybody. That's what I really like about the Orlando community. So far, the YouTubers I've met, um, I saw uh, Tom, Page of Mr. Morrow. Nate, yeah, Nate's here. Yeah. Um, earlier. And uh, Ear to Ear Magic. And, you know, yeah, everyone's here today. Yeah, I mean, I, I knew there would be. Yeah. So like, the day is here. the day. It's it's nice. It's crowded, but it's not horrifically crowded. I said that I'm. I, the crowds have been pretty good. Not too bad. It's been so, a good day. But uh, but it's nice. But there's plenty plenty of people in here to support Disney, which is really good. And, totally agree. Um, I'm. Yeah, I mean it's, it's perfect. Honestly, being a local, I don't really mind when the parks go down a little bit because then hey. <laughs> I said the same thing. I tell everybody my favorite times of the year to come, but I'm also like, I'm giving away my favorite times, but these are when you want to be here. Well, and here's the thing. Like, a lot of people are talking about, I was telling this other crowd, I think just the period of revenge travel. Everyone coming out of the pandemic, coming here all at once over the last year and a half. Yeah, so, Which is normally busy, July and August. I feel like a lot of people have been here in the last 18 months where they say, all right, we'll wait a little bit. Let them open up the rest of the stuff that's Please going on. Let them <laughs> Let them finish Epcot. Let them finish Splash Mountain to Tiana's by. Absolutely. I think, I think, it'll be, I think 2025 is going to go. Phew. Yeah. I said this too. I was talking with uh, one of our Patreons texting me, but he, uh, he said, Disney stocks at $85. Like, what do you think? And I said, to be honest, I, maybe it could go lower, but I don't see it going much lower. I see over the next year, we'll get back to what's important. Right now, we're in a kind of a weird influx. All the travelers aren't coming for the next year. There's a rider strike going on. There's a lot happening. Yeah. I mean, Give it a year, you'll a see lot. it gradually go up. I said my prediction next summer, you'll see it around 130-ish. I said I would buy, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, it's probably a good time to buy. It yeah, it's not going to go. It'll, I can't see. Disney be Company is a, a massive company. It's not going to go below 85 or much lower. No, no, no. But what do I know? These are not investment <laughs> advice. I'm just <laughs> oh, yeah, saying what I to, think. You have to say that. Yeah, I don't come to me. <laughs> if you get rich, you can short sure, come back. Otherwise, don't come back. Cool. Which, but, which yeah. uh, platform do you use to stream on? So right now I'm just on YouTube. I just hit go live. Okay. Um, so we're live. We have been live since about 11. But yeah, we got about 200 people hanging out right now. But yeah, no, we'll, we'll have a good day. This is always a good day. The uh, opening day of any festival, we do pretty well on the channel. And But, you know, it's tough because there's a million people who are live right now. <laughs> so, That's true. I did, I did an hour and a half live, and I'm like, I'm hot. <laughs> yeah, it's very hot. And I'm still trying this to figure one. out which platform I like best. I did stream Yard today. Okay. I like Prism, but I haven't figured out how to make the chat work right. But Prism's got a great picture. Yeah, we. I just go direct through YouTube just because it's quick, it's easy. I can just hit go live and let it let it go. But uh, we'll see what happens. We always mess around. Hey, Good appreciate you stopping by and saying yeah, hi. Absolutely. There he goes. Go follow him. Every channel. Subscribe to everything. Follow the Bradley's. Yes. Channel. Have a good day. Stay cool. I forgot what we were talking about. Oh, yeah, the chat. Like I said, hey, come up and say hi. He, was, he just came up. He was a little coy. He was like, uh, hey, are you live right now? I was like, yeah. He's like, can I follow you? I was like, yeah, of course. You want to be on the channel? All right. So anyway, we're back. We're here. We're at Germany. Lauren's grabbing a beer flight. We got the picture quality figured out. We're back in, the, we're back in our groove. I have to put these back down because it's so bright. But uh, I still, again, I'm trying to catch up with the chat and say hi to as many of you as possible while we wait for this beer flight. I'll, uh, I'll turn it around so you can get a little bit of the Germany in your life instead of my big red face. So I'm not sure what, uh, 
how much of Frozen you saw, but we had this awesome interaction on the way, and I'm trying to get to that point in the chat to see if you guys saw it or not. Hi, Roxanne Sweeney. Great to see you. So what foods have you tried today? I just hopped on. Well, we've had a bunch. We did the brewing experience. We did Mexico. We did China. We did the refreshment outpost. We did America. We've done uh, Morocco. We did Belgium. We've done Canada. We are getting some stuff from Germany now. The real goal was to try as many new food and drink items as possible, but also there's two of us sticking together today, me and my other half, Lauren. So it's hard to do a ton of food, and it's also extremely hot out, which slows you down. So we're doing some beverages in between and trying. We also have mixed in some of the classics as well. So even if the food or beverage item isn't new for this year, we've thrown in a few of our favorites from the years, uh, you know, before this. Trying to talk while I read your comments as well. Oh, buddy, you okay? Oh, it's the caramel place. Yeah, it was weird that we got the soup today, but it's Lauren's favorite, so we do what we do. You're good, no worries. Thank you, though. Yeah, depending on which on where the CMs are working, some have fantastic air conditioning and fans. Others are like hot boxed. So always be nice to your cast members. Hi, Katie McGinnis. Oh, thanks, Chris. We do need a duck translator. I know just the place to find one. Mike S., what's going on? Says, hey, Carney, hope to run into you. I'll be down in Disney in five days. That's so exciting. I love a good countdown. Yeah, there are uh, some vineyards up by uh, Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls is great. Uh, Ms. Moore, great this year, says Vancouver is amazing. The architecture is incredible. That's definitely on my to-do list. I have to go up and do Washington, Oregon, and Vancouver. Uh, as far north of I've gone has been Napa and Sonoma on the West Coast. Been everything in between. Napa, Sonoma, San Fran, uh, the Bay Area. Um, you know, drive down Big Sur. I've done L.A., San Diego, Huntington Beach, all those fun spots. But I got to go north. Oh, that's cool. My guess is brothers in Japan right now. That's exciting. Yeah, the beaver tails, we don't know if they're coming back or not. Again, big thank you to Daniel for the super chat before. Not sure if everyone heard that, but really appreciate it. Thanks to everybody who super chatted, Venmoed, Cash App, PayPal. It really means a lot. Thank you so, so much. Your generosity does not go unnoticed. And if I forgot to give you a shout out, let me know. I'll make sure I give you some love. Doug Rosenthal, great to see you. Who doesn't love Mariachi Cobra? Am I right, Don? I have to. Every time they're outside, I got to stop and just take a minute with Mariachi Cobra. They're the best. And they date back to the original days of Disneyland on the West Coast. Ethan Vargas, good afternoon. Great to see you. Says this is Chief Sleeve's brother here for some Disney fun. Well, thanks. We love Chief. Nate Deep, heat is always refreshing in more ways than one. Yeah, that ride always uh, gives us a little bit of issues, but thanks for coming back and hanging out with us. I know we lost about 50 or 60 of you, but it, we needed a little ride in our life, right? We can't just do all food and wine all day. We got to digest, have some water, and we had a really magical moment, so it was worth it to me. Lynette, thanks for reminding me. Says, everybody, if you're just coming in, please hit that like button. It really does help. And it really does. So thank you to everyone who's hit the like button. It means a lot. And welcome to all the new subscribers. I'm so pumped. I hope I don't let you down. Ethan says, Norway is one of the best areas. They're all great. I love each country for different reasons. Hey, 
Uh, Hope, I don't know anything about the electrical uh, parade. I didn't know there was a new announcement. So if you know it, you could drop it right here. I don't know much about it. Peaches, this has been an epic stream so far. Five hours and 15 minutes strong. Hey, that's what we're going for, right? We said we were going to do an epic stream for food and wine, and that's what we're doing. We want to make sure you see everything or as much as we can for the... There's two of us out here trying to bring you as much food and whining as we can. Uh, also, I know I wasn't, uh, we didn't have the greatest quality picture when we got off of Frozen because everything got messed up, but I'm hoping that it's better now. Jackie did the reverse commute. Born and raised in Florida and moved to New York. Love it. Hey, we got a new Venmo. Thank you, Robert D. $100 Venmo says, enjoy cod food and wine. You're the best, Robert. Thank you so much. So kind. So generous. I'm the luckiest guy. Very much appreciated. You are the man. Jason Andrews, what's going on? Yeah, so just mousing around. So Disney's currently trading at 85.42. I'm buying casually, but if they put out another couple of dud movies, I can see that stock dropping to the 60s. We'll see. I don't know. I, there's, they just own too much for it to go much lower than the 80s for me. Allison, what's going on? She just tuned in. What's going on, Allison W? Jason says, love me a liter of Dunkel in Germany. Dilo says, hopefully everyone's sharing the stream with family and friends. The more the merrier, right? I agree. Look at that. Follow the Bradley's Fun is here. They just said, hey, that's the people we just met. Super nice. I love meeting new people. And uh, we'll be on Pete McDevitt's show. Speaking of Pete McDevitt, I'll be on the NFL show with him tonight. Keep my schedule packed, right? Robert, so nice. Thank you so much, Robert. Well, now we're just waiting for Lauren, and then we will get moving. See if we can help her out, or if she got lost. Look at this. You can also pin trade on a pretzel. This is the best pin trading board ever. These are so cool. What? We do have a Stein board. You have a Stein board, too? The pretzel's classic. It's so great. Thank you, Christina. That's awesome. There she is. Lauren's right behind you. Okay. That's all right. Take a deep breath. You want me to go over there? No. Okay. Okay. That's okay. You want me to go over there and talk to him, Lauren? Why don't you have a beer? Relax. Okay. All right. Take a breather. Thanks for doing that for everyone. Everyone, I was up. I was this there is the beer flight. The entire time you were waiting was the entire All time right. waiting for the cake. I'm so sorry. Cake. So we don't have the prickly pear? No. <laughs> the one I was excited about? I know. Uh, that's why I'll I go back and ask. I'll go back and ask. I'll go. It's okay. Thanks do for it. doing it. You did it. I you did a great job. So what are you having first? The Gaffel Kolsch. This is a classic from Cologne, Germany. Let's give it a little try. Thanks for waiting, Laura. Do you want a towel? I'm really like... All right. Well, you want to sit? What can I do for you? Put me inside. Okay. Where would you like to go? I don't know. Anywhere that there's air conditioning. I would love to go. All right. I'm going to find some for you. Holy moly. The only place that's indoors between here and the world, America. You want to go back to America? I'm really I'm sorry. All right. I'm just... I... Just take a deep breath. Relax. Calm down. Cool down. Just take deep breaths. You want the towel? You want a fan? It's a cool breeze right here. I'm going to take my top off. That's what I want to do. Well, as much as I love the free drinks, oh. we won't be allowed back. There's a breeze right here. I feel like a fan yeah. is on me. You don't understand. I no, I'm saying, so stand right here. On the equator. I get it. Lauren, I just, I hope you know that's how I feel every day, all day oh. of my life. 
but take a deep breath. We're still at Epcot. It's a beautiful day. Have a beer, have some water. Anyway, let's review some beer while Lauren cools down a bit. We met a very nice person who has a YouTube channel as well. They came up and said hi. Very nice. All right, Gaffel Kolsch. Do you want me to save you more of this or you had half? You could go for it. All right. These, we could have one of each because it's the same thing. Tastes just like a Kolsch. You've never had a Kolsch? Kolsch, kind of like the lager of Germany. It is yeah. just, it's light, it's refreshing, easy to drink, perfect on a hot summer day. Let's just say you've been standing in line waiting for beers. It's hot out, you feel like you're on the equator. A Kolsch <laughs> will solve all those problems. Yeah. Just give it a second. <laughs> Next Cheers. up, we have the Fest beer. Prost. Believe me, I wanted that prickly pear too. I'm gonna go back and get it for you. And you can stay right here in the shade. What do you think about that? Get two of them. Oh, I'm gonna put my finger down like this yeah, and say, hey, my girlfriend said she was on the equator. <laughs> and I know geographically that doesn't make sense because we're in Germany. But apparently it is hot like the equator in Germany. Yeah, you drink the whole thing? My God. Yeah, I was thirsty. I've been standing over here in the shade waiting all this time. I don't even wanna hear You can't even believe how hot it is in the shade I with the breeze. Knock you out, okay? Mama said, knock you out. All right, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna oh, take the camera God. too because I feel like you might use swear words. But if you could watch I the bag, we'll stay here. drink some water, yeah. enjoy the breeze. If you water. want, you can go inside over there. There's air conditioning. Wow. Look at this happy face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go back. Do you have the receipt? Do you have anything? Well, Just it. take my word for it. There you go. All right, thank you. Is it you. this way? Make sure it's that. Beer flight, Germany. Yep, this is it. All right. I'm going in there. If we're, you got oh, the backpack? Oh, yeah, I'm going to All right. Uh-oh. Wait, Law, don't leave. Okay. I knew this was going to happen, and I should have done it before. What? The gimbal needs a little charge. Oh, no. That's in the backpack. Okay. Also, do you want me to put that towel away? Yes. I, yes. What is this? It looks like a hand washing station. Oh, that's nice. For the cast members? That's very nice. Yep. I'm going to put my face in it. Okay. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, here it is. And then, hold on, hold on. A lot of things in the pockets. All right. Nope. <laughs> we got a gimbal issue. As soon as we got everything figured out, I finally figured out uh, the Wi Fi. Like, yeah, how to get a good picture. And then the gimbal just died on well, us. Of course. You came in like a hurricane. I'm sorry. I really didn't want to, but I am frustrated. All right. It's much cooler over here. You don't understand the heat over there. <laughs> Here, just hold this on yourself. Or anywhere. Hold up like that. Let's do that. Just for a sec. While Sorry, I clean people. Up my act here. Clean up your act, will you? Pencils in this one. <laughs> David Lung, Hurricane Law coming in at a cat three. Yeah. That's I, right, baby. That's for sure. I can't handle it. It's Lauren, so hot I just over want there. You to think about that. That's how I, my base temperature is. No, I don't get how you function. Then I don't know. I don't understand. That's why if I say I'm hot, it's got to be 200 plus inside of my body. I don't get All it. All right, here we go. Let me see if I can turn this on yet, if there's enough power. There's something blinking. Oh, I don't want to let go. No, don't. It'll force you to let go. Not enough power to turn it on yet. All right. Here's what okay. we're going to do. Yeah. It'll probably charge faster that way, no? 
Well, it's going to charge the same speed because it's not on. All right. Well, can what you, you do? You can do whatever you want. I'm going to. Uh, there. Yeah. Can okay. you throw that out for me? Yeah. All right. I'm going to hold this in my hand you and then go this? do that. Oh, yeah. I'll take that. Oh, I needed that too. Hold on. All right. This what is going to be a disaster. Need? What do you need? I need. You need I need. Just tell him it was a girl laying across the bar saying, right. when are you done? Uh, I'm no, I definitely don't want to be associated with that girl. <laughs> but can you. <sighs> okay. I'm thinking. I have to carry all of this. Um, Do you want me to just hold this? Yeah, but you have to hold it like this. Okay. I'm just saying you cannot let any tension be here or there because it'll fall out. All right, there you go. That's what I'm saying. Can you hit it? I just want to say hi and thank you guys for everything you guys do. What? Do you guys want to be on camera? Sure. Thank you. Hi, say hi to everyone. Tell everyone uh, your names, where you're from. All right, where are you guys from? Well, what part of Long Island? Hey! I rebuilt Kings Park Schools after the hurricane when that roof uh, tin canned off. Oh, nice. Now it's, I bet you, nice and dry. <laughs> we put that roof back on, no problem. And it took all the asbestos out in the meantime. It was a blessing. Oh, no. And only student of the week once? It sounds like you should have repeated it. Unbelievable. You could have came and helped us fix the school. You definitely would have been student of the week. Well, that's awesome. How's the vacay going? Oh, uh, honestly, today, with a little bit of a breeze, not terrible. I heard, no, people in the chat and my family and friends are like, it's the same temperature here. I'm like, but it's the humidity. It gets you. Is it? Uh, well, then at least you're acclimated. No, no worries. Thanks for saying hi. You got Lauren. You got some. Yes. We got some stickers and stuff on us. Look, everyone. Stickers are back. We got stickers. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Yeah, take them. Thanks for saying hi. Appreciate it. Enjoy the last day of AK. Yeah, let's take a selfie. <laughs> I'm gonna put this here. <laughs> Sorry. So no, you're good. Ready? Yeah, let's jump. Let's do it. Awesome. Thank you. I'll repost it. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy your Yes, have fun. Thanks for saying hi. Thank you again for everything. Of course. Thank you. That's so nice. All right. From one nice thing to the next, I'm going to go get your beer that you want. <laughs> All right. I'll be in that area over there. All right. See you later. Oh, my gosh. Wait, what? Are you, you're an author? I had a scientific case the camera. Congratulations, that's so amazing. Oh, thank you. We try to have fun, that's what it's all about here at Disney. Take some stickers, yeah. Yes, please. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is so cool. Our gimbal just died, so we're charging it. I forgot it. We've been yeah. live for five well, we hours. Were, I'm like, oh, yeah, the gimbal's going to die we soon. We were kind of chasing you, and then I go, she goes, well, where are they? I go, I don't know. He's looking at a maple tree. Like, yeah, we yeah, it just, <laughs> the gimbal just quit on me. And I go, oh, geez, we're That's just okay. looking at the sky. No, 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 no. So but we're going. I love your shirt, too, by the way. And uh, fly. Yeah, that's so great. And congrats on being an author. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yeah, keep up the great work. Absolutely. Thank you for saying hi. Nice meeting you. Hi, Pete. Hi. Hi. Nice to see you. This is the spot in Germany. Lauren. Lauren. Hi, Lauren, America. I was told to invite you to our room at um, Saratoga. My oh. friend, uh, God, what's her name? Uh, Jessica. Jessica. She told me to uh, invite you guys over. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, yes. Jessica. Is she here? There she is, wearing the freaking shirt. Wearing your shirt. Yes. That's awesome. Like, oh, there she is. Are you too cool for us on the phone? Hi, guys. Oh, my gosh. Sorry. We're partying at what, like, Sarasota? Creepy lady? Saratoga? I mean, are we sure that we know what Jessica we're talking about? 
that I'm like, what's her name? <laughs> Peter! Hmm. I'm so gross. It's so funny. She saw like, your hat and she goes, I think that's Pete. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh my gosh, that's yeah. hysterical. Of course, as soon as I know, I was like, yeah, like love I that. Any other attire anymore when I go to Disney? So, I just wear this now. I love that. And I love, I love. I wow. Also, remember my friends I told you about that? Yes. Meet Chris and Erica. That's awesome. I saw pictures. Love that house. That's awesome. So they yeah. came to visit, and so yep. we're chilling today at Epcot. Love that. Yeah. Which direction are you headed? We have, uh, we have no idea. Oh, we're going that way oh, too, America. but we're getting the sour. Oh, thing. we need a moonshine sour yeah. from America. All right, so we're gonna meet you in America because I have to go back because they were changing the keg, so we didn't get to try the end of this flight. All right. So we're gonna go get the end of the flight, and then we're gonna go to America. So I'll meet you over there. Yeah. Sounds good. You doing good? No. She was sitting in the heat for the last two hours, so oh, she's I melting. China for like two hours now. So Let's see if this the gimbal's working again yet. Germany's the happening spot. Yes. Gimbal's back, baby. Look at that. We're back in business. By the way, what a great spot here in Germany. So many nice people back to back to back. I gotta hang out in Germany more often, right? This is the best place to hang out. So many cool people hanging out in Germany. I'm just gonna stay here all the time. This is gonna be my new live stream spot. Just sit right here. This is where I am, come on over. All right, I'm going to get beers and then America. Let's go get the rest of these beers. What is that? It's the thing from uh, the little Africa stand. It's got like a coffee flavor. Oh, the, the Kenyan beef. Yes. We had it last year. I didn't have it this year. I've been eating so much food all day. I just said, like, also in the heat, it's so hard to keep eating. Because we've just been going hard. We got here at 11, and we've been doing at least every other booth. And I'm like, I have to just stop eating. I can drink all day. You need some Epicac so you can just Yeah. I just, a little bit of AC. Like, every once in a while, like, we just did Frozen just to, like, digest food, drink water. Yeah, us too, yeah. We had the sweetest encounter of all time. So normally, like, people have mixed feelings about cameras, especially, like, on rides or in the park. And the girl behind us on Frozen comes up and says, Hey, I just want to... Oh, boy. Speaking of beautiful people. Oh! <laughs> Surprise. Oh, yeah. He's been in Germany for hours waiting for you. He told me he was an hour away. Oh! Sorry, there was, like, a... Maya! <laughs> Up, all right i'm gonna meet all of you in america i'm going to i'm going to germany to get the rest of my beer yeah sorry about a little bit of language there but anyway i'm not sure if you guys heard it because our stream was in and out but the best one of my favorite moments of today if not the last two weeks uh was there was an awesome uh person in line behind us on Frozen, and she said, I want to thank you for what you do. And a lot of the time when you have cameras, some people get upset. They're like, put the camera down. And I don't want to be on camera. Stop filming me. You know, like, it's Disney. Everyone's filming. But some people get upset. And it, I try just to be polite and say I'm sorry and keep moving. But she said, thank you so much for everything that you do. And I said, oh, thanks. You know, ain't no thing. And she said, I uh, was in a hospital for several months and in a wheelchair. And I spend a lot of my days watching channels like yours. Uh, and it really got me through a lot of the hard times. So thanks for bringing the magic. And I just was so touched. It was very, very sweet. All right. Is that a third keg back yet? Thank God, because my girlfriend was yelling at me. Is there any way we could do that third beer? It's really the only beer we wanted. The other two are always here. Uh, I have the receipt too. I mean, we paid, we just wanted that other one. Um, but let's put this down. I have the receipt, I think, in my pocket. Because the prickly pear is the only new one, right? Thank you. Appreciate it. And 
Thank you. Thank you. Finally getting the camera. Finally. She said to say, if you don't remember her, she's the one laid out across the bar upset, which I didn't want to say I knew her, uh, but that was her. Thank you so much. You too. Thanks for being here, creating magic in the heat. Thank you so much. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. I'll save most of it for Lauren. She's earned it. Although now with this long break from uh, beer and thinking about beer, kind of crave a one. Food and wine Thursday. You haven't made a lot of progress. What am I to beat you to America? No, Jess is on her way. Oh. We're, we're waiting for him to get his, you know, break. Yeah, oh, okay. You got the shopper hopper? I'm waiting for her. She's at the dentist. Oh. Okay, These might be the busiest bathrooms here at Epcot. But there's a lot of stalls so people can get through pretty quickly. What a nice encounter here in Germany. Great encounter in Norway. Great encounter in Germany. Lots of friends. Lots of nice people. I'm feeling good. We're riding high. Let's go see if they switched out the flags in the village. So let's see if I can see Lauren first. Don't see Lauren. All right. Crowded on this side. Let's take the romantic road. All alone. The romantic road. Don't be alarmed. There's a crab on your hat. Uh... Looks great. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's a great photo. I don't want to interrupt. Oh, they did it. So we talk about this every festival, every year, even not during the festivals. That You see these flags up that say food and wine festival everywhere. They have little tiny ones right here in the village. They're also celebrating food and wine. And the good news for today, no one is face down in the square, which is very rare. There's normally at least one or two residents of this tiny town who have just had enough between the heat and the booze, but not today. Everyone's behaving themselves on the first day of the festival, and here comes the train. All right, let's see if we can find a Lauren somewhere. We do need to find a spot to sit again. <laughs> I don't like sitting. I don't like walking around showing you guys all kinds of fun stuff. But right now we're charging the gimbal. I'm going to need to bring out the second charger because the phone is going dead again. These six-hour streams, they'll get you. I'm outside the bathroom. I don't know where you are. Who's that, Jess? Yeah. I think she was walking to America. Are you out? I'm walking towards America right now. Okay. 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 Okay, bye. Yep. Little town. Would you be mad if I said that? Why don't we talk about it over here? I'm mute. Okay. How was that prickly pear? I saved all of this for you because you worked hard for it and they didn't want to give it to me. And I said, really? Lauren's going to lose it if I don't get one. Please, please. Yeah. 
Somebody's getting a beer. They're coming this way. After all right. We'll all meet up. All right. But it worked out. How do you feel about that beer? Good. Do you want some more? You can have as much as you want. All right. You're the one that waited for it. I can get one over here. It's an interesting flavor. It is. I find it. I like stuff like that. Yeah. Especially out of the German beer arena. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Because the Germans are very traditional. Sometimes you get a little something that's like a little, you know, hoppier or, you know, a yeah. weird malt or some kind of wheat element. Very light and fruity. Light, crisp. I don't want any more, but that's great. Not because I don't like it, just because I don't want any more alcohol. That is a fun little German beer there. Oh, the standby entrance. No line yet for uh, <laughs> who's tonight. What was the name of it again? Hold on. It was... No, I like the name. It was something fun. Oh, Funkified. No big line for Funkified yet. Bring in the funk. We got the funk. All right, I see some shade, I see a table, I see a trash can. Whatever you want. What if you go right here? Or I have to go a direction where my voice carries away from people so I'm not interrupting their meal. We go over here. I feel a little bit better when my voice is facing away from the others. All right, before we get down to business, do you have the fuel rod? Just need one. <laughs> I was Can't say. double charge it. Hmm. The other one's not working or not? The other one is charging the gimbal. Oh my god, that's right. The gimbal is dead and the phone is dying. Alright. We're gonna catch up with the chat one second. Let me just figure out a game plan here with Lauren and, and uh we'll be RB. Talk amongst yourselves. I love you. All right. 
Oh goodness gracious. You look you, great. Am I unmuted? Yeah. Oh good. I'll be right back. Lauren's in charge. Watch out. Yay. Watch out for the Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna move it. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna stay there. Hello everyone. I'm going to I can't grab a water. That's a great idea. I can't see with my glasses. I also can't see without my glasses, so it's a catch-22. There's something on the screen. Hope everybody is doing great today. Happy Friday Eve for those that are at work. Um, I am a teacher. I'm going to be going back to work very soon, unfortunately. Um, so it's nice to be here at Epcot and uh, just enjoying the International Food and Wine Festival. It's really, really great. Um, opening day it has been a little bit busy but I kind of expected it to be a little bit more busy um, so this is good the food has been great the drinks have been great um, so I'm really it's it's a good thing I'm blessed to be here very happy thank you all for joining us there's gonna be 10 minutes there's gonna be an eat to the beat concert happening right here funkified okay <laughs> so that'll be happening soon um let me see what the chat is saying Izzo, thank you so much hello chief oh first day back i can't i don't even want to think about that yeah so i um i'm dual certified so i teach english and special education here in Florida, I am the VE teacher, um, varying exceptionalities. So I push into English and reading classes. This year, I'm actually going to be pushing into um, 10th grade reading classes and assisting where I can there. Um, as far as I know, haven't checked my emails all summer, so we'll see. Um, somebody said something about the pickle milkshake. Yes, I did try the pickle milkshake. It was interesting, it was better than I thought it was going to be. Um, it's more of a savory milkshake. I'm not really a milkshake person or a pickle person, but this is me saying it wasn't so bad. Would I get it again? No, but if you're someone that like likes pickles and likes milkshakes, maybe give it a go. It is a pretty large size for about, I think it's like five and change, around $6 with tax. Um, so give it a shot, but it's not something I would get again. I'm just glad I tried it. Uh, yeah, it, it's pretty hot here. Uh, hey, Jason. Um, it's very hot in August in Florida. So like right now we're at the end of July. It's very, very hot. August is not going to be um, <laughs> any cooler. So if you're coming here, prepare yourselves. Make sure, make sure that you're hydrating, you're bringing water, you're drinking lots of water. Even if you're not drinking alcohol, you wanna make sure that you're hydrating because you're sweating more than you think that you are. So definitely make sure that you're hydrating. Uh, Chief, I'm looking forward to the autumn weather as well because in Florida, it's it's beautiful, it's perfect. It's less humid. Um, even today, honestly, it's been, we haven't had that much sun all day, um, but now the sun is kind of peeking back out and it's hot. Um, but even this morning when the sun wasn't out, we were, we were roasting. Uh, Michelle, should I come in the morning and leave when it's too hot? Honestly, I, if I were you, I would come later in the day because I feel like a lot of people get here in the morning and there's a lot more lines. I would wait until after that two o'clock rainstorm and then come because it's going to get cooler as the day goes on. And that's my personal opinion. But Michelle was asking, should you come earlier in the morning or later in the day? I'm saying later in the day. I'm saying if you're going to do this, there's going to be lower lines, less heat after the two o'clock storm. So this really depends. If know. you are here with a family that's doing rides, I would get here first. Oh, thing if you're in doing rides, yes. If, let's if just you're, say you're not here just yeah. for food and wine, right? Yeah. Let's, here, I'll move this over here so we can get 
If you're doing food and wine, if, if you're doing later just in the day. food and wine, yeah. a lot of the food and wine booths don't even open up until 11. Yeah. So that kind of answers your question out of the gate. Um, but if you're with a group or a family that's also here just to enjoy the park, like you're coming during food and wine, but you still want to do attractions, I would rope drop and get yeah. as much done as possible between 8 and 11. And I say 8 because even though the park opens at 9 most days, get here at 8. You can get your lockers, you can get your pictures, you can get your coffee, your breakfast. They'll let you around the park, but they won't let you go on attractions till 9. So get here early. And then from there, I would do the big ones. Obviously, you're gonna book a boarding group for Guardians, so you don't have to go wait in line for Guardians. You're gonna get a boarding group for Guardians at 7 a.m. If I was you, I would go do Test Track. Test Track will hold the longest line all throughout the day because every time it rains, which it does every day in Florida, they cannot run that ride if there's lightning nearby or rain. Or even if it doesn't rain, if there's lightning, they're shutting it down. Yeah, so, even like, nearby. So yeah. what you want to do is get that done and out of the gate early and it just holds a long line because people, yeah. it's shut down, people are gonna be waiting. <laughs> Soren, you could find low lines for in the afternoon. Spaceship Earth can, is basically a walk on in the afternoon or evening. Uh, living with the land to walk on afternoon or evening. Where you, I kind of want to see Funkified. Um, so yeah, so I would say again, if you're coming to do attractions and rides with a family or you just want to get those done, do those early in the morning. Food and wine, I would get as much done as possible between 11 and 2. You're going to hit a wall kind of like we did. Like you're, You can only eat so much food and drink so much. I mean, I could keep drinking all day. But food-wise, you can only eat so much before you become very full. And the hotter it is, the fuller you feel, too, because you're sweating, you're dehydrated, you're probably drinking some alcoholic beverages. You're going to just be wiped. So I would say get here an hour before park open, do the food and wine thing from 11 to 2. Maybe at 11, come to the back of the World Showcase. Maybe start here in America and go either direction. But, and then work your way back to the front where the buses are to go back to your resort or the International Gateway to go catch the Skyliner and go back to your resorts there. And then go take a break. It's gonna rain between two and four or two and five. If the hottest point of the day is between two and four and two and five, go take a break, change your clothes, jump in the pool, drink some water, decompress, come back to the park around six, get back to eating and drinking from six to nine, watch the fireworks at nine o'clock, exit the park. That's what I would say. I would say if you're a veteran person like me and you're a local and you're just like, I want to do food and wine quick and easy, what's the best way? Come in with a game plan, preview the passport before you get here, know where you want to go. Yeah, this and is something I you should say, do not even as a veteran or a local. This is something you should do on a planning. Also, veterans no, and locals aren't looking for advice. They know what they're doing. No, I know, but I'm just saying temperature-wise, it is always better to come in the later That's afternoon. What I'm saying. I feel like if you lived here and moved here, though, like, we used to watch Disney videos. Michelle Wargo. Yeah, but she got the like, nose. She asked me. I'm telling All right. her. All right. <laughs> so I'm just saying, like, if you want to do food and wine and you live here, you know, come in the afternoon, have a game plan. See also what's depends new. on the day. Friday afternoons and evenings are a disaster yeah. here. Because everyone gets off from work. It's the end of the week. And they come and they spend the night here. And Friday nights from 4 p.m. till close is a zoo. I would avoid Epcot Fridays from 4 to mm -hmm. close. Um, if it's a weeknight, if you want to come on a Monday through Thursday, much better idea to come at night. If you're coming yeah. during the day, it doesn't really matter any day. It's all going to be around the same. Weekends and Fridays are very busy here during food and wine. People are all from work, the locals are coming, and that's typically when they book the bigger name bands. It also will heavily depend on the band of how busy right. it is. Right. Boys to Men will pack out this theater with standing room all four nights. Yeah. And all those people are here in the park hanging out, spending money, waiting in lines for food and drinks. True. Other bands, if you come see like uh, Funkastic or whatever yeah, this is. <laughs> no, but even, but even like well-known bands that just don't get that big of a pull, like a, let's say like a Ruben Studdard or even a Philip Phillips won't get crazy. How dare you. I'm just saying, no, what's up? Oh, I thought you were gonna be repping my hat. Uh, I, I was dude, I love when I get the pictures of you uh, in the hat. You're my, I, I was like, dude, this is the best. What's up, man? My name's Landon. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm a little sweaty. Sorry. This is my girlfriend, Lauren. We're live. Nice to meet you. I'm Landon. Nice to meet you. Sorry. Where's the rest of the fam? Uh, getting changed. Oh, oh God. The birds. I might have to go. Oh, she's paying. Never mind. I was like, I'm about to go jump that line. Uh -huh. Got a drink, but it's all right. She's so hot. It's so hot. It's it's so very hot. hot. It's I know. I've been here since. We, we got here at 10:30. Uh-uh. <laughs> We've been live the whole time. 
early. It's going good though? Yeah, it's going well. It's going well. We're answering questions now. Trying to, we found a spot in the shade, so we're just like taking Sit a minute. Down, chill. Yeah. Okay. Which way are you guys headed? Which direction? We don't know. I'm yeah. gonna go to Mexico and get some tacos. They're really good. Even the ones in the booth are really good yeah. this year. Yeah. We like both of them, right? Yeah, very good. Yeah. Very good. Can't Mexico. complain about the food in Mexico. Which one? Space? Is it space? No, 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 no. The Epcot ride. Oh, like the in, Oh, uh, what's it called? Space of Earth. Space of Earth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. I always pick one. What time is it? A far worse than Nine. Nine. Yeah. The Yeah, it's the temporary show. So Epcot Forever. It's like not a. It's still fun. It's still nice. But it's temporary for another year. Music so. fans, it's time. Oh, fuck the fire, Lord. Fuck the fire. I want to get a drink and watch this guy. Have a good one, boss. All right. I'll see you guys later. Hi, guys. Nice to meet you. Um. Right. Um. Babe. I'm about to go get fun the fire. All right. Let's go over here together. Here. And we got a pocket full of napkins. Ha! Cause it's food and wine and a fork and knife. Ha! Woo! Look at those guns. Where? Oh, look at the gun show. Florida. Forgot you could bring these anywhere. <laughs> All right. You feel the funk? <laughs> you feel it creeping through your veins? I'm doing a double bass pedal right now. Both of Both my brothers are drummers. Not me. Brian too. Oh yeah. I didn't know that. Both big drummers. I didn't know that. I was all vocals. Oh my god. No, it's just <laughs> what was Ride, that? Slide, slide, Fantastic bro. Oh man. No, I was gonna say, uh, my parents were like, you can't have an instrument, we're poor. So I just sang. My brothers came along, they're like, what do you want? The most expensive equipment? Here's a drum set. No, they're like, you are not trusted with I actually did have a recorder. So did I. And man. I can play hot cross buns like you wouldn't believe. I can play whatever was. And then I had uh, the Home Alone Talk Boy. Which... Me too, I talk girl. Oh, snap. <laughs> I had a talk thing. Lauren? You're done. Wedding, would you expect? <laughs> also, I didn't get permission. chair right in front row for Funko 5. Once all those things are accomplished, we'll move on to the second task. No. All right, I'm gonna wanna watch this in a walk-in refrigerator. Gonna make that happen. I don't know what else I got. Dry hat, this feels amazing. <laughs> we just do the old switcheroo. What is wrong with you? I'm just funkified right now. Alright, see ya. Alright, before you go, I need one favor. I'm not waiting in any more lines. You don't have to wait in any lines. 
just need one beer. I'm not waiting in a line. I know a place with no lines. No. Imagine that. No lines. Yeah. Look, you can go right there. Look at that. How am I gonna bring the people Funkified if I'm standing in line? Bring them. I'm not doing it. I can't. I can't go on. What if you Literally record Funkified? I'll record it. I'm not going over there. All right. All right. I'm gonna go over there. There's no one in line. I'm next. Okay. I can just walk there, get it, and walk out. And then I'm gonna need you to carry all of these out of plug. What are you doing? I believe I have already discussed the plan with you. Here. Maybe you're feeling the funk. <laughs> oh God! What the heck is this? Oh. Actually. Oh, what? Oh, when you leave, can you take this? But I'll, I'll take it now. Woo! Got the best of my love. Keep, watch the black cord the most. Watch the black cord the most. Okay. Oh, oh. Hurry you up. You got the best of All right. Thanks for saying it so nicely.
Y'all thought that was fun. We have got something special for you. All right, I'm really trying, guys. People keep moving in my way.
Mercy Hall. I'll take you there. Let me hear you sing it. Mercy Hall. I'll take you there. Oh, oh, Mercy Hall. Alright, let's have a different Mercy Hall. I'll take you there. Hey, come on. I'll take you there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on.
Inferno! Woo! Let's go! Very nicely done. Ladies and gentlemen! That song also means my skin on an Epcot day. Burn, baby, burn. Music fans, let's hear it for Funkify. Funkify. Thank you for rocking out with us. Please enjoy the rest of your evening here. A great Africa little kickoff to the Food and Wine Zimbabwe. Festival. High energy. You got a few different generations in there. Listen, as a DJ, I played that music a thousand times. I love it. I grew up with it. My parents love it. I see some people more of the block party vibe, but I love it. They were great. They were tight. They knew what they were doing. They brought the energy. Great kickoff. I mean, but you can see, like I said, that theater, 20% full for that. But then you have other bands that are here, like the 98 Degrees, the Boys to Men, where it is standing room only for all their shows, all the nights that they're here. So probably why it's a little bit lighter today. But still, they brought it. The cover bands here are great. Well, if you've noticed, we've lost someone. Lauren needed some air conditioning. It's been a lot. We have, if you're just joining us, we have been live for over seven hours. We've hit the seven-hour mark here at Food & Wine. It's been a lot of eating, a lot of drinking, a lot of fun in the sun. With a big focus on the sun. There it is. <laughs> but uh, yeah, as we walk around, we'll, we'll still look at some other things, see what we got to eat, drink. But I just do want to remind everyone, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And then when you do that, hit the bell and hit all notifications. And the reason for that is we love live streams here on the channel and people seem to love live streams as well. We took a poll whether people like edited videos or shorts or the lives and the live streams were an overwhelming yes. So we do a lot of them. So to make sure you don't miss any, if you get that bell on and hit all notifications, you'll get a little alert when we're about to go live. We don't spam. I don't send out multiple emails. You'll just get one little alert to say, hey, Pete's about to go live. And most of the time, we're right here at Disney. And now that food and wine is underway, we will be here quite often. There's a lot of great musical acts coming up. And there's a lot of food and drink that we have not tried yet. Some that we have, some repeats from last year, but some booths like the Grease booth that we didn't do at all today, because it's hard to do it all in one day. So whether you're already a subscriber or someone who's just subscribing for the first time, thank you so much, number one. And to get that bell on, hit all notifications. I think the last time I looked on YouTube, there was only like 7% of subscribers had that bell on with all notifications. And there's no reason not to. If you've enjoyed today's stream, I'd also recommend going back and checking out some of our other videos here on the channel. If you want an awesome live stream from Epcot, uh, about a week and a half ago, we were here early in the morning. We rope dropped it. Uh, we were lucky enough to be staying on property, so we got in with early access. We did breakfast in France. We walked around the World Showcase completely empty. We did a lot of the shows that most people just skip by. It was a beautiful morning right before the Food and Wine Festival started. So I recommend checking that out. If you want to see some other fun stuff, we do a little bit of everything. We love to travel. We love to explore theme parks. We got SeaWorld, Universal, lots of Disney. And of course, our... Uh, trips from all of our adventures around the country i'm also a big craft beer fan in case you haven't figured it out so we got a bunch of craft beer shorts and if you want to go back and check out some ted lasso shorts we're gonna be doing more of them soon gotta figure out a time to record more with my buddy ted but the ted lasso shorts were a big fan favorite go check those out just throwing some of those things out there while we walk here because i know we had a lot of new people here today and if you want to see some of the mayhem in my life in between the streams, follow the socials. My Instagram and threads, now that that's a thing, is at official Carney. My TikTok is Adventures by Carney. My Twitter is your WDW guy. One thing I'm very proud of, though, is our Discord, something we started when we started the channel. It's really awesome. It's free. There's no monetary 
penalty to you or benefit for me. It's just a great place where people who watch the channel get together, hang out, help each other out. Everything from theme park tips, tricks. Uh, you can get the weather around the country, but it's just a positive, awesome environment. And it's something that's so cool because, you know, it's tough out here on the internet. Every once in a while you get a troll here or a troll there. And we are lucky enough to have just a community filled with kind, sweet, amazing, genuine people. And I'm, uh, yeah, I'm very proud of our Discord. It's great. Even I just go and lurk on there. <laughs> I draw my schedule in there. We also have the Carney Crew Meetups page on there. If you, wanna, if you have an idea for a live stream that you want to see, like, hey, I'd really love to go see this resort, or can you go do the theme park on this day because there's this merchandise thing happening, or this is the anniversary of a ride, put it in the live stream. Uh, suggest an area. An edited video, like, hey, can you just do, like, the top water fountains at Disney? Sure. Give me the idea. An idea for shorts. We'll do the shorts. Whatever you want, you can suggest it right there. And I do take them all down. We have an ongoing list. Really love the Discord. There's so many other awesome channels too. And I got to give a huge, huge, tremendous, overwhelming thank you to the Patreons. Without them, I don't even know if we'd be able to do half the things we do on this channel or if this channel would still even be here. It's just the overwhelming support, the kindness. So thank you to all the Patreons. If you're interested, you can go check it out. Patreon.com backslash Adventures by Carney. We've got three tiers. You can do three bucks. You can do a little bit more than that, a little bit more than that. But couldn't do it without them. So thank you, Patreons. And also, please go check out the Patreon uh, page either tonight or the Patreon tab in the Discord. Let me know what works best for our Zoom call together where we get to chat it up Monday or Tuesday. And yeah, it's been such an awesome day. With it being over seven hours live, I think it is time that we start saying goodbye. It's not over yet, because I know you guys like to take in Disney, so let's do a little walk around the boardwalk and maybe the gift shop. But what a day it's been at Epcot. Looks like a lot of Disney 100s in here. Thank you. I've been, I've been looking all over for it. I went to all the stores, all the parts. I don't see any festival magic bands back here, but I'll ask. This is kind of fun. Food brings the world together. Thank you. <laughs> Just a quick question. Do you guys have festival magic pans? We don't have holding hands. I need the other. Thank you. All right, so no festival magic bands. This would be a cool Christmas sweater. I like it. <sighs> what a day, what a day. What a mighty fine day. Look at the line. So remember you're talking about what time to come? So this is the security area. <laughs> and the check-in. And then look at all the people in line to come in at night. This is why I say, get here early if you can, especially... This is not normal. 
people coming and pouring in in the afternoons when everyone gets off work or when people park hop over to Epcot, they want to come at night because the concerts, because of food and wine, they could eat and drink. So this is the line just to get through security at the back entrance of Epcot here at the International Gateway. So if you're getting off the Skyliner or walking over from the Swan Dolphin Beach Yacht Boardwalk, quite a line back here. It's not even this busy at road drop in the morning, but right now it's about 6.10 our time here on the East Coast. There's a lot of people. So I always tell everyone, come as early as you can. Nights are nuts. People love food and wine. And tonight's not even a big band. If you get like a band that's popular, like I said, like those boys to men, or even like Sheila E gets a big crowd and Hanson gets a big crowd. Billy Ocean gets a big crowd. Uh, 98 Degrees, Joey Fatone, they all get big crowds and the lines are just like this. People wanna come after work, especially those pass holders who like to just pop in, this is their dinner. Lauren and I did it when we moved down and it's nice because now there's no more reservations for Epcot after three or after two. So they could just show up, park and come on into Epcot grab some dinner around the world, try new foods, watch a live show, hop back in the car and go home. It's kind of the dream. That's when we moved down here. I was like, Lauren, this is what we get to do. And it was awesome for that first year. <laughs> and then COVID hit. And now I finally feel like it's getting back to full steam this year for the first time. Last year wasn't bad. But I feel like every year it's getting a little bit better and better. No park reservations and whatnot. So come early. For almost all of my life into the last few months, I am not a morning person. I'm still not a fan of mornings, but for some reason, I've just been waking up between four and five every day the last few months. My body has just changed. It's weird. My father always woke up at four or five, and probably because he grew up in an orphanage. <laughs> That's the time he woke up to go do your chores and then, you know, plow the fields, <laughs> milk the cows, bring the milk to the pasteurizer, drop it off on the doorsteps, and then go to school. And that's not a joke. That's all stuff my dad did. And then that carried over because once he left the orphanage, he went into the Air Force. And that's early wake-up calls. And then growing up my whole life, he'd be up for a few hours before he woke us up for school, whether it was elementary, junior, high school. And I was always like, this guy's crazy waking up at 4 and 5 in the morning. And now the last few months, <laughs> I've just, almost since he passed away, he, I've been waking up at four or five every day and it's been like, all right, I guess I'll start the day. But if you're one of those people, you're going to love it at Disney. Even before that, this is the whole point of my story. I'm on a little tangent train right now. But when I'm at Disney, especially on vacation before we lived so close and we used to fly down from New York, you know, three, four times a year. I was like, all right, we're going 5 a.m. Wake up in bed around midnight, 1 a.m. We could power through around five hours sleep every night. It's Disney. <laughs> also, for the amount of money you're paying and the limited amount of time you have, you got to max it out. Very fortunate now to live so close. But this long-winded story is all going back to the tale of get here early, <laughs> wake up early, set an alarm. I remember I had friends came down and they were like, we want to do everything. But like, we usually don't get her out, out of the house until like nine or 10 with the kids. Disney, probably a few more hours. I'm like, if you leave your resort at 10, you are missing <laughs> more opportunities than you know, because you can get more done between 7 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. than you can between 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. at Disney. It just gets crowded in the middle of the day. And then that rain comes in. Don't be afraid of rain in Disney. Embrace it. Scare some people away. It It'll rain quickly. It'll rain hard. But look what happened today. We got like 15 minutes of rain, 20 minutes. A light drizzle for an hour, but really just hard rain for 10, 15 minutes. Scare the people out. Then embrace those rides. Try to think of other pieces of advice I can give you. You saw those lines coming back in now around six. They are intense. 
hopefully you're one of those families if you did leave around two or three and you were here for rope drop and you wanted to power nap eat a little bit sit by the pool yeah you'll wait a little coming in but at least you got most of your stuff done for the rest of the day you'll come back in around six you got three hours into fireworks you can have a little bit of food you go on a one or two rides get back but if you're just getting here around now for the first time of the day or if you plan on park hopping and be like, ah, well, you get up, get done in three, four hours. We'll get there at five or six. Good luck. If you're fortunate enough to be here on a long trip and that's kind of like your routine every night, it's not bad either. Do the other parks during the day. Come to Epcot at night. The World Showcase really does get the busiest at night. The front of the park, if you want to do those rides, that is the time to do it in the evening. Nemo will be a walk-on. Spaceship Earth will be a walk-on. Living with the land will be a walk-on. You might have to wait a little bit for Soren, but nothing crazy. Test track will always be busy because it had rained earlier that day. <laughs> so everyone who got rained out will be coming back. And Guardians need a boarding group for So get those early. You could always pay for one, too. They don't really sell out, I don't think. Had a family text me the other day asking for advice. They said, there's no boarding group. Should we just pay for it? I was like, ah, oh, what does it cost? And they were like $20 a person or something like that. I was like, geez, Louise, how many are you? They're like six. I'm like, well, it's your 120 bucks. Personally, I would just uh, <laughs> do it another day. Wake up early at seven and just do it. Or be in the park by one to get the second boarding group. And if it's not that busy, they have opened up. I've been in the park where I've gotten a boarding group for Guardians at like 3 in the afternoon, 4 in the afternoon. If you missed our full tour of board, the Boardwalk Resort, which is where we are now, we spent the night here uh, about two weeks ago and gave an extensive tour of the rooms and everything you could do here. It's a beautiful, big, gorgeous resort. As you can see, walking distance from Epcot. If you did enjoy the stream, if you did enjoy the stream today, sorry, I'm exhausted. <laughs> it's been a long day. If you've, if you've enjoyed the stream today, please hit that like button. It really does help. Consider subscribing, share it. And tell somebody that you liked it. I'm gonna head up this way. I'll show you a little something before we go. This used to be part of Tables in Wonderland, but not anymore. It's so sad. But the Bellevue Lounge, right behind me. Fun little spot to grab a cocktail and some quiet. It's open from 4 till midnight, so even after the park is closed, you can come grab a little something. And this is a spot you can get a new fuel rod. Hooray! Tonight it's the movie on the lawn, you could tell because up comes the screen. All right, everyone, epic day. Over seven hours live, seven hours and 20 minutes live. A little bit longer than that. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Anyone who made it through a whole day, you are a trooper. If you enjoyed any part of this, please, please, please hit the like button, subscribe. If you're watching in the future, you can still like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below on any parts that you rewatch that you liked. Join the Discord. Shoot me a message. You can always message me the fastest way, probably on the socials, as I have about a 1,200-person email list. And probably, I mean, when I started the stream, 
there's probably around 300 messages by the time I finish this on the text. Just DM me on the socials. All the socials are listed below. The Discord is listed below. Uh, thank you to everyone who supported me. Thank you for all the super chats, the Venmos, the Cash Apps, the PayPal's. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna put a post out 100% in the next few days thanking anybody I missed, plus thanking everyone who did it. Cannot do this channel without all of you, especially the Patreons too. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And Patreons, whether you're new or existing, if you signed up today or if you've been around for a minute, go check out the Patreon page or the Discord Patreon channel and let me know what works best for the Zoom call Monday or Tuesday this week so we can hang out and talk a little bit. All right, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Food and Wine Festival opening day in the books. We'll be back. Make sure you got that subscribe on. Make sure you got the bell, all notifications, you know. All right, you guys are the best. Do me one big favor, more important than anything else we've talked about today. Be kind to one another. I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.